Welcome to the Planescape, where good and evil clash, where law and order maintain their delicate balance, the battleground for gods and monsters. Many heroes have written their legends in the stars of the Astral Sea, but these are not their stories. The Per Aspera and her crew, Kiana, Voss, Virla, and Danny, may not be the stuff of legends yet, but they're definitely rolling with difficulty. Hello, and welcome to our little planes hopping D&D campaign, folks. My name is Austin, your friendly neighborhood dungeon master, and as always, I am joined by my star sailors stumbling upon spellbinding, spell jamming secrets. Say hello, Whoa. everyone. Yo, oh, that one had layers. Hello. <laughs> Not at all for boy. Yeah, for that was, I think that was the fastest I've ever come up with one. I sat down like an hour before the recording uh, with, without one. I think I got it in about uh, 90 seconds. I was proud of myself. Ooh. Anyway, enough about me. Let's talk about Let's our podcast. Kill you. Uh, before we get started, we have uh, our sponsor to uh, hear about. So, dude, yeah, talk about it. Hell yeah, uh, Austin's boat. If we could hear the coxswain yelling uh, in the midst of this regatta as they row towards the end, but I have managed to yell louder, and therefore my rowers have rowed more in sync, and we are pulling ahead. And with that, we are going to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, World Anvil. They are bringing you another thrilling adventure from the crew of the Paraspora, but you may want to know that World Anvil is a browser-based world-building, writing, and game-mastering software designed to help you, the creator, plan and world-build, all while keeping your work organized and in one place. With over 45 supported game systems and the capability to create your own, World Anvil provides solutions for game masters and players alike to play, plan, and present their adventures and campaigns. World Anvil features over 25 article templates, interactive maps, custom timelines, fully adaptable wikis, and any other tool your need, any other tools you need to organize the story from your table in one convenient place. Keep track of your players' adventures, key NPCs, plan upcoming encounters, create magic items, and so much more. You can even use chronicles to combine the capabilities of timelines and maps to plot events across time and space. Perfect for a long-running TTRPG campaign or one finely tuned adventure. Interested? Of course you are, and it only gets Yay. better because for our listeners, World Anvil is offering a special discount. Just use code PLUG for up to 40% off a yearly membership. That's code PLUG, P-L-U-G, for 40% off a yearly membership. And thank you again to World Anvil for sponsoring today's adventure. And with that, I have yelled just so to get all the rowers in sync for us to, I don't know, cross the finish line, I assume, uh, and win the regatta. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know much about crew. I thought it was the consistency and the rhythm of the yelling, not the volume. Yeah, right? if there's it's one not, thing I it's know, not like it's a baseball consistency game where and you have rhythm. Like two sections cheer, and whichever's louder gets a T-shirt. Um, I'm not so fair on this one. The, the the person who yells the loudest wins. Person who um, yells the loudest wins. Sports. Um, yeah. I, as a noted Dragon Ball aficionado, I think I know that <laughs> yelling is the true key to victory. Uh, but mm -hmm. speaking of the true key to victory, I also want to take a moment since we are in our uh, season finale here, uh, the end of season four, to thank everyone who's been listening along with us. Uh, it's because of you guys that we are able to keep putting on this little program and rolling these dice and seeing what happens with all of these nautiloids and or nautiluses nautilus nautilus uh but i feel like we've had this conversation no wait no <laughs> <Why the flounder? laughs> but uh thank you guys for listening uh if you are going to miss us during the break don't worry we will have a couple one shots coming your way as well as all of the amazing fan communities you can check out the discord uh where there's always a ton of fan art and discussion going on there is a subreddit for rolling with difficulty as well as a tv tropes page that you can check out if you want to interact with the community even more and if you're interested in supporting the show directly getting access to some exclusive bonus content uh, articles and drawings done by the cast members of the crew of the Paraspora, uh, check us out on Patreon for all the ways that you can directly support the show uh, but thank you to everyone who listens uh, regardless of how you engage with us uh, we really appreciate you joining us for this adventure just like our today's sponsor World Anvil has <laughs> yeah Good work, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Who Tell could have guessed? More. 38 episodes. And even 38 more. <laughs> it kills him every day that there aren't two more in season one. <laughs> I... Technically, if you count episode zero, it's like 39, I think. 
it that's not better. Zero, it's a nice round odd number. Thirty nine. That's worse. Yeah. That's a, that's objectively oh, but it's worse. Oh, by three. That's the best kind and of number. Then, and then you count the weird little dudes one shot, and that's forty. Perfect. Yeah. No, I no you because but then I mean, you got to count the, the Call curse of Cthulhu the amulet. <laughs> no, Call of Cthulhu takes place in an alternate an alternate universe. Yeah. yeah. It's not the same cast. It's not the same. Yeah. Setting. Weird little dudes is officially canon timeline with rolling. It's with officially canon. So. We're talking about canon episodes. So that means that we can't have any other. Correct. One shots, lest we or, break, or we could just, or we could just have a nice round forty-one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's worse. That's much worse. Uh, anyway, uh, the light and torturing all of you. Drop okay. out of this. No. Forty-one's not. Wait, five, forty-one's not prime, is it? No. Right. Uh, yeah. I'm, yeah, it is. Forty-one not is divisible by three. It's not divisible. No. By Forty-one's definitely prime. Yeah, okay. it is. Yeah. That's it's even not I, noted math or not enjoyer, knows that forty-one is a prime or number. Or five. Well, that's a good number then. There you go. All right, mm. we're gonna play D and D. We're cool. already so uh, behind. I know the audience has no concept of this. We were supposed to start like forty minutes ago. <laughs> it's okay. Release the Fibonacci cut. It's. <laughs> <laughs> You cowards. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. here. We're all dead. No. It's um, like maybe it's 7 a.m. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, then, without any further ado, let us begin season four, episode 10, the final season. Of, the final, sorry, excuse me, the final episode of the fourth season. Uh, <laughs> well, with difficulty, the adventures of the crew of the Paraspera. When last we left our heroes, you stood uh, in victory. You guys had uh, ch uh, returned to the site of the Nautiloid fleet that had been here at the bottom of the elemental plane of water. You fought a kraken dominated by the remaining elder brain meant to kill you. However, because you had brought allies, this encounter was not as deadly as the elder brain foresaw. You ran or teleported up to the pool helm, fought it, though it was able to plane shift away. You now have control of your very own Mind Flayer Nautiloid. That's crazy. <laughs> Raise your hand if you played a campaign where your players stole a Mind Flayer squid ship. Hell yeah. Not hey, a lie. They abandoned ship first. They abandoned ship first. Uh, no, actually, not only the. You killed a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that being said, uh, you stole the ship, uh, discovered, uh, thwarted an attempt to, uh, uh, quote, sterilize whatever was going on. Uh, unclear exactly what would have happened since the attempt was thwarted, but you uh, uh, dis uh, disabled the, 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 the bomb, the weapon, uh, discovered many notes about their goings-on, and learned that the Mind Flayers have plans for this to be their final and uh, uh, successful attempt at reclaiming their position as the scourge of the planescape once again. Uh, the use of new technologies granted to them by the kidnapped artificers, the use of uh, new uh, biologically engineered uh, abominations to serve them at their whim without any fear of rebellion. Uh, and the notion of perhaps even escaping to plunder new worlds and leaving a ruin of this one. This was all discovered by your scribe Virla with the help of Ioni. Kiana attunes to the helm and takes control it's of the empty. ship. Yay! Danny, in the bowels of the ship, so discovers her own secrets. We're going to start with as the end of this hour that was uh, attunement and short rest for some people, research for Virla. As the end of this hour, as uh, the end of this, this hour ends, uh, I would like to do a quick check in with uh, what everyone is up to mechanically and headspaces. So. Uh, let's start with, and we'll check in on the NPCs as well. So, Kiana, you finish attuning to the helm, hands in the gelatinous. Uh, it's it's not it's thinner than jello, so that you can put your hands like firmly into it and remove them. And after you do, like everything flows back to being a smooth state. There's not just like big hand holes in it anymore. <laughs> Uh, but as you remove your, you know, uh, place your hands and then remove them, your attunement to the ship. Uh, is successful. This is a strange and slightly different feeling than being attuned to the Paraspera. When you're attuned to the Paraspera, there is definitely a sense of it being an extension of yourself, where there are no, you know, joysticks or wheel to spin. Right. You just have an instinctual understanding of 
moving the thing as if it was part of your body. But it doesn't actually feel like part of your body. It's a it's a separate thing that uh, is more uh, uh, a little bit it's a little bit innate. It's a little bit um, hard, hard to describe, but uh, it's not as alien as this sensation is. It, you get the same feeling of like this is controlled with your mind and your instincts. You have an instinctual, uh, innate understanding when you choose to of where the ship is in space and how you can move it. Uh, but as you, when when you make that attunement, the kind of state of mind you would enter to normally move it forward. When you do, you can almost feel like an extension of your nervous system. This entire thing, uh, as parts of it kind of like you know, groan and creak as parts of it undulate uh, and tentacles and like uh, little fins like flap to keep it stable in the water as the tentacles move like out and pull back just sort of a like a natural rhythm of the nervous system twitching them about. You can feel all of that alien sensation uh, and you know that the ship is under your control. So actually I have the rule book here. Um, gimme, gimme, gimme. Because- because you are, so the Paraspora is special in its ability to gain power with the leveling up of the players. Um, the Nautiloid has a hard and fast speed, but being a psionic creature, you are able to command it at its full capabilities. Yes. Uh, so it has a speed of 40 feet. It is 40. slower than the, uh, um, than the Paraspora. However, mm-hmm. uh, there's also a couple other things you can do. First off, uh, it can innately plane shift. Ooh, that's uh, good. When, when you plane shift, uh, you roll a d6. On a 5 or a 6, the plane shift recharges after one minute, so you can plane shift again. On mm-hmm. a 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, it does not recharge for 24 hours. Okay. So uh, it's kind of like the Paraspora in that way, but it's it's it has a chance of being able to go again. Pretty good. It has... Uh, I'll just... 15 AC and 400 hit points, so it's uh, pretty pretty beefy. I think that beats the Paraspora in terms of hit points. Currently? Almost certainly. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, right now for sure. The other thing of note is that it does have weapon systems. Um, <laughs> as an action, while you're attuned to the helm, you can make one of the following attacks with the ship's tentacles. Grappling tentacles, uh, you can, uh, it's a plus eight reach of 30 feet. One huge or gargantuan target, so you can't hit little guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, they take 22 bludgeoning damage, and if it's a spell jammer, then it's grappled, basically. Um, and it can't escape you. You okay. can also use teleport. This is a plus 8 to hit, reach 30 feet, one creature. When you hit them, they must take uh, make a DC 15 con save or be teleported to an unoccupied space aboard the Nautiloid that uh, you, the attuned creature, can see. Oh, so okay. you can... That's what the Elder Brain was trying to do to someone... Uh, Voss, perhaps. It was trying to, um, I forget who it was. It tried to tap them and teleport Danny. them into the ship. Danny. Tried to tap yeah. them and teleport them into the ship so that it could eat them. But, but uh, it didn't succeed. You know, but it didn't mm-hmm. succeed. Well, they don't know that you have great con saves. Also that you never rolled below a 15 when, it's a, <laughs> when initiatives rolled. Um, yes. <laughs> how could they have that meta knowledge? <laughs> anyway, so those are all the mechanics that you benefit from, which is awesome. Red. What is Kiana's state of mind following everything that has just happened? Uh, getting a little sick of things teleporting away before she can kill him, but, you know... It does suck. It's fine, My, my apologies it's fine. for that. <laughs> no, no, it's really funny. <laughs> um, yeah, other than that, I actually think she's a little bit, like, really focused on feeling out how this ship works. Like, there's no mind in here, right? Like, that's kind of... I've, I've yeah. confirmed this a couple different it, ways now. There's actually there are sensations. It's it's like um, it's it's like you're sharing a brain is the wrong word because they don't got one. But like, right. imagine you could sense everything you were sensing and also everything a jellyfish was sensing. Ooh. Like Oop. there's an understanding of your Wind. environment. Everything is so dang. There's physical. <laughs> there's physical input. Where am I going? Uh, What'd you just say? <laughs> What'd you say? Take- I'm trying I'm trying to go through my daily life and just there's a thing in my head that's like wet, 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 food, <laughs> wet, wet, wet. <laughs> More or less. Uh, there is the <laughs> sensation that you need to you, you get the sensation of needing to eat from this thing. Oh fuck. It doesn't have uh, a like, brain, but it's hungry. Mm, that's a great combination. <laughs> uh you know, hey, shout out to Nadaria. Mm. Um, you know, they're uh they, they got four stomachs, so uh 
I just learned that at the aquarium the other day. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I don't know if it's all jellyfish. Moon jellies, apparently. doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, there's a sensation of being to eat. Uh, there's a sensation of, like, how you can move, like, and naturally move to get through here. But there's not conscious, intelligent thought. It is not sapient. It is sentient, I believe, would be the correct word here, right? Uh, yeah, sentience is ability. feeling. Sapience is consciousness. Yeah, so it has it has feeling ability to interact with its environment to take stimulus in, but it does not have sapience. It is not like feed me. <laughs> okay, Although, well, as long as I'm not overriding. <laughs> uh, so Audrey too, but it's a big squid ship. <laughs> Pretty good. Next, cool. next campaign. All right. Well, as long as I'm not overriding a sentient being to make this thing move, I have no complaints. No. I want to see. Uh, well, I guess I do want to see how much freedom of movement I have with this thing. Like how much of the muscle memory translates out. But I don't want to do anything that like might bitch slap the paraspora. <laughs> uh, it's all. There's no. There's no learning curve here. It's all. Um, uh, it's just like you know, moving your. It's just like moving the ship. Uh, the right. uh, proficient proficiency bonus. Can if you are proficient in um, in ships and vehicles can be added. So that's what you would be considering. Like, you can move this thing as you want. Can you like really fine to like? Can you thread the needle on things with this? Well, that's a lot easier if you have proficiency, which I don't think Yana does. Not um, to my knowledge. Danny does, and uh, Virla does as well. Cool. But uh, yeah, so that's where you're at. Uh, so frustrated about teleporting away, um, and you have this thing at your control. What is what is Kiana? There's a lot of paths that can be taken forward at the moment. What mm. do you feel like Kiana is wants to do in the next like hours? Like let's let's talk like hours time scale here. What does she want to do? Hmm. Hmm. I can come I back. She... If that's fine. No, no, no. I, I think she's assuming that. The, the next step, whatever we're doing about the rest of the Mind Flayers, is going to be Danny's call. And if Danny hasn't called any sort of, like, town meeting of, like, all right, here's what we're going to do, she's probably got run of the place. Um, I think she wants to check in on Ioni just to make sure she's all right. Like, <laughs> she did get stunned for that entire fight. <laughs> and then Kiana was like, sorry, got to put my hands in this goop for the next hour. Have fun with my robot friend, who's notoriously yeah, yeah. bad at communication. <laughs> Uh, fantastic. Uh, you start to, you take control of the ship, you start to head down. Maybe this is a good time then to check in on, uh, Virla and Ioni. Virla, you and Ioni have just finished parsing the notes and making the discoveries you have made. Uh, there was obviously talk at the end of the last episode about, uh, Ioni committing to the cause and your own feelings. What is Virla's headspace? What is he feeling like needs to be done? Again, on the, on the order of magnitude of, like, hours right right well he definitely feels like there is a sense of sort of sand trickling down the hourglass uh kind of like in in, in the in the immediate sense like they left the nautiloid behind they can very well like come back here if they don't hear from the nautiloid so they gotta get he, he wants to get out of here like immediately when kiana is able to attuned to the to the nautiloid but in the long term even um eventually destroying this fleet and kind of like halting the plans that these mind flares have been you know conjuring up um the problem is that he's not really sure how to do that even with the uh revelation that there is some like Oh, I'm, I'm forgetting the name of it now. It is like some some new psychic based weapon that was also harming the mind flayers at one psionic, point. Psionic, uh, the psionic the incapacitator. That's there the we one. go. Yeah. Um. He thinks that that might be the best bet to, if 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 Danny can somehow fashion it into a bomb and a large enough bomb to take out to take out enough uh, ships, then that would probably be the best way to go because he definitely doesn't think that even like this entire assembly can take down the fleet one nautiloid at a time um but he he's basically trying to come up with a plan of action to present to danny okay definitely a sense of urgency but also the notion that um some larger plan will need to be made because whack-a-mole is not a solution that is going mm -hmm. to yield the outcome you need 
Yeah. I mean, if it, if it were, if Virla could have his way, he, he would want some amount of time to be spent, like basically, essentially reverse engineering this psychic incapacitator and trying to like doing tests to make sure that, you know this bomb is going to work the way that we intend it to, and it's going to take out multiple ships, if not the entire fleet, or, you know, the big main ship, um, ideally. But he knows that that goes directly against the the time that's running out. Um, and so he doesn't like that conflict, uh, and he trusts that someone will make that decision for him. He probably that's suspects one way. <laughs> A certain way. Uh, that is why you have a captain. Yeah. All right. It's about this time, as you have those thoughts, that Kiana, you go ahead and join. Uh, yeah. Ione and Virla are standing here, just having finished discussed everything, and you guys watch uh, Kiana enters. The hour has passed, and you know she is now tuned to the ship. Good luck and good news. Oh, it feels real weird, but yeah, we got it. Excellent. Uh, I suggest we get out of here meet up elsewhere that isn't the plane of water uh ideally somewhere where the nautiloids can't find us as quickly and figure out a plan of action from there all right plan was the astral sea right yes prosper i don't can get there uh innately so you still got one plane shift there that you haven't mm -hmm. used you don't need to worry about danny triggering a random plane shift Right. Well, you tell me, Kiana, are you mm -hmm. able to teleport, are you able to plane shift to a specific location in the Astral Sea? Um, I because we might, we may very well find ourselves in the Astral Sea, but a significant distance away from each other. Mm. You can get close to locations and there are, um, there are ways of marking things about, uh, such as the constellations. So you could uh, get yourselves within, you know, uh, within a mile of each other, certainly. Yeah, which would we be could like trivially... coordinate around a portal or something. Yeah, yeah. trivial. Like, yeah, like around a portal, something would be trivially mm -hmm. easy to get back to each other after that. Yeah. Okay. Then that would be that would be my suggestion for in the immediate moments. Um, yeah. Do you All know? Right. It's this in in your attuning to this ship. Do you think that there's some way that the other uh, that the other nautiloids will be able to track this one? Ooh. Can you figure that out? It's a good question. Uh, the ship's real dumb. I don't think it can like <laughs> tell us. <laughs> I mean, it's hungry, but that's like all the it's got dumb. going on downstairs. <laughs> this dumb animal. Um. um <laughs> uh. I mean, there might be something on it that they can find. Uh, I don't know. If there's much we can do about that, I mean, well, hopefully do, Danny would be able to unearth that if if that were the case. She might be a little busy. I don't know. Do you know if there's ways to easily track people across planes? I always thought that was really hard. Uh, yes, you're correct. <laughs> um, Great. I just don't know. I, I, the the mind flares seem to inhibit not necessarily a hive mind mentality, but something very. It it, it definitely gives off that essence. Mm. And I didn't know if that extended to their ships. Oh, why don't but. I have Kiana, Kiana make a um, make an insight check? Oh, I know you'd an be so insight happy. check. Virla, roll a history check as long as we're at it. <laughs> sure. 18. 18? 12. Fantastic. 12. Okay. Uh, well, on an 18, there is certainly nothing about your. Like, you understand the ship as you have attuned to it. There's certainly nothing innately about it that makes it trackable. Lula can find things, but she's kind of rare and special, right? That's, like, mm -hmm. kind of the deal with Lula. It's kind of pretty hard to track people in that way. Yeah. Uh, you know that the hive mind does work, but it can't, doesn't work to infinite distance. Ioni had mentioned, actually, Ioni, I, Ioni will weigh in, actually, and be like, I know that they have a, a hive mind, but it's, it's, it's long, but it's, it's not infinite. Miles, but not, not across planes. Um, I mean, okay. so they probably you feel like there's nothing. Pretty... There's nothing that's gonna. This ship is gonna call. There's no nothing on the ship that's gonna call out to any of the others. So unless okay. they happen to be within a couple miles of where you plane shift, uh, that would be bad luck. <laughs> uh, well, I'll remind. Even on a twelve, actually, Virla, I'll remind you that the mind flayers 
kind of avoid the Astral Sea for reasons. Yeah. A lot of gith out there. <laughs> a lot yeah. of reasons to not want so, to be there. Um, it's a good plan. Yeah. I mean, also, they left a bomb here. We don't know what it would have done, but it, they, probably <laughs> didn't didn't think, bomb. they probably didn't think they were going to get the ship back. Like, if that bomb was going to be really bad for psionics, this whole thing is psionic. It probably so would have been dead So we found out the that these ships, these ships aren't built, they're hatched. Did, yeah, that did makes they, sense. Did they sacrifice the runt of the of the clutch? Ooh. Well, now I feel bad for it. I well. Hmm. I mean, it, I cannot stress it. It does not have a mind. It's There's enough... Please don't pack bond with the nylon. in there. No, we're not gonna. So thank you, Tiny Danny, in my pocket. It's like, it's, <laughs> we, I mean, it, it's hungry. It's it's like, it is an animal, but instead of a brain, it has a pilot. It, like, there's nothing in there. Huh. So. What an interesting notion. Yeah. Well, okay. It doesn't hurt to be careful, but it seems as though we were thorough enough to ensure that unless we got momentously unlucky, we should be okay in the Astral Sea. I mean, I think so, but I've had my hands in goop for the last hour, so I don't know what you guys have found out. Well, uh, and I'll kind of basically give the Cliff Notes version being that um, their uh, Vesta, the artificer, was developing this psychic incapacita uh, incapacitator, incapacitor, oh, yeah. incapacitinator. Um, <laughs> incapacitator. <laughs> the entire tri Like capacitator, but incapacitate. <laughs> Yeah. In um, my incapacitator <laughs> neither. <laughs> <laughs> I've never watched uh, that show. Somewhere Cyprius is like <laughs> I quit I stealing my bit. Anyway, um God, I've completely lost my train of thought. Psychic were, incapacitator. Yeah, yeah. Incapacitor. Oh yeah, god. The brain hurt her gun. Yeah. Um I I'm 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 I don't quite remember from last week. They, they had mentioned that, at least at the time of this document being written, it was also hurting the Mind Flayers. I don't know whether they had continued development to the point where it was still good, or where, where it was still hurting Mind Flayers, or if they had... No, we answered this. They, they, used, the, they used the gun on us and, and stuff, so I'm going to assume that they had fixed that problem, but it is a flaw that we can't exploit again. Um, well, they might not have fixed it. They might have just been really careful where they aimed it. I, I suppose I don't know yeah I, that that is true I don't know the extent to which I, I don't know the means by which this device harmed the mind flayers my thought was it was a backfires on the user type deal um, hmm. but regardless uh, this could be something we could use to psionically incapacitate uh, a mind flayer but ideally several mind flayers and most ideally Several mind flare ships. Hmm. That would be my best bet if we decided to take on this Nautiloid fleet. We could, of course, cut our losses and call it quits here. But Ioni, Ioni and I had already talked about. I, I think there is an inevitability to taking that fleet on, not the least yeah. of which being. Um, they seem to be developing the same technology that Dexter had been trying to help the Gith with. Mm. Well, I think the main problem is right now we don't know where they went. That is also true. Could be anywhere. Well, yeah. But they would have stuck together. They left this as a decoy for us, but whatever plan they were forming down here, we probably just made them speed it up. Yes. Scary we could wait. Mm. If um we could wait. They did say they wish to eradicate this plane. I assume they also mean other planes like it. All the planes in the planescape. So we could also just wait and see for some catastrophe. But I'd rather not. <laughs> yeah. Wait and see which one blows up and you're like, well they're probably they were there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like this plan. I guess no. the main question is, how close are they to cracking the project that, that your old crew was working on, do we think? Unclear. These documents are unfinished, and we had killed uh, one of the correspondents. Hmm. I do Finished have this, or not. 
Um, I'll Finished hold or not, up. if if they're speeding up plans, that means that they're gonna be. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we need to figure out where they went and hit them with the element of surprise while we have it, because they probably think we all blew up. True. Uh, I do have this. I will hold up the psionic gem that Ooh. essentially contains a, a scrying spell scroll. What? Um, Wait. What? <laughs> we got a gem. <laughs> so for he found he found treasure in this room. Um, yeah. It is. Uh, uh, I gave it to you. Um, I don't remember what it was. One of them was scrying. scrying the other and was tech thoughts. The tech thoughts. There you go. Uh, yeah. So he found it's this. It's spell scrolls, but they're in crystal psionic gems because that, that's cool. Oh yeah, ion stones and shit like that. <laughs> I remember three point five. <laughs> so, scrying is limited to beings on the same plane as you, but we could attempt to make an educated guess as to where they may be residing, and if we guess right, then the scrying will take hold, and then we might be able to discern where in their plans they are. Uh, it is a bit of a crapshoot figuring out where they were, where they would be currently. My first guess would be the material plane, but... <sighs> I hadn't, hadn't thought about that, but that would make sense. They wouldn't want the Astral Sea. They certainly wouldn't want Limbo. This was probably one of the best places for them to hide. It's hard to get to. They're also, a little can you remind bit me in the, in, in the documents that Virla found, that when they had described raising this new fleet, did they need the plane of water like for the conditions that it supplies to raise them? They did not. So what okay. you've learned from the other adventurers at this point is that Cressida found them in the Underdark. When it was mm. clear they had been found, they plane shifted here. When they were found here, they did not immediately plane shift away. Uh, a bunch of the, you know, you guys took eight hours and when you came back, all but one was gone. Essentially, you have learned a sacrificial lamb because they did have a bomb on board. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and you know that they have been uh, traveling to the beast lands from Davy and Athos to eat. So there is nothing. There's nothing about the plane of water that makes it seem like they need the plane of water to like raise it. Other than it's a good place to hide. This is where they fled when they thought they'd been found, um, and now they fled then? somewhere else when they have been found again. It, we could luck out. Maybe they just circulate between those three places. Um, it's possible that if the only source of food that they can get that's large enough is at the Beastlands, we could... It would involve waiting again, but we could wait there at the Beastlands and mm. intermittently cast scrying, but it's... Here's another I, thought, because I, I, I would like, like to pull either. in... I would like to pull in... Uh, there's other people... Uh, you know, I'd like to pull yeah, in yeah, other yeah. players, and <laughs> yes. you have NPCs. You also have access to four NPCs and a second ship. Mm -hmm. So perhaps plans could be made involving that. Yeah, we could we could cut we could divide and conquer. So, um, mm -hmm. As you question what a, to do. Sorry. Well, I, I had one question. question. Sorry, you mm -hmm. said they were growing warriors. No, the nautiloids. I think. No. Right? Or no, you got uh, notes they, or something. Did yeah, yeah. yeah. Notes so about in that? Notes, someone had that information, but in I didn't. The notes, I'll reread. Um, of the incubator. Uh, 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 First off, it said, the production of new nautiloids continues smoothly. The next clutch should be done incubating in weeks. Right. Vivisector Quodsiros, the scalpel in the corruption, enjoys the enucleator you designed. We should consider the construction of more once the first consortium is fully grown. The grown thralls, this is what you're thinking of, I think. The grown thralls are far, far faster than previous efforts, I'm informed, and show no signs of disobedience. Right, that was my question. Because because Virla mentioned, like, were the conditions in the plane of water necessary for incubating whatever. Um, but if I misunderstood, I can still not have that information. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> you understood correctly that it seems like they're making new guys as well as new ships, uh, but there's nothing in those notes that leads you to believe the plane of water is, like, the secret key to making any of these guys. No, and they, they could make thralls from any one. So, but that's the question. Supposedly. Were they growing thralls on the ship, or do they have a base somewhere? Uh, my assumption is that, well, your monastery was actually an autoloid, right? My my assumption is a really is that big they, one. Yeah, yeah. They grow Much them bigger than this one. Well, that would make sense. It does kind of limit the number of places they could be. 
I wonder what everyone else is doing. Yeah. <laughs> Cut to, all right, so let's check in. Danny's busy. Let's check in on Voss really quick. Voss, what have you been up to in the last hour? How, uh, what is your state of mind? And then we'll regroup you and I think at least some of the NPCs. Uh, remind me, I think Davian is, Davian and Athos are waiting on the Prospera. Yes, I, I believe, we, we did not it. leave our ship completely unattended. Fantastic. We left someone so who David only lost there. one other spelljammer before in charge of the <laughs> <laughs> Davian and Athos are there. Voss, you are... Uh, what are you up to? Tell me what you've done the last hour. Um, Voss would have been in the uh, original what, Helm Room watching mm-hmm. uh, Kiana sort of learn to pilot uh, the uh, the ship. Um, and, and while doing so, he would have been taking the, the, the Elder Brain goop off his sword. Um, <laughs> and uh, he's been f- fairly silent for the past hour, actually. Um, yeah, in terms of his state of mind, though, um, this is what he trained for, you know, back at, uh, in Yisgard, at his crash, um, him and his other fellow Yankees, their entire training and upbringing was for a moment like this, and, uh, the fact that he was never able, the fact that they never deemed him worthy uh, you know, to, to actually leave the crash and actually, you know, go to Tunareth and become a full-fledged member of society and the fact that he had to figure out some other way, you know, to go fight um, the Mind Flayers and, and be a hero on his own. Um, it, it's all coming back to him and uh, the fact that he has to do it now with this motley crew hmm. of uh, adventurers that he's stumbled upon um it's a weird mix of finds the whole situation a little humorous uh, you know a little entertained um if anything uh, despite the state being so high and so dire he doesn't quite understand all the details going on with the mind flares um he he feels like he's exactly where he needed to be despite everything that's happened um, so yeah. all right does this show like does Voss have like a like a like a sly little like smile is he like kind of like uh, inscrutable like what's what's the vibe here uh up until Kiana got up and left inscrutable <laughs> If Voss um, was but, in the room, I probably wouldn't have just left without what's, saying don't wor- anything. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Continue on, Voss. Sorry. No, no. Okay. Voss would have put on a straight face. He would have been extremely preoccupied with just making sure his, his sword was spick and span. But uh, uh, a lot where, of nooks and crannies yeah. in it to get, for a brain to get caught. Yeah. yeah. But um, the second Kiana leaves, I imagine he's the only one left in this room. I don't know if uh, Cressida's here. All, almost the only one. Cressida has her back to you attending to Lula. Ah, oh, I was oh. so rude. I didn't check who was in the room with me. I mean, like, you just stepped out to see if you could find Ioni quick. It wasn't like oh, a that's big... that's true. Yeah. You're, you didn't realize you were about to have a whole discussion on the future of uh, yeah. of the Planescape. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I was lost in the goop. It's um, easy to be. Yes. I guess he'll he'll turn to Cressida for a little bit the second uh, Kiana dips out of the room. He goes, mm-hmm. Oi, drow. Oi, gif. <laughs> <laughs> she she stops, but she doesn't turn around. Just gives like kind of like a half head turn, like she can't actually see you, but clearly her ear is pointed to you. Oh, oh I know you are a, a, a little bit down about the situation we're in right now, um, but uh, apparently you know these uh, these adventures for a while. You think uh, you think they've got the stuff? She stops for a second. Gives a shrug without turning, keeps working on Lula and says, I don't know. They've won every fight so far. I wouldn't bet against them losing now. Aww. What about you? You're the one who's actually born and bred for all this. Do you think they've got the stuff? Well, I have me doubts, <laughs> but they're the only ones I got right now, so I'll put everything on them. She stops now, turns around, faces you. Make do with what you got. I can understand that. 
she kind of looks over at Lula and you get the sense of like, oh, like this is a person who, you, the same way you are with the crew, she was with this giant spider for a long time. You know, this is, it's these two against the world. Um, she looks back at you. Uh, she says, so I've never had a friendly conversation with a gift Yankee before. The way I understand it, most people don't. What's, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what's put you on the same track as the rest of these guys? You seem like you're cut from a different cloth, if you don't mind me saying. Growing up, they called it a defect. Why, uh, friendly demeanor. Uh, of course, uh, they get have such a interesting way with uh, humor and jokes. Uh, quite laughed at and poked them. Uh, every time someone fell in combat, I was the first one to help them up. Couldn't let them die. Uh, I saw that it was as weakness, but uh, looks like uh, that's what just uh, regular people do. So that's just, I've always been this way. That's just me. Well, maybe you and I understand each other more than I would have thought. She kind of pauses and she says, uh, Is it easier leaving it behind when it sucked from the beginning? Voss kind of stares down his, at his sword for a little bit, and he says, I don't think it gets easier. You just get better at dealing with it. I suppose it doesn't. I suppose you do. But this getting better at dealing with it, you think you're ready to throw him with a group? Because I don't know how long you've been doing this thing. It seems like you're all new to this. And uh, <laughs> I've spent decades outside of my... Away from where I'm from. And uh, <laughs> I don't even know if I'm ready to join up into this fight now. Just feel like I'm going to feel a lot worse if I don't. Great thing about being Gith. They braid the fear out of you. Yes, guy. Also, really good at that. Mm. While I don't have nearly as much experience venturing all over the Planescape, I've had my fair share of deaths here and there. Awfully painful ones, some more drawn out than others, and yet I always get back up. And the world needs people that do that. We do it with a smile, we don't complain. Trying to make sure everybody else has fun along the way as well. So, hmm. well, I'm not going to handshake over the no complaining thing. I reserve the right to say I told you so at any moment. Fair enough. But otherwise, <laughs> fucked up to let us both here. Well, sometimes that's just the way. Everything comes together. We should go find the others. We gotta make plans. We gotta go kill some squids. Hopefully you and your spider. Uh Lula? It's got a, oh, it does have a name, alright. She does uh, have a name. Hello Best there, to Lula. It, otherwise that live Can die you hear thing you've me? got going. It's gonna come to an end. Oh right. Uh um yeah. Yeah. Uh we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I hear you get the nasty, but you don't go through any training like we do in Mensa Paranza. Oh. <laughs> Never been? Three-way no. handshake fucked up warrior backstories. <laughs> I'll right. the fight between Cressida and Voss. That's the one. Oh, that would be see. cool. Ooh, Does she yeah. get Lula? Ooh. <laughs> yes, obviously. I feel like if Voss gets a sword, she gets Lula. Uh, yeah. It's at this point that I'm going to say everyone except uh, da uh, David Athos on the other ship, Ioni, uh, Virla and Kiana join you guys back in the bridge having realized yeah. that there's more pressing things to talk about. Danny is still unaccounted for as she is uh, currently busy in the bowels of the ship. Breaking this case uh, wide open. <laughs> Danny's cracking this case wide open and it means that we gotta come back to her in a little while. We gotta give her time. Gotta let it, gotta let it stew. Gotta let it soak. Uh, you guys come in. stew since last episode. I wanna know what you found. Do you, uh, do you bring everyone up to speed? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll go in and I'll 
start by saying, like, oh, I thought Danny would be here by now, but that's okay. You guys need to hear this, and I'll recap everything that I had learned, essentially. Uh, ending on the psychic incapacitator. Gotcha. Uh, you say all of that. <laughs> you say all of that. Uh, Chris goes, oh, good. I love when a job turns out to have way more than you originally signed up for. <laughs> it always... What? Have you had a job that didn't do that? Yes, many of them. Many of them are exactly by the book. Sometimes a guy just has gambling debts and I just need to find them. <laughs> I gotta spend some Normal time in your shoes, I think. <laughs> no mind flayers involved. Yeah. You know how many of my jobs have no mind flayers? Most I would say them? all of them, statistically <laughs> speaking. Technically... <laughs> Like, yeah, well, at least they, one. They, are, they are outliers. They, they don't even okay. count at okay. this point. It's less than 1%. <laughs> but how are you all feeling about this idea of potentially taking on the rest of the fleet and sooner than later, if so? Well, I would love to not have mind flares as a problem anymore. It's more about how to make it happen than if we want to do it. Agreed. Right, we got to go find them first, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, easier said than done. I think perhaps that the whole tracking their artificer might be out of the picture now that you've, like, turned her into a, you know, dis she... uh, disassembled corpse, so. What exactly well, do you she's need to dead, track? But the... But Lula's met the other Mind Flayers, right? There was one that escaped. There is one that escaped. And the Elder Brain and the Intellect Devourer that was in the artificer's brain. Hmm. Apparitions are weird. It might be enough to go on if we can get on the same plane. Mm. Of course, it means we're going to have to do a lot of plane hopping, mm. and Lula only carries one. Right. So back to the educated guessing on which plane they're on. Well, it may be... I mean, I know that we want to get on top of things quickly, but maybe it doesn't need to be... Right now? Maybe it doesn't need to be within the next couple hours... Hmm. We could spread a, a, a wider, cast a wider net with more people. I know that the gifts area are sometimes slow to act, they, they, they deliberate a lot, hmm. but I'm sure that the monks will be eager to act, and I think with a threat this big, they won't have time to deliberate. Maybe uh, someone sent to go inform them would be the, the best first course of action. Yeah. And, and then you mentioned you mentioned setting a trap in the place that we know that they're they're going to feed the ships. If, if there's this many, as they say, you know they, they they can't avoid it forever, right? Yeah. True. Okay, that's really good too because we should not take the Nautiloid to Limbo. <laughs> that's a really good way for us to find out exactly I mean, what I the Gensari monks think, are capable of. Uh, I, you know, I think when we arrive there and it's and it's not a bunch of mind flayers, they, they'll stop the attack. Yeah, but they're gonna start the attack first. <laughs> We'll, we'll be fab. Maybe we could let them know. We'll let but them they know. know about the Paraspora. If the Paraspora goes, they'll just be like, oh, my good friend, oh, the well, Paraspora. Yeah. Fair enough. And then if we go in this in this to the Beastlands and they show up, they might just be like, oh, Nautiloid Steve, I didn't know you were here also eating this Brontosaurus. Like, well, can they, you know? <laughs> can they recognize that? Will they recognize the Nautiloid that they had left to die, essentially? Ha ha have we named it? Its, it's name is Steve? <laughs> I was spitballing, but... It could be Steve. Kind of feels like a, a Steve on the inside. Early. Is that like a dwarfish name or? I think I, th I thought it was Drow, but dwarfish might be. That's sense. not Drow. Definitely, okay. definitely not. Sorry, definitely. sorry. All I know it's from down under. Anyway, um. <laughs> I'm so glad I finally, <laughs> Chris, finally got to make this joke. Chris shakes her head and says, um, two parties. One to the mm -hmm. immediately. One to get Zerai. One to the Beastlands. Uh, to, one to the kids Zerai to tell them one to the Beastlands to wait. Yeah. And it seems obvious which ship should go where. Yes. Okay. Perhaps we'll one need to the someone... Underdark to, one to the check well, on their original Well, we don't have a third place. ship. But... I mean, they're arrogant, but are they... I don't think they're dumb. <laughs> this is fair. They do keep genetically engineering things that try to kill them immediately, though. Arrogant, but not... It's... I... It could be. Okay. It, maybe okay. it's worth no. a check. Lula, Lula and I could certainly go scout it out and then come right back 
if we had a location to plane shift to. Hmm. Big hole in the ground where my old monastery was. I meant more meeting back with you guys. We could, yes, we could check there. Oh, but right. then, uh, well, I would check. I would check the place that they were when they captured me. Oh, Should yeah, we, good idea. Because that's Shall what they were just, just set. Mm-hmm. So the portal to Sigil, as our de facto meeting location. I Sounds still right. don't think we should bring a Nautiloid into Sigil. <laughs> I don't think so either, but I the think in the actual sea directly outside Sigil. Oh, yeah, the portal. He's suggesting yeah, the ass will say. Yeah, yeah, no okay. complaints. Well, you guys want to get the ships out of here. You have limited plane shifts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You do have a tuning fork to Limbo. So do you guys want to both shift to the Astral Sea and do more planning? Or do you want to like finish your planning and then send the two parties on your way? Because... Uh, well, maybe not all the NPCs and PCs assume this. I, the DM, am assuming that you, the party, are going to go do one thing, and the secondary party is going to do something that you, the players, decide you would like them to, to be handling. Mm. Basically, you guys, I'm giving you get, you know, you guys are getting a, uh, your the capability to spin two plates. Mm-hmm. Um, you'll only be responsible for one, but you know, you you have the secondary party who can do things for you that you might want to do, but find tedious or impossible because of you know you can't be in two places at once i think these are the good makings of a plan we should most we should probably consolidate them with our captain though yeah i was gonna say if you guys send uh, the peraspora anywhere out of danny's immediate line of sight without telling her that it's going to the astral sea first she's going to blow up this whole we, ship and we would have learned it. nothing from this <laughs> she's entire gonna season freaking lose it. <laughs> what? god All damn right. it where where is she cut nice. to Fucking yeah! Boom. <laughs> the depths of the ship. Find out what Danny learned Danny, since the last week. <laughs> starting by finding, by traveling along, tracing the deep roots and nervous system that extend from the pool helm down to the bowels of the ship, you seek to understand how this creep thing does it generate motive force, just like the Prosper does it have a generator? Uh, how? What is the? What is the the the? state of the blend of psionic artifice and biology with this thing's unique combination. You spend the hour and if I remember correctly you rolled a 32. Is that correct? Hell yeah. Stupid high. Am I, am I, I mean audience hate me. Was it a natural 20? Uh, I, think was... I don't think so because I add my I, no? I added 12 to it from my tools check. Yeah. So maybe... Oh, man, there's... Was there I mean, something else? It was over 30. It was over 30, so it was either a 19 or a 20 because you must have been add... a 19 then, because I don't remember it being a natural 20. I think if it was a nat 20, we would have lost our minds. Sorry, <laughs> guys, we don't get to... Sorry, guys, we don't get to uh, go back and listen to the episodes because they're not edited together yet. Oh, no, um, we recorded regardless. something <laughs> seven days ago, and Sophia <laughs> hasn't it? turned around a four-hour episode fully no, edited co- yet. I'm trying to defend us. We're on your side, man. We're on your side, man. <laughs> uh, you, um, with an over 30, though, on your artifice check, beyond an impossible check, you trace through and begin to find the bizarre manifestations here that are the result of a biologically growing, artifice-stimulated, psionically bred and controlled organism, for lack of a better word. The artifice to you speaks, obviously, as um, having its roots in the way that City of Brass does its artifice. You can clearly see the fingerprints of design and intent that you clearly understand locked here among the chaos uh even another artifice of your skill might not have been able to crack this case because they wouldn't have known where to start but you are able to find the very beginnings of what you understand and trace that and use that to guide you through all of the strangeness uh and the uh alien structure of this thing delving through the bowels you pass through rooms that are you know circular and carved through uh uh able to like pass through sinewy webbing of of musculature down here um you move what can be moved cut what needs to be cut crawl where you need to crawl until at last you come to a place where if this thing had a heart a heart would be beating 
rather than a heart or a um uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, or, or a, a motor force generator, the engine uh, in the Paraspora, rather than something like that. Instead, you find uh, a pulsating organ. I mean, you you know, very much like a heart. Not four-chambered, uh, but clearly a center for energy. The roots from the pool helm travel down here. And connected to it in the same way that a um, egg tooth is still connected to the beak of a of a bird or of a reptile as it after it cracks its way out, but in the same way that it, it's it's vest, it, like a vestigial connection, this thing that was needed, but is no longer needed. You find protruding from this this organ from the nautiloid. You see a crystal rod. The rod is probably about a foot long. It is largely cylindrical but has some fastening. It's not completely smooth all the way around. The ends and uh, do taper into dull points. Uh, This crystal rod is worth 5,000 gold pieces. But probably far more than that. Etched into this rod, and this is what takes you the majority of the time as you begin parsing through it, you find spell code that you've seen similarly when Virla stores his spells, translating from scroll into a thing that can be stored uh, within his spell book, translating things to be uh, used by Bing. You recognize spell code, essentially, trapped within this, The uh, in the same way that, like, uh, when, when the spell was cast here, it etched these lines, and then the spell faded, was spent, and it left behind the blueprint. Here, etched into this uh, crystal rod, you see the the recipe, the long lost spell of create spell jamming hell. <gasps> A master of imbuing magic into objects, Danny, you innately understand how this went forward and how to reverse it. Basically, how to get the workable spell out of this object but you will need a scribe in order to copy it down and make it usable for arcane casters and not just psionics. And if I pick up the rod, it's not going to do a Temple of Dune, like, tunnel run all day. (laughs) (laughs) The boulder. No, as I said, it's vestigial at this point. The, The creation happened. It happened. The spell went off, and this is the used uh, material component that created the helm, now just sitting inert. You reach forward and with slight pressure, pluck it from the organ, uh, and it rests coldly in your hands. If there's uh, nothing I can gleam about the purpose of the ship otherwise i will head back to the where the nothing the you is. can gleam I, I mean like obviously there is an we are aware of an ongoing plot <laughs> the nine it. mind players the, in the midst of if this ship isn't like rigged to explode you know the ship is not rigged to explode <laughs> it was no. rigged to explode but we fixed it was rigged that. to explode you stopped it the purpose of the ship is to move the bad guys around okay uh then i would return to the rest of the crew presumably right. okay you return to the rest of the crew. <laughs> well, I was just going to say for the umpteenth time, I'll re- I will reiterate what I had found in the uh, <laughs> in the research uh, workshop. Okay. Yeah, Danny. Danny, you enter. Are you what? Is, what's up with the rod? Are you like, is this like a way? Is this thing you're going to tell Virla about? Are you like, look what I got? <laughs> like, what uh, is Danny's? Danny um, pops up what from is the trap Danny's door, headspace opens the door, walks in. Trap door already? <laughs> already? <laughs> or like a yeah, hatch? He was busy. Whatever. Uh, How do I know about that thing? Yeah, Virla. Danny blows it open. Steps out, goes, <laughs> pew, 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 <laughs> firing her gun. Vela, catch. Now check on the rod. What? <laughs> <laughs> Shatters. Yeah. <I> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, ho- hopefully that oh, was an important across my computer. <laughs> All right, Vela, get the crazy glue. You're gonna need to, uh, it's rigged for psionics, but I think if we copy that down, it'll be useful. Am I able to discern what this is? Just go ahead and make me an arcana check. Sure. Ooh. 22. Ooh. Tasty. Virla, 
as you begin to read this, uh, it becomes very clear what this is. For the second time you look at a, in your life, you look at a spell that has been forgotten to time. Now within your hands. Oh, Mestra. <laughs> uh, Why, is she here too? <laughs> <laughs> I will go ahead and copy this right away as soon as I can. I have I have so many spells that I can copy into my spell book now. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we will... Uh, it's Planescape okay. Christmas. <laughs> You are going to copy that, but I assume we want to make plans first. Yes. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I. Uh, all right. So. Uh, I assume that you've all been standing around here trying to guess what the mind players are doing. So I guess, you know, do we have yeah. an idea of their next move or is it sort of just they're going to regroup somewhere and we have to kind of guess where? I, I think their next move is to regroup. We have to guess where, but it is with the ultimate intention of traveling to another Planescape. We don't know what uh, we don't know on what time scale they're operating on. We assume that's accelerated now that we've uh, shown our hand and let ourselves be known to them. To be but fair, they probably think we exploded. So this is true, but I also don't want to necessarily bank on that. But yeah, Element of Surprise has not worked with these guys before. <laughs> we have several options. No, no, it has not. We have several <laughs> options in 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 the air right now. I propose, I propose that Davion and Athos go back to the Beastlands with this ship to act as a decoy slash watch for if any other Nautiloids were to come feed. We can use the Paraspora with Ioni can to Davian pilot alert the this ship. I was gonna suggest that I go with I the Nautiloid to the Beastlands. That's actually Ioni a point. Could. Ioni's Ioni is also psionic. We could we could send the entire B team to the Beastlands with Ioni piloting the Nautiloid, but I just got the Nautiloid, you guys. It actually kind of works out because Athos knows the Beastlands. Mm-hmm. Cressida, perhaps it's still unclear, but there's the notion that Cressida could track them if the right uh, Nautiloid shows up, because Lula mm-hmm. will know about it if the Mind Flare she's had contact with is aboard. Uh, Ioni can pilot the ship. Uh, and Davian can be the pretty one. <laughs> <laughs> they can read it's minds, a... so does that extend to people who are on board another Nautiloid? I don't think so. It's a little hard because I mean, they could. Tell. I don't see why not. They could oh, sense us when we would... showed up outside the ship. Yeah. I feel like well, I think that's because you... they could tell. They could tell anything within a certain radius of them. And it's really, really big. But I think just being on a Nautiloid doesn't let them know. I'm where saying we if are. we send them as a decoy to the Beastlands, are they going to show up in a Nautiloid? But then immediately they're going to be like, "Well, those guys aren't one of us." So that's oh. fair. Well, I, I don't. Yeah. If they, uh, I insist, if they're going there to to hunt them, we'll track them down. That they, uh, Keanu, you said that they, they have at least a minute, at best, before they can plane shift again. That would yeah. be enough. I mean, Cressida, like. Ed's rep says at the worst case scenario they flee and we scared them off from eating best case scenario we take down another one which is not the whole fleet but still pretty good and we're doing what while this is happening well, we go to limbo plan. and we tell the githzerai more. about all of this we need and perhaps a mass an army to bring with us to it to to this um sorry boss was what's up no, no, we we need more, more. Uh, we have enough of us here to take on maybe one or two. But if they bring the whole lot of them together, we're going to need more than just us. So mm. there is also the matter of this incapacitator. Mm. Um, I don't know if there's anything that you would be able to cook up with it. I mean, I'm sure this I notion can that take a look, but yeah. I don't know what it does exactly. I mean, the name I have a guess, but if it's right. like the gun. I kind of know what it does. <laughs> but you're right, we would need our hands on it, which we rolled as them having left it. Uh, I believe we did roll that, yes. So I mean, we also yeah. for sure still have the disabled bomb. Like that You also have the disabled it. bomb, which is, yeah. that too. from the name, you can guess the same technology. There's actually... Like, one is a gun, but Danny's smart enough to understand, like, the underlying mechanic. I mean, if she rolls well enough, like, 
the the benefit from studying the bomb, the benefit from the stand, studying the gun are going to be the same thing. So we have the bomb, mm -hmm. and that could be used against them. But what do you think? I don't know that it sounds like a plan, but I don't know if I have a better suggestion either. It's sounds like a to-do list more than... I mean, is the end goal that you guys have cooked up we destroy the entire Mind Flayer fleet? Yes. Sorry, was that in question? I mean, uh, you know, well, if their plan was we're destroying the Planescape and then we're leaving, that's... we gotta stop them because we all live in the Planescape, but I don't know. If their plan is just they leave. Would, they would probably try the reverse order. Oh, leave Planescape, then they, destroy us? That does make they sense. They probably yeah. won't destroy it with themselves in it. It's, it's a little safer. Right. Probably I guess, enough, you know, yes. destroying on the way out. Just <laughs> Whatever order the destroy the Planescape comes in, I live in the Planescape, I'd like it to not get destroyed. Uh, but if their plan was just leave. Right. Um, I'd still probably want to stop that. But, you know, whatever. They had... There is documentation suggesting that they do want to destroy this place. Okay, that's what I was asking is, did leave. you guys uncover something that told you what their plan might be? Because I was looking in the heart of the ship for that rod, so I kind of missed all of the recounting of... Yeah, I guess I guess <laughs> I, I assume that I had recapped to gotcha. you. Gotcha. I'm not going to mm -hmm. do it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know about the incapacitator, you know about them having researched... Uh, multiversal technology. They want to destroy this planescape and, and leave. They're also um, growing another slave race of warriors. I well, kind of like to stop that if possible. That's honestly not surprising for, for them, though. Yeah. I know. It's kind of powerful, of course. They're going to keep coming so, yeah. after us even if we didn't do anything. So, I mean, we're pretty deep in this at this point anyway. But, you know, mm. I had to broach the possibility. Not our circus, not our monkeys, but this is pretty our circus, pretty our monkeys, so... Well, as long as we take out the, the mastermind behind the whole destroying the multiverse thing, I, I think the rest of the Planescape can clean up the mess, but go for the head first. Are you suggesting that there's one brain? Like, it's a, like we just need to focus on the one, there's one guy, or is this more of a metaphorical, oh, the mind flayers are the one guy trying to destroy the plane shape? I hope there's just one guy, that would be great. More of a metaphor. Okay, we're uh, going to okay. need to be very clear. I actually... That. What? Ah, he's probably not... So Super wrong. Like, there's a lot of them, and that's bad. We can't let it. We don't want any of the rats to to find cover, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Stomp out all the cockroaches before they can get back into the shadows. But, uh, Chris, you know, Chris is speaking. Says, but there is the big one. <laughs> it's always the big one. The there big is the one? big one. Yeah, what, what, the one. Yeah. That you if there were, was anything, if there, there was any shift, the, the bomb was going to go on if we were able to. Oh, the, you know, this, get it to work. There's an actual big one. Oh. Right. Oh, dang, no. yeah, would change this, the mechanics. This was one of the small the ones. Oh, I, I the thought, big one. I thought it was just the a big one, or, which we armada, still don't know where it was. It wasn't there when I found it, but clearly it's connected to these other ones. All right, then we should just find the big ones. Details, y'all. Well, we have to get to the big one, right? And I assume that there's going to be a lot of smaller ones in between us and the big one. Well, it should have just pointed me towards the big one. We go for big one and then we get the little ones later plus like, if we knew I mean, where the big one was i promise we would have told you immediately I mean, the paraspora I, I, is probably smaller and more you know what i'm about to say the paraspora is smaller and more maneuverable and as i'm saying it i'm realizing that the smallest and most maneuverable ship is the one that was stolen by the mind flares <laughs> damn it davian <laughs> <laughs> he's in the room with us <laughs> he's on the ship he's on the nah, he's still gone. oh yeah he's not part of the super cool cool kids planning club mm-hmm but when his ears are burning <laughs> I mean yeah I honestly my bet as far as effectively and most efficiently taking down this feet, uh, fleet would be figure out reverse engineer that bomb uh, modify it reconfigure it such that it does harm mind flayers who knows, we might not even need to reconfigure it. It might already just do that. Um, and have it explode on the biggest ship. There's a lot of blank steps in between each of those smaller ones. Namely, how are we getting on that big ship? But broad strokes, I suppose that's more of a plan than the to-do list we had pre previously. Yeah. 
I mean... Well, good enough for me. Let's get going. <laughs> Great. So, All if right. they're not in the Beastlands, and we just send a bunch of guys over there in a Nautiloid, where do they go next? We are op- we're operating under the assumption that these ships need to feast. They need to feed, and the Beastlands is the only plane, or at I'm least the most accessible plane I'm not saying that it's not likely, but it's possible that they're not there. It's well, possible then that we make a new there. plan. I only holds mm-hmm. up the Sending Stone. If it doesn't oh, yeah. work, we can always chat. Honestly, sure. my assumption was that they're going to go there eventually. It's just more of a waiting game, but that is fair. They might not be there at all. Then. Okay. So... Waiting, I'm used to at this point, so... <laughs> you are always way said... better at that than me. Cressa says, and if the waiting's too long, then we'll make a new plan. But it's a good right. start. How long is too long? I think we'll know it when we feel it. Yeah, probably. Right. Check in after you guys make progress, and we'll coordinate. And All right. If we're me- if we're uh, meeting up, it's going to be uh, Astral Sea next to a portal, right? Mm. I would suggest yeah. the Astral Sea, the portal outside Sigil. And how Good. long are we well, imagining? Okay. I'm gonna. The Perath I'm gonna point out again. It kind of seems like you guys have plans. Do you want to yes. meet up to continue planning, or do you just want to go on your? No, I, I think now. the I think this is the rendezvous point after if the plan goes south and we need to make a new plan, the rendezvous point. Or if point the plan is... goes well and we know where right, they're going. But like right now the plan is not to go to the Astral Sea, the plan is to split to go, uh, yeah, and, to mm-hmm. immediately and do go to the limbo the and the beastlands. The beastlands. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show Fantastic. Ioni where to where to where I, in I the just wanna, to stick just your hands. Because we have limited resources here, uh, the Perasper can plane shift once a day normally, and then I can try otherwise. Um They've been pretty successful the, so far. You have, but the plane, the the ship has not plane shifted using its innate feature, and you have a tuning fork to limbo. I mean, I'm so we can just go there. Can today. we use so the tuning fork to plane right shift now. in addition to just the normal plane shift that it can do? I thought the ship could we only plane shift. We didn't use today's shift. plane shift. Do you use the medallion? I know. I'm saying if we use, use it now and we need to immediately turn around and get to the beastlands, oh. then you'll need to use the medallion because you don't have a tuning fork there. But the no roll necessary, you can always use it as long as you have a tuning fork to the place. Regular plane shift of the spell jammer of uh, the Paraspora mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. totally re- ready to go, and it can take you either to the astral seat because you have a tuning fork there, or it can take you to limbo because you have a tuning fork there. All right, I guess I'm. What I've, Danny was trying to ask the crew is like, we are aware of like these are these are the resources that we have. We can't like freely hop plane to plane with no risk like we could get sh- shunted anywhere if this fucks up if we're trying to really move with speed so we need to be on it about how much time we're gonna have between everything i think we're gonna be all right if the entire armada had to plane shift out of the plane of water at least two-thirds of them can't plane shift again for another 24 hours so wherever they are they're grounded right now We've got time. That's a good point. Okay. And you're effectively asking, the, the with these resources, you're effectively asking us to put the Paraspora uh, and her health in your hands, which we have been doing from the start. So I'm asking you guys to remember that the amulet is a failable resource, and it, we can't count on it working 100% of the time. So That's okay. We're, we Current plan, we probably won't even need to use it. But, yeah. No, we will if we yeah. want to go straight to the beast. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you want to go well, straight we, to the beast, yeah, you're yeah. going to have to use the amulet. Like, yeah. if it's anything if, less than 24 hours, the ship can't plane shift again innately. It would need to... I think I think we all are on the same page. Yeah. That's awesome. Great. Cressida goes, I think we're on the same page. Thank you, Cressida. <laughs> I think right. we're good. All right. And I'm going to show right, you how to You want to go send the bozos over? Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. So you could do the action tag off. And give oh, it by on the attunement. Mm-hmm. Uh, she go. She gives you. She hands you back your dragon hide belt. Oh, thank you. Slap that sucker back <laughs> on in my unequipped part I'll, of my uh, inventory. Well, I a belt for a ship seems like an even trade, you know. Yeah, sounds about right. It's about the sentimental value. Oh, I, uh, finally, I have sticky feet again. At the end of last episode, I technically dimension doored straight to the Paraspora, but retconning that, I'll, do- I'll dimension door now and update Davion and Athos and. Ah, uh, yes inform Ioni that they, they gotta wait for two more passengers. No, no, they're getting on the Nautiloid and we're going on the Paraspora, yep. right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yes. I dimension doored onto the Paraspora, I told Davion and Athos what's happening, and then I told Ioni and the Nautiloid that they are expecting Davion and Athos. Mm. Okay, cool. Oh, sorry. I was confused. I'm like, why did you dimension door over there if we're just going over <laughs> there ourselves immediately? 
and then we could because I beamed up. <laughs> Beam me up, Davion. Beaming him. We can all breathe underwater for like eight more hours. We can all just swim over. <laughs> Energize. Athos is excited by the prospect of going back to the Beast Lands. He thinks that's yeah. a great idea and that he's it's the perfect place. Uh, Davion is less thrilled about going back to the Beast Lands. Uh, <laughs> says you're practically a native at this point. It's always so hot, then my sunburn it gets so bad. The thing about the Beast Lands is it's um most of what you do there is mostly just struggle and fail at things. So. Uh, sure, that's not. Athos informs me that this is part of the plane. It's part of the. It's yeah, that's it's a feature, not a bug. But um, I'm gonna tell him that he needs to get his ship anyway, back so that we there can, are a lot uh, of bugs there. Put though. the bomb on it. It's the With most the fastest bugs. thing. Yeah. Wait, you want to put the bomb on Davion's ship? If we could get it back, it's the fastest and most maneuverable ship we would ha- optionally have. That's fair. As long as all I get I don't to know drive. How we're going to. I don't know how we're going to get the ship back without it just being completely I don't want to say it's part of the plan for sure, but if the opportunity presents itself, I want him to take advantage of that. You know what I mean? Mm, I think yeah. I think if the Nautiloid that they encounter is the one that has Davion's ship, Davion will inherently leap at the opportunity to get it back. Literally. I don't know. He did fall He'll off. He'll be his way over. He fell off. Athos went and caught him. It was fine. I am very excited at the prospect of finding my ship, although I do have to say, he steps back, which is silly because the ship is so big, and he holds up his hands like a frame, and he looks at the, the mind flare, he goes, I feel like perhaps there is some renown to be said for a, a person who is uh, uh, in possession of such a ship as this one. You're going to need to do a lot of explaining, yeah. like, quick. You're right. Like, maybe, I like, paint on the, the name, side, like, the crew of the not owned by my he, owners of a Nautiloid he looked, he, to spread far and he wide. He looks at you. <laughs> This is yeah, like you said losing a dog and do a lot of explaining. A uh-huh. He looks at you and he goes like this with his hand over his face, like I'm a redskin <laughs> devil man. <laughs> you know, you know, it's a good point. But that just means you have twice as much explaining to do. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of charm. I'm not worried about these things. Okay. Come, Athos. We have things to stop. <laughs> Finally. All right. Anything else that any of you guys want to say to the NPCs before you go? Don't fuck it up. <laughs> ah, I've got all my, f- I've gotten all my fucking up out of the way. I'm gonna At have to point, actually stand up to be on here. He almost single-handedly def- 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 just killed that kraken. Oh, that sounds oh, really cool. I'm sorry I missed it. Yeah. I I know you didn't, but not I was take my word for it the next or, one. or don't. <laughs> the next one. <sighs> uh, right. Athos, but you could do, uh, you know. Good luck to all of you. Uh, yeah. Spent the warriors uh, farewell to uh, to Kiana. No. Big, you know, like arm to arm. I'm so that. tiny, and he's so massive. You are so tiny. <laughs> it's like my entire upper arm the is in the handshake helps, too. But... Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Cressida, uh, you know, says goodbye to all of you. Um, looks at Hugh. Uh, uh, looks at Voss uh, and says. Don't fuck it up. Sign. Uh, Davian. Good day, my friends. And then Ioni says goodbye to each, and to Kiana just says, We're gonna get him. Yeah. Right out. Looking forward to it. Be safe. You too. They go. All right. Well. The Mind Flayer, Ill, uh, the Nautiloid moves back, and then plane shifts away, leaving you guys in the dark of the trench, the plane of elemental water. Well, we'll pretty much... the Prasper, what would you like to do? Well, we'll immediately know whether or not there's nautiloids there, because if there are, they'll sense that the ship is full of people who are not mind flayers and probably go on the attack, so... Okay, well, they do have to be within five miles... And it's not mind reading, it's I'm, just intelligence sense. I don't mean right so, the second, but more like the second that they either encounter or don't encounter mind flares is us launching into battle because there's no way that they can get through undetected unless all of them were mind shielded, right? I don't think we were expecting them to plane shift into a spot where Nautiloids were already waiting and for I'm them. not saying like this immediate second they plane shift. I just mean like the minute that they do encounter Nautiloids in however much travel uh, they go, the, if they encounter the Nautiloids, the Nautiloids probably also become immediately aware that the ship is full of not them, right? Well, I don't know if we ever established if they can sense just psionically what exactly it is they're sensing, because when we first went to the Plane of Water, they sent out, like, the equivalent of guard dogs, and they thought that was going to be enough. 
I mean, you know? that also true, just might yeah. be arrogance, though. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that is kind of their thing. Well, that there's is, only one way true. to find out. But there's no call from them. You guys wait a minute. There's no call from them. It's like, <laughs> hey, 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 back <laughs> <Found> up. <them. laughs> yeah. uh, so you assume that basically they are just in the waiting game there. They're waiting for someone to show up, and you will either they'll take care of it or you'll get a call when it happens. Cool. All right, well, if I'm going to reverse engineer at this bomb, then I'm going to basically need to spend the rest of this time looking at it, because I don't... That, it's not an immediate task. That's what I'm going to be doing. Who's handling... I assume Kiana talking to the Gith. Uh, yeah, I can... I'll talk to... I'll get the boys up to speed when we get there. All right. All right. Uh, so, uh, Virla, da- uh, Davian give you back control. Yep. So it seems like... Danny is going to do some artificer, uh, artificer's checks. I uh, wonder how that will go. And we will uh, at least be talking to Enoch uh, with Kiana yeah. and anyone else who wants to join. So, Virla, if there's nothing else you would like to do, plane shift away out of the terrifying serenity of <laughs> the plane of water. Mm. The just, like, peaceful claustrophobia of being this far down, this much pressure, you plane shift to the complete opposite, open space that is roiling and changing and uh, just like uh, uh, complete chaos, utter utter chaos around you. Uh, You see the Adamantine Citadel, whose name I forget, it does have a name. it's not the Adamantine it not Citadel. The Adamantine it is the Adamantine Citadel. C- they make the Adamantine Citadels. There are more. This is the big one. Oh. It has a name whose name I don't remember. So it's one of several it. Adamantine Citadels. I don't know if we've ever one of... said its name on the show. I think it's always just been the Adamantine I don't know Citadel. <laughs> uh, well, it doesn't matter. Welcome back to Limbo. And uh, you guys are a welcome sight, so there's no, like, you know, greeting party that goes out to you guys. The larger city was. <laughs> Fuck me, I decide to read this. Shra, Shrakatlor. There's a wow. lot of apostrophes in there. Ah, uh, classic fantasy shit. <laughs> Shrakatlor. An austere Zoom fortress height. city that served as both the capital of the Gesserai and its military headquarters. It's with the past tense. Uh, serves. It still exists. <laughs> Thanks, good. Wikipedia. Anyway, <laughs> Danny wants, wants to go take care of that. Uh, Kiana, you're gonna go speak with Enoch. They will let you in. Uh, cool. It's easy enough for you to move through this space now. You are well adapted and can manifest like stones beneath your feet. Uh, yep. Our wizard and our bard sorcerer, what are, what are y'all up to? <laughs> Smart boy and other Spell boy. scroll. <laughs> I, well, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna turn to Voss and be like, what are you planning on doing here? Because I was gonna go copy some spell scrolls, but if you need to be looked after, then I'm gonna do that. <laughs> well, uh... Can already sharpen the sword. Uh, don't have much else. I'll keep the seat warm. Sure. If you don't. On, but on seat for the remainder of whatever we're doing here. Mm-hmm. If you're going into the Citadel, just. It took a lot of trust for them to trust us and your you. You're, it's not, not even like that you're a Gith Yankee and they're a Gith Zera. You're you. Uh-huh. You inherently, as a person, personality-wise, right, right, uh-huh. I... act as the complete antithesis <laughs> to everything that stands here. As a person, no offense. <laughs> Slam on the oh, uh, ship's hey. comms, like, oh, Verla, where the, get, where's that fucking spell scroll, man? <laughs> what? I have it. What, what? What do you want me to do? What's taking so long? What's taking so long? I have three spell scrolls, and they're all going to take at least thirty minutes total. Stop hassling the new guy and get to work, then. You heard, All right. You heard the boss. What if we get kicked out? It's, it's, it's his problem. That's on you. Stop hassling me. <laughs> Just going to press a couple buttons Such here and there. Dick. Jeez. Voss, don't right. touch anything. I'll touch. All right, boss. <laughs> I'll go ahead and I'll start converting those spell scrolls. It's <laughs> it's two minutes per level and fifty gold per level. I have okay. a level two and two level five, so that's some math amount. <laughs> You said 10 minutes per level? Uh, 10 minutes for the f- fifth level scrolls, and then four minutes for the detect thoughts. Oh, it's two minutes, not 10 minutes per, per level? Mm-hmm. He's a speedy boy. He's fast. That's, crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Scribes well, is so good. Let's handle. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and handle. 
Voss, what are you doing so I can get some order of operations? I will probably seats. sneak off the ship and try to meet up with Kiana. Fuck you. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, sorry, so you're sneaking off the ship and doing what? Uh, meeting up with Kiana. Oh. Okay. Kiana, it's fine. you, Virla, you go to your your study. Kiana, you walk up to that Adamantine okay. Citadel, and yep. next to you uh, appears. Uh, make a wisdom check for me, boss. Let's see how well you can control the chaos around you. <laughs> oh, that is not. That's not a good idea. You do get your you get your bar jack of all trades on this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. my god. So that's a, <laughs> okay. It's a plus two bonus. Yep. Okay. Um, that is a ten. Okay. Uh. <laughs> He's just yeah, like you, into the you hear Voss, you hear Voss steps on like uh, <laughs> Voss does not sneak up on you because as he's walking up behind you, he's uh, trying to manifest stable ground beneath him. Uh, one of them turns into Jello, and he like totally <laughs> he, he you don't eat shit, but like you fall, and then there's like an explosion nearby. You kind of have to twist your way, so it's kind of just like a stumbling dance as you join Kiana uh, here, standing at the entrance to the Adamantine Citadel. Oh boy. All right, fists. I don't know how you do it, but uh, somehow uh, we've made it on land. Yeah. Oh, you just gotta, you just gotta like focus just right, and I'm gonna make a tiny little Voss figurine and just pop out of it air. <laughs> huh. <laughs> a perfect likeness in all of your hideousness. <laughs> My mother thinks I'm beautiful. All right. <laughs> you never knew your mother. Oh. <laughs> Boss's sassy inner angsty monologue with the same accent. You never knew your mother. Um, fantastic. Okay, so. Uh, I don't think Kiana has internalized the Gith Yankee, Gith Zerai, like, blood feud. I think she knows that there's something there, but it just has not registered as relevant. It's all right. So her plan is still front gate. Yep, smile through it. You, when you walked up, Kiana, like people recognize who you are. They're like, oh, we'll get Enoch. Hello. So as Voss joins you, you see the little, like, what's the, it's like the little door that you look, you open up, you look at things. They're like a little peephole, but it's a door. Oh, those things, yeah. One of things, I don't know. One of those things, it opens up. Uh, Enoch is there. He looks at you, Kiana. He smiles. Hello. Kiana, always a pleasure. And then his eyes go to Voss. <laughs> and he goes, one moment. <laughs> Close the thing. You hear the doors open up, uh, and he, like they open up like two feet, and he slides <laughs> out, and then they close behind him. Uh, and he says, "Apologies for any lack of hospitality. This is a carefully guarded place, and while some of you have earned the gr- a great deal of trust from my kin, our safety must be paramount. What can I help you with this day?" Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so, you remember those mind flayers that raised me and then they ran away? Of course. Yeah, we found them for a little while, then they ran away again. They did try to blow us all up, though. Uh, it's been a lot. I'll just give you the quick rundown. <laughs> just, like, so, the the general right. timeline of events, you, wanna... you know. Cool, cool, cool. Do you download everything Virla learned into his head as well? Like, are you just gonna tell you what happened? Are you just gonna tell him like what happened to you, or are you like, by the way, like, uh, they're trying to do an Armageddon? I mean, I'll also mention that like, Virla was like, yeah, they're probably gonna try and cause the uh, the end of the world just on principle. Just but casually. like, honestly, that's not very surprising. It's just like, oh, the bad guy has massive plans for devastation. Cool. Um, but also, like, I think the thing that Kiana would focus on the most, actually, is that they're making some kind of new thrall race. Uh, and that just feels like bad, but also an opportunity. I don't know. And as she finishes uh, Vasa's, and all I'm here to help. <laughs> yeah, this is Vas. We met him in Easgard. He was... Uh, we did We did meet you in Easgard. No, we met you in prison. Y'all, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then we yeah. sent you back to Easgard. Right, right, yep. Uh-huh. Oh, excellent. Uh, Githyanki, not even trusted by uh, your kin. <laughs> what you say? Hell yeah. <laughs> Kiana, if what you're saying yeah. is true, mm-hmm. this is very distressing. Yes. I know that this is somewhat... I repeat myself often here, but... I will speak to my betters instantly. All right. 
go nowhere. We will have things to discuss. I expect you will be repeating your story several times over as plans are made. All right. I would expect many to be dispatched. If they are planning and as powerful and capable as you suggest in this case, not operating as lone colonies, but cooperating multiple elder brains and multiple nautiloids capable of moving these different colonies around and synchronizing with each other, cooperating in ways they have not done, to my knowledge, in the past. This is greatly distressing, and it will be taken immediately to the highest authority it can be. I expect that many Rachmas will be dispatched within the day, and we will begin our hunt to exterminate them. And I would suppose, though it is not my place, that you will have a central part to play in that. Aw, thank you. I've been really hoping to kill these guys. (laughs) As are we all. Yeah. If it were my way, we would see it done this day. That would be really nice. But I'll be patient. I will also inform the other monks of your nose of Ioni. Oh, yes. Yeah, she's doing great. Though I had no doubts about her, it does still gladden me to know that she is well. She's currently piloting the Nautiloid we stole, so she's she's doing awesome. I will inform all of the Rachmas uh, of such news uh, so that we are careful and on the lookout for one that uh, is not being piloted by the Mind Flayers. I told Davian to, like, paint something on the side, but I don't know if there's paint with these yet. Like they used to do for, like, planes in, like, World uh, War II. This Davian War is a great warrior. He's pretty good. Excellent. Then I'm glad he's with Ioni. Yeah. Go nowhere. <laughs> I speak with those most in charge. Yes, sir. He turns, the doors open, he slides back in. <laughs> you guys are free to return to the ship. Uh, Danny, why don't you go ahead and roll me an artificer check? Because that's what you do. Roll me, roll me, roll me, roll me, roll me. Um, I'm trying to decide. Sometimes it's easy. Uh, roll me an arcana check. Arcana? Roll me an arcana okay. check. Yeah. Chad is just making a chessboard where all the pieces are Voss in different poses. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that is uh, not amazing. Uh fifteen. Fifteen. Uh well the uh, uh you know <laughs> I'm gonna slot- uh, oh, yeah. use my reaction to Flash of Genius to make that a nineteen. <laughs> hey. Nineteen, okay. Nineteen, not too bad. Uh coming in at the difficult but not uh, like very difficult. Well, obviously this is an explosive, uh, as an artillerist artificer, this is well known and understood by This thing goes boom. So, so it does go boom. Uh, clearly a, the, the uh, part of it, an important part of it is key to the slotty brain gem, that slot brain gem, slotty is the plural, mm-hmm. slot brain gem that you currently hold. Uh, you have a basic understanding of this being ext- uh, a for its size, powerful cyanic device. Um, uh, or cyanic totem, I suppose, is, might be the best word. Uh, in other words, it's not like, you know, an elder brain, but also, like, th- this this thing got some punch. And you suspect that it's a combination of, like, a... Uh, it, it, it serves the same function in the explosion as a tuning fork does with plane shift. In other words, like, it's kind of like putting... Um, kind of like putting the explosion through a filter my immediate thought is can i tune it like a radio like an old (laughs) could you tune it it could be possible there is obviously it's just a powerful detonation here and you discover so the the elder brain boasted of it exterminating the plane it would not have done that but the yield while it's unclear is not on the order of feet it's on the order of like Tens to hundreds of miles. Oh, this is oh. It's not a bomb. So it's, it's not so good. Uh, and in fact, uh, every time, if you failed any check, which you did not, if you failed any check to disarm it, uh, there's a possibility you accidentally set it off. It's like, it's, oh, here's here's the last thing you understand with a 19. Uh, it's like delayed blast fireball, where the, the effect grows as it charges. And so as you were disarming it, 
the DC was going up as there were more complicated parts to disarm. If you had failed any of those, there was a chance you were going to set it off at that moment. So while it would not have been fully charged, you would have taken some portion of that. Mm. Uh, that is on a 19. That's what you get. Uh, if you have any more questions, I, I, uh, I don't know if... Um, if all that made sense, or if that sates you, if you have more questions, I'll decide if that falls into the 19 I have uh, range a question, of but I guess my question is I'm like, not you're not here. Get out of here. Hey. Danny is <laughs> essentially okay? attention, atten intending to reverse engineer it to use this on the Mind Flayers. Um, does she cool. think she can get this one operational to a point, or...? You could put this one back together to function exactly how it was going to function, no problem. You know how you... Well, maybe not no problem. There's some biological stuff in here. But, yeah. like, you're pretty sure... 90% sure you could get it back up to what it was doing. Getting it to do something different? That's definitely within the realm of possibility. But you don't know... Like, for, first step, put it back together the way it was. Second step, modify it, you know? Mm -hmm. So, there'd be... Uh, essentially you're kind of if that's something you decide to do you're kind of in the middle of a skill challenge right now uh and you just made your first success yeah i guess danny's instinct is to use the gem to tune it to target like the mind flares if possible it seems like from the description it just sort of is generally anything with the brain would be affected but maybe i'm misinterpreting that on a 19 this you know you got what you got yeah um I'm saying, like, as part of this skill challenge, do, could I try and tune it to something, or do I not have enough of an understanding of it to attempt to tune it to a thing as part of a modification? You definitely think it's going through a filter as it is. You definitely think you could adjust the filter. How easy that would be, what you would need to do to get it, that's the question mark. It definitely is in the realm of possibility. Okay. Like, how many successes on this skill challenge you're going to need to accumulate, you don't know that. Gotcha. But that's definitely a thing you could attempt. I mean, I guess the first step would be to put it back together. <laughs> if I could put it back together, like, is it like, if I put it back together, is it immediately armed, or is it sort of like a grenade where you have to pull the pin situation, you know? <laughs> you could put it back together, that would be the next part in the skill challenge, and I want to go to Virla before we get there. Sure. But you could put it back together without turning okay. it on. Okay, I think that's all the questions I immediately have. Unless you roll natural one, in which case you put it back together and it turns Well, on. that's understandable. Nah. That's, that's I'm joking. I wouldn't do that, but that'd be pretty fun. <laughs> if we set off fun. a psychic nuke right outside the Gitzerai Monastery. <laughs> they, they might not love that. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Okay. So, uh, Voss and Kiana, that was like your 15 minutes. Dan, that was like your 15 minutes. Let's go over and, and address our um, Virla. For drama sake, let's go ahead and say that you do these in ascending order. So... Okay detect thoughts uh copying from a crystal is weird because you need to keep turning it like you know a scroll you just you just read yeah. <laughs> across the scroll as you go this it's not super obvious the order things go in so like you have to keep like turning the facets to get mm. the information you need but you are for a normal scribe that might add some time on but you are a scribe's wizard and thus you know like you know robot arm writing super fast uh you're basically able to mechanically do that while you turn the, the gem as you I don't do even have to like you readjust myself i just turn my wrist what, exactly yeah. yeah fantastic so yeah you're just like rotating your hand around uh detect thoughts added to your spell book nice the gem is spent second yeah. one is uh scrying. Is, uh scrying you copy scrying in make sure you're marking off the gold pieces for wizard yes. materials scrying goes in finally you come to this uh uh this lost spell uh how long does it take you to copy again it's like two minutes per level Two minutes per spell level so this would be cool. 10 minutes for a fifth level yes so we're coming in like 22 ish minutes here as you begin to copy it the runes it's like a boulder rolling down a hill it starts slow it's difficult to like parse where it starts but as you go through it it becomes more and more clear to you uh i'm also assuming danny has kind of pointed out to you at this point like you know she's like here's where it, like here's grab this thread and follow it because that was her innate understanding of the artifice that is viewing into this thing that allowed her to discover it in the first place mm -hmm. you pull at that thread 
follow it along as you do. The crystal begins to glow, as all spell scrolls do when you are there being expended, but, you know, over the course of ten minutes, this is a gradual process. The last gems did it as well as you were doing as you were doing this. The magic is being... Um, uh, the magic is being activated, but instead of through the course of an action, through the course of ten minutes. And so it's very gradual. This thing glows, glows. Your hand comes to the final the final words. You know, this is at this point, like, you know, I got like ten pages in your book for the spell. Uh, though the, though the, the words to speak are, are simple, the mechanics that underlie it, you know, magic is not just saying a word. Uh, it's the understanding of how to pull the weave. The entire program being downloaded onto these pages as you go. You see the crystal... Uh, glows all along at this point, uh, fe- reaching a fever pitch, fills your room, and then, as you copy the final words into your book, translating it from innate psionic artifice, this weird bastardization combination, into pure arcane, uh, something that would be impossible, perhaps, for even many wizards, but you are a scribe. <clears throat> this thing shatters into scintillating lights that kind of, like, sink to the floor and disappear as they do and you are left in a dark room this forgotten spell in front of you as you do that there's this moment of darkness and quiet and then there is a deafening boom Uh, this boom as this orange portal this uh, looks like literally it's a big archway opens expands in space uh, it's it, it's like a boom tube opening where like there's like you can see like airs kind of getting like sucked in and out uh, as the pressure difference from wherever this portal's opening yeah. from and though it is black uh, you can kind of see like it, it, like extending into space beyond it uh, you hear metallic footsteps as out steps a creature that is similar in design to one you saw not long ago though it does not bear <laughs> just one. Single uh, eye. What the hell? It's uh-huh. fucking metal dude. segmented body is still oh. covered in blades and God, rivets. It broke uh, where it would have a single <laughs> eye, instead has it has a helmed head, two like glowing white eyes deep within, uh, uh-huh. and where the maroots that you saw went empty-handed. Uh, this this construct carries a glaive, double-ended in blades. Somebody's On its back, in trouble. Two wings. <laughs> of blades extend out about 15 feet across. Oh my god. (laughs) The light, faint light that your room casts shines off of its just like deep black exterior. Uh, So like, so black that the light is almost getting swallowed by this thing. And as it enters your room, it speaks. This knowledge is forbidden. (laughs) <laughs> as decreed by the Mistress of Magic in the year negative 339 DR, under the rule of Proctiv's Omniversal Shackle. Submit to memory modification, or be eradicated. You have 60 seconds. Do you not have special <laughs> mistress, specialist boy privileges on this one? <laughs> yeah, quick, use that time to cast whatever spell you used to call it, Mistra. Hi, Mom. Um, uh, I need to use well, the magical sp- the forbidden stuff, please. All right. Contact other plane if it's not ritually cast does take a minute. No! So, <laughs> Can you speak? I'm gonna that use my shield? time doing that. <laughs> okay. It's gonna attack you like you, two seconds. You have sixty you're seconds. Done. You immediately faced with this uh threat. Are you just gonna do it in your room here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You start to do it in your room. Uh sixty oh, seconds. Oh god, pass. what if I fail the fucking roll? Shit. <laughs> Uh, I mean, okay, you, you, Virla would understand there's a role. If you want to go, if you don't want to do that, I, no, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing thing. it. You're doing it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to need you to make that. Uh, is it an intelligence save? Is it, it's is an intelligence a... saving throw. Okay. You're, you're good at those. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> By the way, everyone else would have heard a boom at this point. Oh, like, fuck. casting gate, which is a ninth level spell, is not a subtle bit. Mm-hmm. <gasps> so, oh, Virla, as you finish casting, uh, I'll say everyone, Danny working on the bomb, uh, Stop worrying. She loves it now. <laughs> Kiana and Voss join downstairs. Uh, you see this standing completely so still. It, you're like, did Virla like teleport a statue in here? Like, what's going on? Uh, it doesn't stop to look at any of you. Um, uh, if if I see if I notice them coming in, I'm going to say, don't come in. I don't want them looking at the scroll and having their minds possibly okay. be subjected to memory wiping. 
you're, while um, you're casting, you tell them that. Uh, kind of up to them if they're going to follow yeah. it. But Voss walks in anyways. What is happening? <laughs> don't. Voss walks in anyways. Don't, sure look at the, not, don't look at the conspiracy <laughs> board. Don't look at the conspiracy <laughs> board. <laughs> Voss, All right. first time in Verla's room, says, My, uh, you got a couple of screws loose. Danny will use mage hand I'm saying don't look at the conspiracy, the conspiracy board because board. I know that he's going to look at the conspiracy board. So I'm going to have him look at the conspiracy board <laughs> and not the desk. Saying you have screws loose to a mechanite? I mean, if it helps, Kiana wouldn't understand the spell anyway. So like... That's true. Okay. Virla says that to you. Virla, you finish casting the spell. We're going to slow down time for a moment as you cast the spell. Does anyone look at the spell book? No. Okay. What does everyone do in the meantime? Like as, as this like... As time slows to allow Virla to cast this spell in these last seconds, what is there anything anyone would like to do? Um, I'm not even really in the like realm of like combat actions or anything. I'm just in the realm of like headspace. Something you say, something you want to like, you know. What is there anything anyone wants to do before Virla talks to uh, uh, his sugar mama? I like to use mage hand to. <laughs> <laughs> I have questions. If that is the case. <laughs> Uh, Danny does use Mage Hand to flip the conspiracy board around so it's showing the wedding planning side and not the general Planescape conspiracy side. <laughs> sure. Sure. I think she's just trying to watch the situation this isn't carefully. Better. You know, like, it's like, I don't, there's not, taking action is not the move right now, but it's time to observe and gain facts and see how, what Vera's doing. I don't doing. understand anything that's happening right now. Yeah, Voss is just gonna All ask. Right. So, uh, what's going on here? Uh, yeah. As I'll let you. Well, I'll let you know once I get some answers of my own. <laughs> Boom, Virla, make your intelligence save. Come on, uh, Virla. I rolled. That's an 11 plus 8, 19. We're good, baby. Okay. Okay. That's okay. awesome, because this one really bad if you were... This one really bad, uh, yeah. Oh, idiot. Get real dumb. Yeah. Uh, I guess that would count as submitting to memory modification, and then it would, would just do whatever that was. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, you cast the spell. You find yourself once again in Dwemer Heart in the uh, study of Mistra. She awaits you. Can her explain? <laughs> She's waiting for like a real question. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I know this. Thing. I said I would be prepared. That, uh, I wonder what this looks like from the outside. Did you program this Marut to prevent anyone from retaining the information on how to create a spell jammer? Not me. A different me. Hmm. You recall it did say the year negative 339, which is I, yeah, almost 2,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, so this was the last mistrial. Fuck. Does she have the authority to never think. mind all that? Is this, <laughs> is this my first time meeting this creature? <laughs> is this your first time meeting the guardian of the, of the construct thing here? Yeah. It is. Okay. Okay. It's the first time for anyone in quite a long time. All right, so that wasn't the reason why I fucking <laughs> lost some memory, whatever. All right, or not one of the reasons, at least. It's a, it's a good guess, but no, it's I not like why it. you had no memory. Um, you weren't the one that programmed this. Can you reprogram it? <laughs> Ideally, in the next few seconds. <laughs> what do you think? I think yes, but for some reason you're not going to. She, uh, not an extra question, she'll, she chuckles and answers. It is beyond me to undo a decree of my predecessor. It must be undone by someone else. With oh, God, how many questions was that? Those three? Yeah. Uh, you asked if she could do it, you asked if it was the first time you met her, uh, if you met it, or you, you, you asked if it was you her who did it. You asked mm -hmm. if it was the first time you met it. You asked if she could undo it. Yeah. Uh, who can undo it, then? It is the embodiment of a contract. Destroy it. It will be undone. <laughs> oh, she wants us to fight one of these things so goddamn bad. This is a different one than the Maroon. Punchy, I spent punchy. all weekend... I got, oh I got books <laughs> I was going through. You know how many books I got stacked up here? I was working on it. Oh my god, we we're in the time. elemental plane of chaos. This is the perfect we got a whole place other thing to, to fight do, a Austin, mind, place. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Did you guys really think we were going to take down an entire hidden mind flare armada in one episode? Moves. 
of the episode was Kinda. to move to We're taking the season break after this. What would have yeah, happened okay. if we set the B team here? Oh, I guess this would have happened anyway. What would have happened yeah, if we split you the guys party were with the B, the B team? Lines and I have to make a different map because I didn't uh, expect you guys to be here fighting this, so I'm going to have to make that. But uh, we have a good okay, okay, We have question. a, a, a um, different one to use. How much of it is going? How much of it is it going to erase? Like, the last day, or is it just scrubbing out the areas directly pertaining to the spell? She looks to her right, like for the first time she pauses, like she doesn't know the answer, and she looks off to her right and stares for a second, and then she shakes her head, and says, "That is in Primus's domain. It's in the contract that I'm not privy to." Primus is the lawful neutral god who created the yeah. Modrons, um, as well as the Inevitables. Dude, we yes. are in third act of a Metal Gear game here. We are not getting out of fighting the giant robot. <laughs> oh, I'm so ready to punch something the that thing can't is, stick me in a bubble or plane shift away. The thing is, Virla doesn't know that. Virla is not constrained no, no, by no. our real Virla world has to make Virla's season. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And for this entire there are no season. Real, real world constraints. You guys can fight this thing. The I, 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 under, I understand, I understand. But so thinking solely in like the world that Virla has been in right now, it's been in, it, it's been to like, to like answering to Danny. He's, he's done enough of, you know, putting the group at risk for his sake. I mean, it's, and, gonna, it's gonna have to do something to Danny too. She knows about the spell. <gasps> You're smart enough to know that. It's, you, you think this embodiment of law is going to go by on technicalities? Oh, she didn't write the spell down. Yeah, embodiment I mean, of she's law just not the one who summoned it by copying it into an arcane spellbook. Technicalities would make sense for an embodiment of law. All right, well, knowing or, it that. It is a that technicality that she knows about, like, you know, mm. uh, I don't know, whatever. It, yeah. I didn't summon it? All right, fuck it. No, What's I up? think, like, I, all right, um... That was the fifth question, I think. That or... was the fifth question. All right, then I, I will nod, and <laughs> accept things. So retroactively, could we have taken a short rest? <laughs> yes, yeah, you yeah. guys you had an hour to take a short rest. Ah, oh, God. Okay, I think wait. You did that, Hold right? on. Yeah. <laughs> let me just. Let me just. <laughs> all right, but no, we're gonna do short rest during break. So before you all roll your hit dice, Virla, okay. you come back from. Basically, you know, uh, you're putting your mind and soul into Dwarmer Heart. You sit in your room. Everyone's standing outside the door. This construct stands before you. Uh, you hear it says, The spell and your discovery of it is an anachronism. By order of Primus and Mistra, surrender this knowledge to lost animals and return to your obligations. Do you submit? Contradiction. My obligations are to Mistra. And on a personal note, I'm not really privy to having my memory wiped again. I'm going to we're fighting right. robot. Yeah! We're going to roll initiative, come back after break. We'll catch you guys as you guys face uh, the inevitable known as the Arbirate. Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> All right, everyone. See you in a minute. Adios. Rolling with difficulty. Today's adventure is brought to you by World Anvil. World Anvil is a browser-based world-building tool designed to help you, the creator, write and world-build, all while keeping your work organized and in one place. World maps, calendars, customizable wikis, visual timelines, and more let you decide how best to build your world. And when you're ready to write, look no further than the built-in word processor. You can write your prose directly in World Anvil and keep every step of the process in one place. We all know TTRPGs are all about the power of friendship, and with real-time collaboration, you can work with your players or other creators on the same project. On top of all that jazz, World Anvil recently rolled out a new feature called Whiteboards. This visual canvas allows creators to freely draw out their ideas, adding diagrams, flowcharts, mood boards, and more. If you're a more visual creator, this feature is perfect for you. You can chart out character arcs, storyboard key scenes, doodle your character holding hands with somebody else's character, or whatever else you need to help make the story you see in your mind come to life. Interested? Of course you are! And it only gets better, because for our listeners, World Anvil is offering a special discount. Just use code PLUG at checkout for 40% off a yearly membership. Rolling with difficulty. Welcome back. When last we left our heroes, you find yourselves standing in the lower decks of the Braspra, facing against this inevitable called the Arbirate. I would like everyone to please roll initiative. 
There we go. I did before yeah. we left. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. Great. So, uh, Virla's coming in at a 17. Not bad for Virla. Voss That's coming really in at a for Virla. <laughs> Voss coming in at a 13. Uh, Danny coming in at 14. Ooh, 20 for Kiana. Dirty 20. I rolled nice. it. Uh, and let's go ahead and roll for the Arburet. He rolls with a plus two. Arburet is coming in at a 14. Danny, what is your dexterity? Uh, my dex is a 14, so plus two. Um, I believe that's his. His is a 15, excuse me. Mm, no. So mind. he is going to uh, go before you. Mm, okay. Mm. Okay. So, it happens. Uh, the or... The or... The, the order. The order is Kiana, Virla, Arburet, Danny, Voss. All right. As uh, Virla, you declare that you are not willing to submit to have your memory modified another time. Uh, mm-hmm. That is going to be... Kiana, you're up. What would you like to do? Oh boy. Uh Are we are we are we punching this thing? Uh it kind of looks like combat is imminent. I'm going to look at Danny. Are we punching this thing? I don't know what else you would do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to go. Well, let's start off with the old traditional chestnut. <clears throat> going to summon my arms real quick. Uh, okay. All right, is that a deck save or strength save? Uh, let me just find, sorry. I deck save, the key pretty point. sure. Uh, it is, come on, damn it. Uh, deck save, yes, DC 17. He fails. Great, uh, let me roll 2d6 force damage then. And he's gonna get, oh, this one doesn't push. That's fine. Hey. Oh, come on. Two, two points of force damage. All right. Literal snake eyes. Unwavering like a statue. Cool. The arms come out. That's your bonus action. Y'all Great. got an action? Yeah. Let's um. Let's attack with the sword. Uh. All right. So that's a plus eleven first attack. I don't think I get any. Oh, let me move in just a. Yeah. Let me just move in a little bit. It feels cheating otherwise. Um. It's not. I do have ten feet of reach, but still. Uh. Okay, I don't get any flanking, right? Even though Real is on the other. No. It's like a little. Even by uh, that is not moves. flanking, sadly. Yeah. Fine. All right, first attack. Ugh, uh, 16. 16 will not hit. Yeah, all right, second attack. 25. 25 will hit. Good. Okay. So now you know his AC is somewhere between 16 and 25. Perfect. Yes. We'll, we'll narrow oh, it down. Right in there. Yeah. All right, and that somewhere is. Somewhere in those nine ah! numbers. <sighs> uh, that. Is come on, math 12 slashing damage. Okay, uh, he does not resist any slashing damage. Cool, all right, he takes 12 points of damage as your silver sword sparks off adamantian uh armor. Whew. Is that going to end your turn? Yeah, uh, yeah, that was my bonus action. My action, you did not just say this dude has adamantian armor. Uh, <laughs> he, fantastic. If that ends your turn, he's going to use. Point. A legendary uh, action. action. Come on, fuck me up, fam. Uh, he's going to attack. Uh, he's here for a reason. He doesn't even care. Twelve points of damage. That ain't nothing. He's gonna make one weapon attack against Virla. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is. Oh, I, I rolled really badly. Is that a, a fifteen to hit? Nah. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Ching. Uh, it cleaves into the desk as you just move away. I've got him on My the desk. Run. All he can do is dodge. All right. Uh, yeah, that is going to end his legendary action. That brings us to Virla. Your turn. Um, huh, okay. Uh, I will move myself in flanking position so that Kiana can be ready when it, okay. when, when her turn comes like, up again, but I will do shocking grasp. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, 19? 19 would ordinarily hit. However, uh, this sure. creature ha- uh, has limited spell immunity. Attack rolls of spells lower than 7th automatically miss. Ooh. Uh, so you automatically miss because it's a cantrip. 
Uh-huh. Uh, okay. yeah. He will use reaction spell deflection in response to a spell attack missing the golem. It causes the spell to hit another creature within 120 feet. Could uh. I have you please roll damage against Kiana? <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, three d eight. Well, okay, it's an Everything auto thing that I have is is useless. I'm pretty sure. It's an auto hit. Uh, uh, just spell attack rolls. Pain. Oh, oh, okay, sure, sure, sure. As as far as you know. As, Shit. as far as I know. As far as we know. Ah, uh, this. Is uh, not... that's not that. That's not uh that good. Eight points of lightning damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I believe you can't take reactions. Hold on. Um. It can't take reactions until the start of its next turn, yes. Okay. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, so, oh, this is fantastic. Mm-hmm, I'm going mm-hmm. to, well, hmm. I moved to get in flanking. All right, I, I will stay where I am, and I will end my turn there. All right. It is going to spend, at the end of your turn, it's going to spend two legendary actions to cast a spell of first or second level. Uh, okay. He's going to cast uh, Blur. What does okay. that do? As, uh, as like he mm-hmm. redeflects the lightning, you watch as he begins to like vibrate and it's difficult to tell exactly where he is standing. Uh, mm-hmm. For the duration, any creature uh, has disadvantage on attack rolls against you. Uh, an attacker is immune to this effect if it doesn't rely on sight or if it can see through illusions. Such as blind okay, sight so or just, true sight. So attack rolls have disadvantage. Attack rolls have disadvantage. Right. Uh, that is his thing. Now it is his turn. He is going to just unload his actions. So he is going to attack Virla twice with his adamantine blade, and then Kiana once with his adamantine wings. Oh, that's what? So first attack on Virla. His wings are blades. Uh, An 11. uh, Sorry, a 21 to hit you, Virla. I will use my reaction to cast shield, uh, which brings my AC up to 23. (laughs) Oh my god. Hell yeah. Second attack. uh, That's a 90 to hit, so neither will hit. Cool. Uh, he does not know counter spell. Cool. Uh, and That's then finally, bladed wings against Kiana. That's a no twenty-four girls. to hit. Okay. Yeah. That, I mean. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He only gets one of these. Um, uh, that's seven points of slashing damage to Kiana. Okay. And I believe he has a bonus action. This this is the the biggest <laughs> the biggest stat block I've ever used. Uh, may attempt to grapple a creature. It has attacked twice with its adamantine blade. So if it, whether it hits or not, if it uses both on one creature, it can attempt to grapple. So okay. it's going to inst- sure. it's going to roll athletics against either your athletics or acrobatics, Virla. Okay. Um, my athletics is plus five. Virla is surprisingly okay. strong. Okay. Uh, I didn't roll that great. <laughs> I, I rolled worse. <laughs> Seven. Uh, sixteen. Yeah. Oh, so. I'm st- just a little roll, you know. All right. Uh, just so you know, at the start of your turn, you will take slashing damage from this grapple. Okay. Is this so just covered are... in blades? Is his armor just yes. blades? Oh, mm, He's got blades, right. blades all the way down. Knife man. Knife man. Knife man. Uh, <sighs> he reaches out. Gra- as you duck Jeez, away, cast shield, it blocks off. His wings extend backwards, Archangel style, slash a Kiana, and then he reaches out a hand and grabs you, or like one hand around your like waist of your lot. He's just holding you there. Ow. And he's vibrating this entire time. And he's vibrating. Uh, fantastic. Oh, so that God. brings us that brings us to Danny. Yeah, new spell attacks. Okay. Um, he's wearing adamantine armor and holding an adamantine sword. Those would both be described as being made of metal. Yes. Those would mm-hmm. both be described as being made of metal. <laughs> Vera, right. no. I don't know how it's going to affect me, but I, I say go for I it. I don't think it affects really, even if he's being held by him. Um, but uh, I have to upcast... Cast Heat Metal on Virla, then he'll have to drop Virla. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly? I have to upcast it because it's at the third... Because all my second level spell slides are gone, so this is the third level. Um, I'm going to cast Heat Metal on his Adamantine Sword. Um, okay. He takes... Are you making... What? You're not it's making, not like, a spell an attack, attack and anything. it's not cool. a save unless he does not drop the object. Uh, he... He's he's gonna hold on to the object. Okay. Because he because of his limited spell resistance, he automatically saves, so he doesn't have to drop it. However, he's gonna take the fire damage because that doesn't have anything to do with the save. Mm-hmm. And if I remember correctly, I think he has disadvantage on attack rolls as long as he's so, holding it, whether he succeeds yeah. or not. If he doesn't drop the so object, he... he has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of my next turn. 
uh, which is conveniently after his. And um, if, he, if this is only if he takes the damage. So I can choose on a bonus action to do this damage again. If I don't do that, he, you know, the, he doesn't have yes. all that whatnot. But for now, it's he, not a steady heat. It's like a pulse as you continue to use your bonus action to like redo it. Yeah, but he takes three d eight fire damage. Uh, and I'm going right, to attack my it. Artificer D8 onto that to make it up to 48. Okay. What are you guys worried about? Danny's going to save y'all. <laughs> As per the huge. So we've confirmed that this has an innate spell resistance to both attack and... What what kind of... He automatically kind of saved on he, the saving throw. Attack rolls automatically miss. Saves automatic, He automatically saves if it's a spell 7th level or lower. Okay, yeah. So lightning bolt my light... I, I, I am useless. <laughs> Uh, well, they take he'll take half damage on the save. Uh, fair enough. 18 points of fire damage. Ooh, not too bad. He does not resist that. And Danny will, I guess, stay where she is because I don't really. <laughs> so I'm like, I, you know what? I'm gonna take a step slightly back, just to be not in yeah, the doorway uh, if someone yourself, comes barreling through. Giving Sorry. yourself full cover, very very smart. Uh, is the end of your turn, Danny? He is going to use two legendary actions to cast a spell. He's going to cast a... Um, what does this guy have? Uh, well, he just got them back. He used all of them before his oh, turn yeah, on yours right. and uh, Kiana's. And yeah, then yeah. it was Danny. So he's going to use uh, two of them right now. So he'll only have one left. Uh, he's going to use two of them right now. And he's going to cast it at... Um, no, he can upcast those too. He will just cast at second level. Could I get... Uh, 15 foot cube as he casts Thunder Wave. Ooh. Could I get everyone who's not Virla to please make a con save? And I'd also love one from the ship. Through the wall? Through yeah. the wall? Yep, it goes through things because it's a big explosion. Actually, we're going to see if it breaks the wall, but I bet it's going to break the wall. So. No. Uh, okay. Con save? Con save from everybody. 10. I think uh, it's just a d20 for the Parascara if I'm not mistaken. Nice. 19 for Danny. Okay. What, 19, 19 saves? For uh, nine. Kiana, what'd you roll? 10. 10 does not save. Voss? Okay. 19 as well. You save, and then what's the Prospera? Uh, assuming that there's no modifiers, I don't think there are. I rolled a 14. <laughs> uh, actually, I think it rolls with a plus 5. Um, yeah, the Prospera's constitution has to be high. Set. Uh, it doesn't say object because a lot of addition and secured objects are completely within the area are automatically pushed 10 feet away. I'm not going to deal damage to the Paraspera. There's going to be cosmetic damage, but it's not going to take um, spell damage. So Oof. don't worry about it. Right. Uh, so that is 15 points if you failed and uh, 7 if you succeeded. Uh, Kiana, you failed, right? I did. So you're pushed 10 feet back into a wall. Ah. Oh. So How you're in this tables. space here that's halfway in the room. Um, so you fly backwards. That is two of his legendary actions. Danny, can I get you to make a concentration check, please? Yes. Did I get pushed back through Voss? Yep. I got a natural 20 okay. on that concentration check. So I think- All right, you're yeah! good. Yeah, we're up. Fantastic. Take your crits where you can get them, folks. All right, that is Voss's turn. All right, let me make sure I do this correctly. Uh, he's going to turn to Vela to this, uh, remember that ring? Oh. No. Uh, uh, I do. You guys got we bought the... a pair of rings. He takes out the one that oh, he fuck. kept. <laughs> and he slips it onto his finger. Um, and I just want to make sure I, I can quick and spell this, right? Uh, yes. This may be the most clutch spell that has been <laughs> cast in this game so far. Uh, and yeah, I will quicken spell uh, a warding bond. Holy you shit, quick warding spell bond attempt. rings? Yeah. Nice. All right, Voss, <laughs> what does warding bond do? So I just got while this in <laughs> the target is within 60 feet of me, uh, it gains plus one bonus to AC, saving throws, and has resistance to all damage. Um, also, when I take damage, uh, when, hit, when he takes damage, I also take damage, uh, but uh, that won't be too much of a problem. It is all halved, I believe, right? Yes. Yep. So, Virla, you're resistant to all incoming damage. Okay. And Voss is going to take the other half that you resist. Ooh. Gotcha. 
All right. Your Honor, they were boarding bon- Oh my God, they were boarding <laughs> Bond Partners. <laughs> All right, cool. He's gonna make he's gonna make an attack against uh, Virla. Uh, your turn has not come back up, Virla, so your shield is still up. Yes. He's rolling with disadvantage, and you have a bonus, so this isn't actually that great. But he's gonna try it anyway. Here we go. New dice. Plus one AC while I'm wearing this. Yes. Yeah. Hold cool. on. They're cocked. I somehow managed to get both of them cocked. At disadvantage, that's not going to do it. Cool. Mm -hmm. So that is his final legendary action, and cool. that'll bring us to um, Kiana. Oh, sorry, you still have that sorry, was, boss. That you was, have an action. My bad. So he should just have done my that, bonus action. Yeah. That's okay. That's what he would have right. done. You didn't even hit, so nothing to worry about. I uh, roll in um, and right, roll. Uh, take Kiana's place, and we got two attacks coming straight because it's Correct. blurred. Flanking plus blur. Flanking. Okay. Uh, cool. The lowest one is an 11, which is going to miss, but the highest is a 24. Uh, oh. correct and correct. So, All right. go ahead, roll your damage for your one attack. Cool. You know what? I'll, I'll, throw, I'll throw a flourish on this. Well, let's get my AC up, because I, I don't want to get hit. Um, yeah, we'll throw a flourish. And I rolled a one on that. Okay, fantastic. A uh, total of uh, 11 points of slashing damage. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And All my right. AC oh. is currently uh, 18. Fantastic. Kiana, you are up. Yeah. He takes his legendary action, which I already did, then you're up. Great. All he's right. got to deal with this disadvantage. There's no way he is. Uh, he's going to stand for that. Sweet. That's his Well, problem. I would love to stop taking as much damage, so we're just going to real quick rage. Just a, just a small one. Just a little bit. It won't help against getting electrocuted again, but that's okay. Um, let's see, that was my bonus action, right? To, yeah. Great. Okay. So, regular attack action with the sword. Let me just... Uh, Sorry, did you rage as a bonus action? Yes. Fantastic. Spectral figures begin to fill the room. Uh, and yeah, you yeah, got an action. Yeah, because that does a thing now. Yeah, hold on. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting that my rage does a thing, and I didn't remember if that was going to affect the, the fight with the thing, but... Um, uh, it makes image. creatures resistant to all damage. Now, Voss, what is the wording on uh, on your platinum, on your uh, whatever it's called, um, warding bond? Right. Is it Does it make Virla resistant, or warding does it bond. say he takes half damage? Because resistance will not stack, but if it's half and then resist it... Resistance. Yes. Okay. okay. So, but, but that's still going to affect everyone else. So, like, Danny's yeah. still going to be resistant, yep. which is awesome. Yeah. So, the, the specific wording of Ancestral Projectors is, while raging, the first creature I hit with an attack on my turn has disadvantage on any attack that isn't against me, and when mm -hmm. the target hits a creature other than me, that creature has resistance to the damage dealt by the attack. So, yes. I'm going to try and hit it with an attack. Uh, okay. I, can I... All right. Nope. Boss is in the flanky spot. I'll just go hit... Yeah. You, really? You can I think to you roll can straight and not at disadvantage. But then you'll have I would to love to roll straight elsewhere. and not at disadvantage. That's fine. I'll just bamf out of the spot afterwards. All right. First roll at uh, straight, not a disadvantage. Or, Correct. But First also roll not straight. At advantage. Okay. Plus 11. Eh. 15. That's not going to hit. Not going to hit. Second attack. Come on, baby. Oh, much better. 27. Yeah, that'll do it. Great. All right. Now that officially procs the effects of Ancestral Guardians. Correct. So now everyone else has damage resistance to everything he puts out if it's an attack that hits. And uh, he has disadvantage against hitting anybody but me. And he has disadvantage is... against everyone anyway. So. Well, now Danny doesn't need to hold concentration on that. That is another 11 points of slashing damage. I would okay. like to. <laughs> take 11 points of slashing damage. And you've got to move different... out of that space, Kiana. Yep, yep. Just uh, spit me out on the other side. Let me just... Well, I'm trying to move five feet to the... There we go. Yeah. You're good. You're good. All right. Virla, that brings us to your turn. He's got no more legendary actions. His turn is next. He is currently grappling you. At the start of your turn, you are going to take... Uh, let me roll my dice real quick. Jesus Christ. Um, 20 points of slashing damage. So have to 10. Have to 10. And Voss takes the other 10. Voss takes 10. Remember to take, keep up on your concentration checks, Voss. Yep. <laughs> no! <laughs> what what? It's just, just a rage. Yes. It's just an item. It's just a, a commitment that two people make to each other. <laughs> you know, 
I like to imagine the fearless like, which is the least romantic yep. finger I can put this ring on? He's, putting it, he's, he's wearing it as his ace ring. Yeah! <laughs> Fantastic. All right, the wish ring is now on, on Elise's hand. Uh, <laughs> All right, that's the start of your turn. You got a whole ass thing to do, my friend. Oh, God, yeah, I do, don't I? Huh. Um. Okay. Yeah, fuck it, I guess... <laughs> I, okay. Um. Oh God, come on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Lightning bolt, third level. Um. Hmm. Half You're gonna of hit eight boss. <laughs> well, can, oh, oh, well, so uh, this is this is sort of stretching things a bit. Can I angle it such that it is going upwards? Since he I'm is grappled. A He's a medium creature, which means that there's he's occupying the space in front of you. From the place okay. you're in, the only square you can shoot through is the one directly in front of you to hit him. And if you do, you're <laughs> going to hit boss. All right, well, d does the warding bond work both ways, or is it just only I get <laughs> <laughs> No, it only you. Come on, man. <laughs> only you can decide. Uh, fuck. All right. Um, uh, okay, second level, uh, Tasha's mind whip. Okay, he auto succeeds. He auto succeeds, so it's only just half of three d six psychic damage. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right, so three d six. Oh, that was pretty good. That was a six, a four, and a six, so eight points of psychic damage. Okay. And you can't turn that into uh, lightning or anything, can you? Um, I don't have anything second level that's lightning. Gotcha. So no. Or thunder, by the way. That works or for both. thunder. Uh, uh, no. you're, you're, oh, you're rerolling once is only on that. You can max thunder. You can only reroll once mm. on lightning. Cool. Yeah. All right. He takes eight points of psychic damage. Bonus actions, or are you good? Bonus action? No. Uh, no. I think I, I think I've, I've done everything I can. Okay. Uh, oh, correct. Blur is concentration. Blur concentration. Um, but Should have made he... saves for my hit, too, right? Uh, yeah, what was your, your, all of your damage was below, everyone's damage has been below, below 20. His yeah. concentration check is high enough that, uh, he cannot fail on mm -hmm. any of, that's why I've been rolling them. He cannot fail oh. on anything. He has a plus 10 to concentration, so, uh, any oh. damage that is 22 or lower, he cannot fail concentration on. Hmm. All right. It's impossible for me to hit that threshold, so. Okay. This is about to Cool. Uh, all right, that brings us to his turn. <laughs> He is intelligent. He's going to look around. Danny is through a wall right now. I am he hiding. I her. cannot be seen. <laughs> this he is has my but he also sees Rose these spirits. <laughs> spirits begin to like climb and like put and like harry him from these sides. These these glowing amber specters. Uh, so he is going to look around and without with lack of a, he's got Virla. Virla hasn't escaped. Voss is a problem. Every single person is a problem. So he's just going to unload on the person who is. Um, Currently harrying him, he's just gonna he's gonna focus down one at a time. Here we go. Attacks on Kiana, two adamantine blades at disadvantage because of heat metal. Uh, that is an eighteen to hit you. Eighteen is my armor class. Okay, so he's gonna hit on one. Uh, we'll roll a second one just to see if he hits the second one. Uh, oh, the lower on that is uh, also gonna hit. That's a dirty twenty. Great. Okay, so he's going to do those. Uh, so the first one is... I need more D10s. Stop saying that. And then I need my D6s. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's... Oh, Christ, almost full on that one. Uh, 18, 27 plus 5 is 32 slashing damage, half to 16. Because I'm raging. Because you're raging. So that's 16 slashing damage, plus 7 force damage. Which does not get halved. Which does not get halved. <gasps> How many hit points Ooh, do you still man. have? Yeah, that, 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 that we can't. Oh, okay. okay. Well, at least you can legally Here. drink. Here we go. <laughs> that one's Second probably Adamantine American blade listeners. attack. Oh, that wasn't even the attacks. Great, let's do it. Nope, that was the first one. Uh, Great. That's, that's 20 slashing down to 10. Great. And four force. Great. 
Uh, so that leaves you with like uh, some low number of hit points. Seven, seven hit points. All right. And that's Blizzard terrible. wings. He's gonna try to take you down. Let's do it. Uh, he rolls a disadvantage. Uh, that's a dirty night. Uh, that's a uh, a nineteen, a natural nineteen, and a natural twenty. I'm Great. gonna roll. Okay. So he rolls one d six plus five. It is possible uh-huh. for him to not bring you down. I'm gonna roll this in front of the group right now. It roll one d six plus. Uh, oh. Actually, oh, okay. we'll just we'll just silvery barbs that. Well, all right, here we go. That, one more roll. One more roll. I'm gonna roll this d20 I, in front of the group. Fuck mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Roll one d20 plus his bonus. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's another crit. Uh, fortunately, I believe you get to pick, right, Voss? <laughs> How? That was a, uh, that was a natural 20. The wording if, oh, yeah. of this. Um, if okay, so he's still using the natural 19, so it's not a crit. Lower roll. Uh, so if I roll a one on this d6, yeah. Kiana's yeah. still up. One, one in six chance, baby. Mm. Nope. Eight. Uh, oh, that's wait, that's... wait, wait, wait. It's slashing damage, which means it's half to four. <laughs> nope. Oh, my God. Kiana, you All are right. still up with how many hit points? Three. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! You don't got another one in you? All right. That is let's go. That is his whole turn as he just unloads on Kiana. Kiana, you watch as <laughs> blades and uh, you go stumbling backwards. Blood starts to run down your face over your eye. And as you feel you're about to hit the ground, instead arms grab you <gasps> and you're lifted back up on your feet and a, uh, a amber face next to you, like kind of mannequin face for just a moment coalesces. You can see eyes, you can see a nose. You can see a mouth. For anyone, Kiana standing at this face right next to you, it's hard to see any details, uh, to Voss and to Virla as you look and you see this face form, this this woman's face. Uh, it looks a lot like Kiana. You hear, Oh, fight's not over yet. Yeah! And you're propped back up on your feet. That is, uh, he's going to attempt to Oh, no, he's not going to attempt to grapple you because he's grappling Birla. So, uh, <laughs> he doesn't have two hands? All right. He's Let's got go. two hands, but he's got a blade in one. So he can only oh. he can only grapple one person at a time, and he's not letting go to Birla. So he's not going to use his bonus action to try to grab you. Uh, folly as that would be anyway. That is going to end his turn and bring us to Danny. Uh, Danny is going to be like, shit, this is going terribly as expected. Uh if I'm standing like in the doorway, but still in the hall, can I see him? Oh my gosh. Yep. I'm so sorry. I have a reaction I can use because uh, he did me damage. Virla, when and does she get her reaction back? That was last turn. I've had a turn between then. Virla went, uh, Virla went after you. You went, oh wait, uh, hold on. That was. No, it was, it was Kiana Virla. It's Virla, Kiana. Kiana, no, Kiana was his turn. Kiana. Yeah. Kiana did punches and then he redirected your oh, oh wait no you're right that was the then you did your psionic thing mm-hmm. um, I did Tasha's yes. mind whip you did Tasha's mind whip so you're right that's all done my mistake I thought uh, so, yeah. you got a reaction so he's going to make us a, a strength save uh, yes gift of the gem dragon is somewhere in here Aha. Uh, yes a DC 17 strength save uh, and okay. it takes half damage on a failed save so let me or, this is not a, a spell save. so it's not it's uh, weird like that uh, it's a dirty 20, though, on his strength. All right. Uh, he'll still take half of 2d8 force damage. Um, Which he does not resist. Just, eh, come here, you. All right. Uh, all right. Well, it's only five, so that halves to two. Okay. But he doesn't get pushed, so. Uh, two force damage could be the difference between everything. <laughs> uh, or you could all die anyway. All right. Dandy, yeah. you're up. Uh, so if I'm standing in the doorway, do I have line of sight on him? Yes. You can peek uh, your head around. Yeah. Like we'll call it cover, <laughs> but that doesn't matter to you, so why not? Uh, I'm going to actually use the Spitfire for my action because uh, everything else will be a bonus action or a spell attack. So, um, fire on the Spitfire. This is wise. Which I think okay. he might have cover for that because my spell sniper I don't think covers the Spitfire. Since it is not a spell. Uh, cool. Uh, Correct. So I'm going to add a plus two to his uh, AC. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right. And that is a plus what to hit? I haven't used this in so long. Plus seven. Hmm. Uh, that is a 21 to hit. 
Um, please roll at disadvantage because he is blurred. Cool, cool, cool. It was a natural 20, so the 21 stands. Woo! 21 with his plus two bonus will just hit. Okay. <sighs> fucking A. All right. Uh, this is 1d10 plus 3 piercing damage. Or not piercing, okay. necrotic damage because this is Spitfire. It's gotcha. Uh, 10 points of necrotic damage. All right, down to 5 because he resists necrotic as a robot. Boo. Um, and I will use my bonus action to do the uh, heat metal damage again unless he would care to drop that sword of his. Nope, he's gonna he's gonna auto succeed. He's gonna take half damage, or he's gonna he take, damage take half on damage on that 3d8. He takes damage Correct. on yeah, the 3d8. Take... Heat metal is an extremely good spell. Yes, it is. So. I don't get to use it as much as I would like. Uh, okay, it's actually. Well, I make you guys fight a lot of weird squishy things. Four d8. Because so. I'm gonna add my artificer d8 to it. Uh, I or... would really quick. I believe that only applies when you cast the spell. Uh, let me double check. I don't think, I don't think it applies to each time. Ah, yeah. When you cast a spell, I guess it's. Yeah, to prevent you from doing stuff like this. <laughs> but it's still, still going to be 3d8, right. so. 3d8 it is. Uh, 15 points of fire damage. Ooh, not bad at all. 15 points of fire damage. Uh, you know, he's it's his sword is really glowing at this point, uh, and he's not blistering or anything because he's made of metal, but certainly he doesn't love it. Uh, and that I is will going just... to end his... I want to stay in line of sight so I can flash of genius people, but also I don't want him to hit me... <laughs> Thus is the trade-off. Your call. Uh, I gotta stay in line of sight. It's my goddamn crew. I will stand where I am. Okay. Uh, fantastic. Voss, that is your turn. Right. All right. Let's see what we got. Mm. Uh, I need my big guns. All right. Here's, here's what we're going to do. We are going to keep everyone in the fight for at least one more round. Um, he's going to put sort of both hands on his sword, um, and he's going to cast aid at the sixth level. Gotcha. Holy okay. shit. <laughs> Damn. This is huge. Yep. So that is everyone gets 25 hit points, oh, and tasty. they're maxed also increases by 25 hit points. Your max oh, wow. increases by 25 as well as healing for 25. Yep. Wait, wow, so that is no this small... This is temp, this is max. Your right. max goes oh, up. See. So when max the, even if you're at full health, up. like, uh, I don't know if any of you are at this point, but if you're at full health, increase your max plus 25 and heal for those 25 as well. Mm -hmm. I see. There's a, there's a thing on D&D uh, &D Beyond that says override max HP. Yes. You can yeah, override your max yeah. HP. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yes, Voss. What oh. is it? Look? Have you cast aid this powerful before? What does it look like? Um, you see, sort of uh, his his his, uh, his 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 veins sort of turn gold as uh, the light comes off of his body, lights every single blade on his sword, and it pulses out, and everybody feels the uh, the warm light and the vigor of Yuzgard. Um, as they gain those uh, temporary hit points, those that max hit points increases. <laughs> Heroes don't All die right. so easy. All right, yeah. all right. Bonus action. Uh, bonus action. I will burn a fourth level spell slot to regain four sorcery points. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is going to bring us to Kiana. Come on, Kiana. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna do all the attacks I can manage. I feel like we're just chipping okay. at this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, all right. You, you're currently at disadvantage because of Blur. No. Uh, I'm no. Gonna... No. Uh, I'm just gonna no. fucking... That's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it's all the H2O, I'm... just dead water. I'm gonna briefly uh, just uh, sneak back into uh, Voss's space again and just get that flanky. Yeah. <laughs> Just, just such, a little, just... such as technicalities on rules. Um, <laughs> I'm starting. Uh, the more I play D&D, both as a player as a DM, I, I like advantage on flanking less and less. I feel like it needs to be like yeah. a static bonus because advantage is so powerful for something yeah. that is so easy to get. Yeah. But um, we're not changing that right now, so don't worry. Does an 18 hit? 18 will just miss. No. All right, second uh, attack. Second attack. 
And you've got your bonus action now. Oh, so. wait a minute. Sorry. Hold on. Uh, I have a thing where I can spend key points to push you that. Can increase, uh, you can increase your attack roll with uh, one key point. Uh, you can add two to it. Yes, I'm going to spend one key point to add two and push that to 20. So Okay, so that'll hit. Great. Okay. So that will be two... Where the fuck is it? 2d6 plus 7 slashing damage on the first attack. Oh, that's better. Uh, that's 17 slashing damage on the first hit. Um, okay, yeah, he does not resist. Yes, uh, the second attack I rolled before I remembered I could push. I can keep that roll because it would have missed anyway. Um, uh, just... Yeah, keep keep the roll if you rolled. And um, okay. if you want to add it or whatever, uh, you can try to, you can add more key to, to increase it if you'd like. Two for oh, every rolled... key point you spend. Yeah, I rolled a four, so that would be 15. Um, I could push it twice to add you could four. Add, to add four, and which that would, would get it to 19. Okay, yeah. So let's that is two key points, so, you know, I just... Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, go for it. All right. <laughs> Kiana, as you, like, should be, you know, you are caught. <laughs> you fall down, caught back yeah. by this per this this spirit, lift it back up. You're, you do your force push outwards, then mm -hmm. you jump in front of Voss to, like, you know, get this flanking thing. Yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> as you should miss both times, your astral arms come in and help you redirect the blade and you strike and hit. I did take, like, 45 points of damage in one round. I'm yeah. a little shaky. All right, 2 yeah. six, plus I, I, 7. Honestly, spend your resources now. What are you waiting for, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so that will be 15 slashing damage. Uh, okay. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, great. Uh, spend a key point, bonus action, flurry of blows. We're going to start punching. Uh, okay. All right. Straight so, attacks. Yep, straight attacks. Third attack. This will be plus nine. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to let that one miss. It's a 14 total. Uh, okay. Yeah, that'd be a lot of key points. Yeah, fourth attack. Ha! <laughs> uh, 29. No, sorry, 27. <laughs> okay, 27 will hit. Yeah, just That's not a crit, though. Make it. Uh, yeah, I know it was an 18. Uh, okay. Just, just uh, I'm asking for, for me. me no, I rolled an 18. Uh, that will be nine points of force damage. Okay, he does not resist force either. Fantastic. Great. Go ahead and move into an empty spot, please, Kiana. Roger, Roger. Does uh, that end your turn? Yes. That was my action and my bonus action. Okay. As your turn ends, mm -hmm. uh, before Veer Legacy go, he's going to be he's going to use all three of his legendary actions. He's been holding on to those. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> he is going to use Blade Dash. The inevitable moves up to his speed without provoking attacks of opportunity, then makes one attack with his adamantine blade. I just like that He can make one happening. bladed wing attack against each creature he moves past. So that's all So he's grappling Virla. So he's going to move past is everyone. He, is he going to drop me, or is he still nope. grappling me? He's still grappling you. He's at ah. half speed, but he's only moving 10 feet, so that's not a big deal to him. Ah, okay. So here's what's going to happen. He's going to make a... a two wing attacks, one against Voss, one against Kiana as he moves past them. Okay. And then he's going to make his uh, blade attack against Danny. So, <laughs> no! first against Kiana. That's a 24 to hit. That'll hit. Fuck. That is 11 points of slashing damage down to five. Cool. Everyone else will resist whatever damage this is. Yes. Voss, that's a 26 to hit you. Yeah, that's going to hit. Uh, that is nine points of slashing damage down to four. Also, he's rolling a disadvantage for everyone but me. Oh, That's I'm true. sorry, it you're right. Be a disadvantage on all of Actually, us. it should be disadvantage for Kiana as well. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Um, Kiana still really hits. Uh, uh, let's see for Voss. Voss, I rolled the exact same number twice. So <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. All of that stands. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you take four points of slashing damage, Voss. Um, fantastic. And now it's going to be the disadvantage adamantine blade against Danny. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, hit! He's got to, he's got to drop this, this nonsense. Oh, that's not going to hit. I don't think that's a seventeen to hit. It would, but if I use my reaction to cast shield, it won't. Do yeah. it. Okay, use your reaction to cast shield. <laughs> Fantastic. That is all of his legendary actions. That's all the attacks he was going to make. Um, but he is now engaged in melee with Danny. Great. <laughs> eh. Virla, at the start of your turn, you're going to take some slashing damage from these blades. Okay. 14 points of slashing damage. So Voss and I both take seven? <laughs> so yes. you guys each take seven. Okay. Voss, it, you, res you resist this. Is that this. also resisted? Yeah. Yeah, Voss resists this, so you take three, oh. Voss. Doesn't oh. oh, wait, Vila wait, wait, no, also? no. I think that's attack rolls. 
Hold on, I gotta look up the. I actually gotta look up the. Um, yeah. Okay, that's weird. Yeah. Uh, well, one second. I'm gonna look up the ancestral, ancestral guardian guardians. wording mm -hmm. because this is not an attack. So let me, let me just check ancestral guardian really quick. Ancestral guardian. Until the start of the turn, Does... disadvantage. And when the attack hits a creature other than you with an attack, yeah. so he did not hit with an attack. So Virla, you resist this because of Voss's warding Very bond. Much. Voss, yeah. you do not resist this because it's not an attack roll. So you're each going to take okay. seven points of slashing damage. Damn. All right. We love the technicalities. And here, you rolled people. with disadvantage I, on I that attack, this. right? Uh, that's not an attack. He automatically deals damage to Virla because ah, of the ground. Gotcha. He's made of knives. Virla, it's your turn. Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> There's got to be uh, made of knives, okay? It's an action to break grapple, right? It's an action to break grapple. Okay. Um, oh, wait. I could have given him advantage from Silvery Barbs. Silvery Barbs, barbs yeah. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, you did You did do your Silvery Barbs. You want to give it to Virla? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. What do I have advantage on? You're if you, uh, you have, The next the d20 you roll is at advantage. Okay. Whatever you um, want that to be. Uh, so, been. I, I've been kind of trying to observe how this inevitable is working. It seems to really be prioritizing its overall mission to neutralize people who know so, knowledge of the spell. It's trying to kill you, but all of your friends are making that really hard. So it's systematically trying to take one of them down at a time so that it can get rid of all the debuffs that are making it impossible to kill you. <laughs> Heat metal okay. from Dan. This is a stupendous amount of teamwork. Heat metal from mm -hmm. Danny, warding bond from Voss, and the an the ancestral guardians from Kiana oh, are combined. making this tr truly <laughs> a nightmare for him to attack you. So you instead, he's going to hold on to you while he can and kill the rest of them. All right. I ask because as someone uh, whose only utility spells are saving throw ones that deal half damage but are also like lightning bolt which is in a line and everyone's in a line or AOE uh, type spells where everyone would hit its area effect, I was basically contemplating if I dimension doored out, would it follow me or would it try and, just try and kill you guys first? But losing these, b losing these debuffs I think would be a detriment overall. So. Um, Virla, everyone's pretty much in a good place health wise because of Voss's thing, right? Or, uh, well, or yeah, Kiana. a double digit I've, place at least. I've um, got more where that's coming from. Yeah, so. yeah but you know, Kiana, um, double that because you're a barbarian, so you basically have twice that, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I will go ahead digits. and uh, use a third level healing word. Um, okay. Yeah. I think so. dimension dooring to the top of the ship wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Stop taking knife damage every turn. I'm, well, I mean, I'm good for it. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I can take uh, so many knives, you guys. Yeah, this baby can fit so many knives in him. <laughs> I was about to say, this Beck and I can fit so many knives in his chest. Uh, one d four plus my spell casting value. Okay, so three d four plus two. It's like those cutting. Uh, those were all three, so eleven like points of nice uh, healing damage. <laughs> to, <laughs> so to, to so who? there we go. Back. Uh, yeah, for everyone. No, 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 just Kiana. Oh, I'm not that good of a cleric. Um, Thank you. Uh, that's my bonus action. For my action, I will... This is a construct, I'm assuming, right? It's not a humanoid. This is a construct. Yeah, all right. Um, it's my friendly construct. Hmm. Oh, Shield of Faith is also bonus action. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, for my you action... You can try to I'll break out. Another... You do have advantage. True. And um, if you have an action, you're not going to use anyway. And he's rolling all his attacks at disadvantage now, so he probably can't grab you again. It's true. That's fair. Yeah. Let me. I'll, I'll use my. I'll use my action to break the grapple. Okay. He's gonna. Uh, uh, no, actually, it's an escape DC. Uh, go ahead and roll your athletics check or acrobatics. But yeah, athletics. This is his. Advantage. It's advantage. the DC is ten plus his uh, strength plus his proficiency bonus. Dirty twenty. The number you need to hit is a 21. What? Uh, what did you just roll? Oh, never 20. mind. I already shield. I can't actually reaction again. You did cast shield. All right. Okay. It was worth a shot. Any oh, any inspirations or anything floating around on the board? I don't think so. I don't think uh, so. Just thought I'd ask. 
Fair enough. Right. Uh, all right. Yeah, then that is all he can do. He will trust that his friends will take care of this because he seem, he, he, he's feeling woefully inept right now. <laughs> cool. Oh. His turn comes up. Uh, uh, he turns to you, Virla, and he says, Your allies work together flawlessly. <laughs> Teamwork is powerful, but I am inevitable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna attack Danny. Uh, he's gonna attack Danny Price. Higher than at disadvantage because I still have shield up. So you gotta get hit a twenty-one. Me. That's true. He does. He does know your shield is up too. I'm gonna do a real quick check because even though I said it, I want to see if he's going to. He might uh, cast a spell instead. Let's just do a real quick check. He can do whatever he wants. I got. None of these are high. Bad guy we fought that complimented us. I think it might be. Well, maybe maybe Azotico, maybe. Yeah. It's like in like really... a cool place oh, where yeah. you see your fire to not say. Yeah. Um, a lot of monologuers out in the planescape. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dexter also made like some like double edged comments. He's gotta get this. Ratchet and Clank were yeah, pretty but I actually believe he's gotta get this, this. He, he, he's gotta get the, the, the heat metal gone, because then he can attack Kiana and then he, he can, can kill try. Boss and then he can kill Virla. So uh -huh. he's decided that yeah, that Danny's the first one to go, even with her high AC rolling at disadvantage. He's just gonna try to get her. Uh, that's an 18 to hit on the first one. Doesn't hit because of shield. That's a 23 to hit on the second one. That one will hit. Okay, and then the uh, the bladed wings, just one last one. Uh, that's a 21 to hit on the bladed wings. That is my exact AC with shields. I believe that does hit. That does hit, okay. So we're gonna do the, the first damage first. So this is the, uh, all of this will be half because you resist all damage from attack rolls from this nice. guy. <laughs> but, Synergy. Uh, ghosts, ghosts, ghosts. But uh, here we, we go. Ghosts so so we I'm, ghosts you, don't, uh, you resist all of it, so I'm gonna give you the whole total and then half it. So plus four is 26 down to 13. Okay. <laughs> uh, concentration check, please. Sure, what do I have to beat? 10. It's just 10 because it wasn't 10. over 20. Yeah. With a natural 10 plus my con modifier, plus good. five. Okay, I think I'm good. All nice. right, so the first one missed, the second one hit, and then this third one is going to not deal that much damage. But um, in fact, it's going to deal minimum damage. Six down to three. I am still going to need a concentration check, though. Natural nine plus five. Okay. okay, so those are all of his turns. He's not going to stop grappling Beerla, so he's got no bonus action. Rather, not all of his turns, all of his attacks. Um, so that is going to end his turn that brings I'll us step out to... of the way of it Danny so I can lightning bolt him <laughs> Danny you're up alrighty alrighty ready, ready. Let, me, uh, let me he automatically succeeds 7th level and below or 7th level and above 7th mm -hmm. level seventh, and below so a 7th <laughs> level spell crazy. so he would he succeed on a 7th level he is meant to kill spell. wizards finding a lost spell uh, and so Eighth and ninth level are too powerful, but he automatically succeeds on saves against seventh and below. Wish? Nah, I choose not to. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking nah, maybe so. I could try and plane shift him to buy us some time, but that's seventh level, so he would still resist it. Uh, um, correct. Yeah, that's a really good thought, though. That was yeah, a really cool. good idea, Danny. In yeah. Inspiration worthy. I'm an ideas uh, gal. <laughs> hmm. I'll allow it. Inspiration worthy. <laughs> nice. Nice. There we go. All right. Um, That's a, it's not a yes. Yeah, it's, it's a D ten at this level, I think. Oh, and make sure you make sure you know that because it's not a boss. Mm -hmm. What do I have that won't damage the ship? Also, <laughs> that at this point, almost everyone on the field has damage resistance. I think everyone actually does because everyone I'm raging. Is resisting you damage. all have my thing, and he just automatically resists all spell damage. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Bonus so action. It's take so long. Do the heat metal damage again. If he wants to hold on to that, okay. sort of his. He's going to have disadvantage again on all of his ability checks and attack rolls. Correct. So, girl hood roll your 3d8. 5, 8, 9, plus 8. 17 points of fire damage. Tasty. <sighs> Jesus, on 3d8. Uh, and then I'm just going to um, action disengage and take some steps back. <laughs> you clever, clever. So get into the other room so I can still see him. I can't see Virla, but I assume I can see. Uh, he does. <laughs> hold on, let me double check. 
Is that my room? It looks like my room. Kiana, clean he, your he room. Does have a, Danny, <laughs> barely Danny, in a room. This, you don't this use would be it. evident to you because he's big. He, um, he's not big. He's got a long blade. Uh, he does have a ten foot reach. So if you want to be out of melee, you will have to move back further. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the yeah, next room. <laughs> it's my okay. hammock. My punchy doll. Oh, Finbar's old room. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta really clean up this room too. Oh no. god, this gar the the garden on the top deck is gonna fucking. One of us is gonna <laughs> have to prune shit. that, and at this point, it's looking like it might have to be Danny. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just gonna. Be... <laughs> All right, I mean, Danny. Very little turn. That ends Absolutely. my turn. Looks at clippers, okay. just looks down, makes a little blowtorch out of her fingers, oh, and starts like <laughs> slicing off leaves with it. <laughs> oh, this is probably good for the plant, right? <laughs> <laughs> God, right, it's, it's, fine. it's like nitrates or something. <laughs> People tell you, you to put like such... bones in the soil. I've heard. You know that was. <laughs> it's like how Fire wildfires are good for the What do you guys think I've been board. saving all this goop for? <laughs> Gardening. <laughs> oh. Yikes! Danny's fertilizer mix. <laughs> it's on all uh, the shelves in Sigil. <laughs> the most potent poison in the plains. <laughs> it's got a little Danny giving a thumbs up on every bag. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like After fire. wildly successful adventures and we franchise. <laughs> there's, there's a little note on the back that says, if you die from this, uh, Danny Rizzo is all right to make goop out of you. <laughs> <laughs> if you die, send your goop to P.O. Box. Got goop? And send it to. <laughs> more goop. <laughs> all right. He is but going to. But instead of it being your P.O. Box, it all just goes to Casimir. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I should start mailing him books. That'd be funny. <laughs> Do some uh, science. Notice on that this. you've stolen two of his books yet. Nope. <laughs> oh, he'll never know that. He's yeah. too disorganized. He really needs to get Danny down. This is a this is a huge pain in the ass for him. I'll have to heist them back under his bed. Doing my most juvenile like, like nya, 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 at him every time I run by. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, no! <laughs> I'm slowly but surely luring him up to the deck. I'll use a free action. I'll be like, it's because of the. It's because of the crystal rod. Ah. <laughs> uh, he's gonna get uh, YouTube after me. Run! Ooh, what crystal rod? He can certainly try. He's gonna try. Yeah, it's just it's just too hard. Oh god, having this uh, having this disadvantage. He's gonna that's use a, three nice legendary phrase. actions, should, even though his turn work. just happened. To uh, uh, what's his speed? Is it forty? His speed is. 40. He has just enough to use his uh, dash again, so he's going to go 510 next to Kiana, 1520 back here, 2530, 3540. Uh, oh, difficult to get everyone? To get every single person, except for Virla, who he's going to carry with him. Kid. So, disadvantage attack on Kiana. Let's go. Uh, that's only a 14 on the disadvantage. That's going to miss. Uh, Voss, that's a 17 at disadvantage. That just hits. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be... Uh, nine points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, that's an Which attack roll, though. Yeah. So you resist down to four. Perfect. Ghosts. And ghosts, this is ghosts. the final one. Come on, come on. Hit Danny. Hit Danny. <laughs> Danny, you uh, with your reaction is back. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have shield up. You can cast it again, yep. of course. Uh, but here we go. Come on. Uh, uh, it's only an 18. I will use my reaction to cast <laughs> shield to bring my AC up to 21. Okay. There we go. Wow. Poor he, he don't got no. He, he got nothing he could do about that. Um, meep meep, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a spell that, that I have not gotten object. to use yet that I took when I had to go reorganize my spell. It's a little bit that I cannot wait to do all my Roadrunner impressions when it comes up. But it, it unfortunately it does require <laughs> concentration, and I do not think it's applicable in this situation. But someday. Boss. <laughs> That's fine. my turn. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm up. Um. All right. This a lot going on here. Okay. We're gonna start with uh, action, uh, I will walk up to Kiana. It's like, all right, this is taking way too long. Let's speed this up a little bit. Uh, yes. And I will twin haste. haste. Yes! Uh, first, <laughs> first, first, first place to twin haste beep, on beep. both her beep, and myself. Beep. Double, <laughs> double our speed plus two to AC. Um, uh, extra action, uh, extra hasted action on our turn, which is uh, attack, dodge, disengage, uh, use item. Oh. Too excited, um, spilled coffee on my iPad. Cool. Eh. Uh, bonus action, I will use a uh, bardic inspiration and I will give it to Virla. It's like, all right, let's get you out of those blades. Uh, so I mean, that... I'm, I'm fine. And if it means that uh, he can't do anything else if, while he's holding me, then honestly, this, this might work out for the best. <laughs> bonus 
uh, Bardic Inspiration regardless. Um, and then I will move into uh, Vela's space and I say, excuse me, mate. And I will use my hasted action to make an attack. Roll, roll disadvantage. He's still got Blur up. Oh, right. Ooh, okay, good shit. Did he not make any concentration checks on the getting He's smacked? never taken more than 20 damage at a time. Oh, yeah, and 22, actually. He has, a, he has a plus 10. He rolls even at a 1. That would be an 11. So he has not taken at 23 or more damage. disadvantage to 21 to hit. That'll hit. Cool. I will use my mobile flourish as I as I slip in through uh, in between um, uh, Virla and uh, this rope and the other um, inevitable. I will sort of slide my blade in between uh, the blades currently holding him, uh, trying to free the two of them. Uh, so I get to add an extra D8 to this, and I believe with a mobile flourish, I can push the target five feet plus the number rolled. Damn. Uh, okay. So so here we go. Uh, we'll make this Mobile flourish doesn't increase your uh, your speed. It does. All, all oh, my flourishes okay. increase my speed by. Uh, oh, two. crazy cool. Okay. He's already hasted, so like. Yeah, it, it doesn't. How okay, much so I do I need to go. So that is eleven total of sixteen points of slashing damage. Um, and I push him ten feet. Okay. Ah. Hot what? shit. Hi, Virla. <laughs> hey, hey Virla, the <laughs> grapple is broken. Voss, what does it look like when you shove like that? It's it's literally like the tip of the sword against hard metal, and it's just raw strength as that he pushes it back. The force movement breaks the grapple. Ooh. Virla, you're free. Yeah. Oh. Huh. <laughs> good right. move, Voss. Extremely good move. Okay, oh, that, no, that was fine. I can just keep getting stabbed every turn. Don't I used a me, lot guys. on that, but I think that is my turn. Okay. Kiana, you're up. Mm. Um, okay. Oh, come, boss, move out of the way. Please, I want to fucking <laughs> lightning bolt this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my speed is doubled. That's yes. Yes. good. All right. 5, 10, excuse me, Bill. 20, 25. 30, 35, let's go. You can't um, move through him. I can't? Can I no. like go up the wall and around him? Uh, Can I go up the <laughs> ceiling and around him? Um, I, it's, I mean, you're right. underneath a ship. They're not really tall ceilings. Um, but he's medium he sized. Movement. He is medium sized, but they're like meant for a medium sized creature. Um, like they're not 10 foot tall ceilings down here. I have 90 feet of movement this but turn. I know you have 90 feet of movement. <laughs> All right, go ahead and make me an uh, take, make me a tumble check. Acrobatics is going to be contested against his athletics. Oh boy, okay. I just really want this lightning bonus. See if you could tumble through him. Uh, acrobatics? Great. Acrobatics. Does she roll an advantage because of haste, Wally? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's just saving throws. Ah, okay. beans. Yeah. Alright, well, that's a 16. Okay. His athletics, he rolls... Uh, wait, does uh, does he have disadvantage because of the heat metal? Or is that just attack rolls? Uh, attack rolls and ability checks. This is an ability check. So he rolls a 22 on the first one. We're going to see if he rolls lower. Um, he rolls higher. Okay. So what does that do? Do I just uh, not get to you, move through You him? can't get past him. Well, this is inconvenient. But I suppose it helps that I do have 10 foot reach. Let me just... Uh, <clears throat> uh, you can move into Voss's move area and then move back. You're not Ugh. leaving his threatened area because he has ten foot reach. This so, is so awkward. Okay. So you great. can do you can do you can still hit him. It's just gonna be a disadvantage because of the blur. Ugh. I can move out of the way, it's fine. Alright, first attack at disadvantage. Somebody doesn't want me to straight, whatever. <laughs> uh fifteen. Yeah, I'll just I'll not push Uh that. you could always reckless. I could reckless. You could always already... reckless. Yeah. Then he has disadvantage to hit straight. you, that would be straight, but yeah. yeah. So you need each other so straight. I'd, I'd be rolling this straight. Yes, you would Fantastic. be rolling that straight. Let's Everyone's do that. rolling First. it straight now. <laughs> ha! Jesus Christ. All right, well, that's a crit fail. Uh, uh, second attack. Uh, okay. This, <laughs> this, is, this is a very fitting Ooh. fight for a show called Rolling with Difficulty. <laughs> that's a 30. Rolling with Difficulty. 30 don't go hit. Yeah. All right. Rolling with difficulty. Rolling with difficulty. <laughs> okay, guys, guys, yeah. please. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, pff, only eleven slashing damage. Uh, okay. I'll use my hasted action to attack again twice. Attack with that sword. No, you get to attack once with the hasted action. One. Yeah. Never mind then. Uh, well, that's a twenty-eight to hit. Uh, mm -hmm. Two d six plus seven. 
uh, 14 slashing damage on that one. And now I will use a key point to bonus action flurry of blows and do two more punches. Okay. Does haste add to my attack rolls? I forget. No. No right, bonus that would be to a damage. Busted. No. Uh, no, I'd like to hit, but. Oh, no. Okay, cool. But your AC uh, is higher. I do like that. Okay, that's a 19 to hit. That will just hit. Great. There we go. All right, d6 plus five, force damage. 11 force damage, max on that. And final attack. Ah, oh, only a 28. I keep almost rolling 20s. Um, all right, I'd love for you to crit. I would love for me to crit too. That's another nine force damage. <sighs> what this dervish of blades, this flurry of attacks just comes in as Virla, now that Virla's free, like he kind of stumbles backwards, you mm -hmm. move in like fully underneath Voss uh, and <laughs> bam, bam. Uh, just like start like pummeling into this guy. He's out of legendary actions. He's got nothing he can do. Is there any yeah. like movement or anything you want to do for your turn? Like what would you yeah, like to do? Yeah, I'm going to like backflip back over Voss. <laughs> um, Go for it. Yeah. You know that bit in uh, The Boiling Rock where like Sokka and Zuko are like I teaming up against I <laughs> was going to say that and I was like, this yeah. is too obscure for me to reference. I mean, it's not obscure <laughs> in the show, but like, <laughs> I know. That, that footage so many times. This is the target audience. I love the that boss fight. moment so of the early 2000s. Yeah. I'm going to also get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to take one step into my room so he can light okay. him. It doesn't uh, matter. You are Voss still in 10 feet and thus do not provoke an attack. Actually, no, I can step into Voss's space. Never mind. You can. All right. Thirla, that's you. Yeah. Okay. Keanu getting Finally. out of the way is good because <laughs> it's difficult to rain to move and uh, to get into Voss's space, but you should have just enough 5, 10, 15, yeah. 20. You should have enough movement to get back out. <laughs> nudging, yep. nudging him out of the way. Excuse me, excuse uh, me. Yeah, all right. Well, okay. Uh, I'm at a third level spell slots because I used that healing word, so I will, um, I will I'll do it at fourth level. If this son of a bitch is immune to lightning damage. Yeah, that's why uh, I'm not doing uh, Channel Divinity right away. Uh, uh, reminder that you can only cast one spell, whether it's an action or bonus action. So if you're healing word, you can't do a lightning bolt if you're trying to do that. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't heal. No, no, I meant, he said he spent I, When I cast healing oh. word on Keanu before, that was my last third level spell. spell gotcha, spell. gotcha. So, gotcha. so now you're doing lightning at fourth level. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, you know, uh, he's going to succeed and take half damage. So. Yeah. If you want to max it, you know, it's not a bad time. <laughs> Are you? Is this you telling me that he's not resistant or he's not immune? Because <laughs> that would be a bad time. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna channel divinity right now. He's a robot. He learned from the kraken. <laughs> what? What, uh, el what else are you gonna use your channel divinity for? I mean, I I don't know. You gonna wait till one of you guys is I have a thunder wave. Ooh. Uh. Now is not the worst time for a thunder wave. We're all behind you for the first time in the fight. I I, I have I have enough spell slots for a thunder wave, but I also have one more fourth level spell slot. And so if this works, then the next time that my turn goes up, it's lightning bolt and it's the whole whole Great. kibosh. Uh, right. Whole kit and caboodle. All right. So what's your plan? So twenty seven half to thirteen. Lightning damage. Yeah. He does take thirteen lightning damage. Oh. Hell yeah! Okay. All right. Okay. Next, All right. Not next round. Provoke. Next round, you're fucked. <laughs> uh, not enough to provoke um, a saving throw, a, a concentration yeah. check. But <sighs> Kiana comes in, attacks, uh, and then as he's <laughs> like fully hit, you like he kind of stumbles back, turns his head. Virla, you come up point blank, hold up your hand, and lightning arcs straight through him, hits the wood, uh, and smolders on the other side. Yeah. You said that his reach is ten feet, so if his I reach is ten feet, stop further than that, in that invokes ship. attack of opportunity. It would. All right. I yeah, I want to give space so that uh, like Kiana and, and Kiana can get in there. Thank you. Okay. Actually, yeah. What I'm gonna do is is this kind of back up into Danny's room, hey. which is yeah. also unused. Smart. No one uses these rooms anymore. <laughs> Danny sleeps in the engine room. Got a pile of shit yeah. in there. It's kind of a weird thing where you. You're technically within his 10 foot reach, but you move beyond cover, but uh, that doesn't oh. provoke an attack of opportunity. So. Oh, okay, yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Um, Virla's gonna take all these rooms, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Imagine. All of them become room? different conspiracy board hideouts. <laughs> Every time I've seen you wake up, you're, you're on the deck. That's just because it's nice to be under the stars. You can make that your room. <laughs> oh, that's Virla's turn, by the way. All right, fantastic, so that brings us to him. All right. Do this your worst, big boy. Could. Yes, really. All right, he's got to get Danny. He's just gonna focus. He's, <laughs> he's a being of, of ruthless intelligence. 
I have first 70 hit points for the first time in my oh. life. Bring it on. <laughs> Woo! Natural, natural two to hit. That will not be good. Hit. Good start. Good start. There we go. Love it. Meet me. Second one is a natural one. Here we go on the bladed wings against Danny. Uh, natural three, all misses. <laughs> These ghosts just bitch slapping the swords away. Uh, however, he did make two attacks against Danny, and thus he can make a grapple check against her, even though he didn't hit. You can certainly so, try. Danny, it's an athletics or an acrobatics. He's gonna roll his athletics at disadvantage. You're gonna roll your athletics slash, slash acrobatics to re resist, whichever you prefer. Okay, it's plus one versus plus two, so I guess plus two for acrobatics. <laughs> all right. It's an eighteen. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Um, that is just a 15. Christ. <laughs> Let me double check. Yes. God, this, this sucks. This, this inevitable is terrible, no good, very bad day. It really is. You know All what's right, inevitable? Danny, just <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Danny, it's your just turn. the power of our teamwork, um, guys. So he it really teamwork is. Works the dream work. resists spell attacks completely. Uh, and then he, he succeeds on his save. There is saves. no spell you guys can cast that he won't do, that an attack will miss and a save he will make. But like, if I cast a yeah. spell that did not was not an attack, would it still have an effect on him? Uh, he is because uh, like heat metal works. It's just the save that. I think if it if it has a saving yeah, throw, he'll yeah, automatically yeah, yeah. succeed. But the, like, if it the has inevitable an automatically on... succeeds on saving throws against spells of sinful level lower, and attack rolls of such spells always miss it. Cool. So other spells can. It's limited spell immunity. Other spells can still work on it. Would is like like blur a magical obscure. effect. Blur is a spell. You could dispel it. I will cast dispel magic on him. Okay. It's the third oh, level for me, yes. so I think I have to make it. I don't know if blur is a higher level than third. Blur is a second level spell. Oh, it automatically. Yeah. Danny, yeah. what does it look like when you dispel his blur? I imagine that he's been doing a lot of swiping, and Danny just sort of like. Bobbin he's, and weave it a little bit, but not he's, so he's gracefully. The... <laughs> Danny is Gandalf, but dodging the Orakai's <laughs> arrows in the animated Lord of the Rings. If you haven't looked up that clip, look it up. It's the best 10 minute loop on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> I wa it is my most watched piece of media. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this came full circle. We were talking about this before we started recording tonight. <laughs> Um, I was trying to talk about the last unicorn. Somebody brought up Danny the fucking is, Rankin is dodging, and as she is, uh, I think she's sort of like Virlo reaches into the weeb and does magic. Danny is like, oh, this guy is like metal covered or whatever. I'm just gonna go like beep boop beep and just sort of like pushes <laughs> the her hands in the right places <laughs> to uh, dispel the the anchors of the blur effect. Pressure points. The blur ends. Attack rolls are going to be straight. He is going oh to uh, attack with his reach. Uh, he's going to make one weapon attack against Kiana. Because if you're reckless, this is straight. Let's do it. Uh, Danny's bonus action is to... Um, oh, sorry. He's going to take 3D, 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 isn't he? <laughs> Excuse yep, okay, yep, yep, me. <laughs> Excuse when have I ever me. not used a full action bonus action combo in a round? Feels yeah. good, right? I had this fighter bard. That was... I was like, every turn, if there's no bonus... It's action, bonus action. Sometimes a second action. Yep. It's good. It feels good to do it. Um, that mm -hmm. is 13 points of fire damage. Ah, uh, nice average. There we go. <laughs> that feel that feels good to me. All right, Kiana, attack against you. Let's go straight. Uh, that's 29 to hit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> so that's you're gonna have the slashing, and you're gonna take the force straight. Let's go. So that's 15 slashing down to seven. Ouch. And ten force. Whew. Okay. Okay, that ends his first legendary action. Foss, it's your turn. All right. Uh, what's it? Whoa, I think we're over the hill. All right, here we go. He is. Um, he's starting to look pretty rough at this point. Is he? Oh, all right. Is it well, like emotional damage or is it like actual? <laughs> Have we bullied this inevitable damage. enough? No, Austin is Austin has been dealt emotional damage. <laughs> you see, you see a deep sadness in his eyes that he has no teammates with it's which just, to also be. He starts walking <laughs> backwards to disengage, and it just is like the Charlie Brown sad music, and he does the sad walk. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like fucking Arrested, Arrested Development. development. Do, 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 yeah. Do, do, do. You stand alone. That is why you fail. All right. Um, we're we're just gonna do um we're gonna do three attacks. Uh, and bonus action. Let's get the bonus action out of the way first. Uh, we'll do a fourth level uh, mass healing work. 
Or with level nasty mass healing word? Wounds? Math healing wounds? Math. Uh, mass healing word. Uh, I so cast that's... math healing word. Math healing Everyone word, get yeah. your yeah, calculators to... out. Let's yep. roll a bunch of dice Hell and yeah. add them together. It's not a whole lot, but it's... Hopefully... Oh, actually, it's something. And after fours. after Voss does this, I would love to know everyone's hit point total. Cool. Yeah, uh, that is uh, twelve hit points to everyone. Nice. Tasty. How long does the ma- how long does the max hit point increase last for? Eight hours. Eight. Yeah. Oh fuck. All right. All right. So, how much did you just heal for, Voss? Twelve. Uh, twelve. I rolled max on the dice. Okay. And so, what does uh, Virla? What does twelve bring you to? Uh, my new max, ninety-two. Damn. Jeez. Kiana, what does that bring you to? Twenty-three. Okay. Still in there, Danny. 71. And Voss, where are you at? I am at 68. Okay. Oh, so, so close. close. So, so close. close. Cool. Your turn ends. Any... He's going to make another attack against Kiana. I, I didn't make my three attacks. Oh, sorry. You got a thing to Calm do. Down. Calm sorry, down. Sorry, you cannot. That was my it bonus action. Slow your roll, Chief. I, I've, yeah. been really, I've been really, really, it's every time someone does something, I'm like, oh, uh, luxury action, luxury action. <laughs> um, 17 is going to miss, right? Yes. Uh, 17 is going to miss, correct. Uh, here's the other two. Uh, Remember, you're not rolling at disadvantage anymore. You're rolling straight. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. 20. 20 will hit. Uh, 18 is going to miss. And then... Correct. Uh, 19 exactly. So two will hit. Okay. Go ahead and roll your damage for both attacks. Cool. Um, that is... That is uh, okay. Technically, uh, I can't. I can't break concentration. So um, total between the two attacks, uh, twenty slashing. Okay. This guy's looking real bad. He's gonna take a. As your turn ends, he's gonna take another slash at Kiana. He's hoping he can take her down before her turn comes up. <laughs> I'm just standing here. Bro. Fat chance, but here we go. All right. That's a twenty-six to hit. Battle hit. That is 19 points of slashing down to 9. Cool. Okay. And scary. 11 points of force. Down to something? I'm back or down to pad? 3! 3? Oh, fuck. So close. So close. Oh, the tragedy. Why could you not have been a bigger number? All right. <laughs> uh, Your cousin's will... a bigger number. <laughs> What's that... happening? That is going to end Who is that? his legendary <laughs> action. Kiana, you are up. You're hasted. <laughs> Sorry, the, the, the ghost of my of, ancestors. That's what the ghost The effects sound of like. reckless wear off. He does have um he has no more blur, so you're attacking straight or at advantage if you reckless. I mean if he hits me next turn, I'm going down regardless, so may as well reckless. Um That's all right, right, yeah. It's always reckless. Yeah Okay, first attack. Where the fuck are all my bonuses? There they are. Alright, first attack, as I was saying. Hit it's all right, dirty 20, which you know hits. Uh, That'll hit right. the damage. Uh, first attack is uh, 11 slashing damage. Okay, second attack. Uh, oh, that was bad. Uh, that's gonna total 17, but I will spend a key point to push it to 19. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna be completely out after this round. Uh, all right, 2d6 plus uh. Seven slashing damage. Uh, okay, fourteen slashing damage. Um, so close. Hasted attack action. Here we go. Oh come on! All right, well that's a twenty-six to hit. That'll one hit. of these dice keeps rolling ones and twos, but it switches out which one it is. All right, two d six plus seven. Uh, pit. okay, uh, that's eleven slashing damage. My last key point. Bonus action flurry of blows. Kiana. Yes. Finish him. <gasps> yeah. Oh, no <laughs> way. Cool. <laughs> do I do I need to roll or am I just? <laughs> he had two hit points left. Oh, okay. Yeah. How, uh, do you, how does that third attack finish him? Uh, wait. Did I not need to spend my last key point? Even better. Um, then I I think it just like, just knocks off his head just fully. <laughs> it's like two like up slashes and then as I go robot. around. I, th- I think as I like, just sort of uh, like use the momentum of the sword to like swing it around and like cut a couple chips out of the walls on either side. What's the paint? Just, like, <laughs> Huge sword comes out. You watch as the head goes, uh, 
clatters off at your feet as it comes down. The body slumps up against the wall. Whew. There is a moment of peace. And then... The inevitable is going to use fashion of order, mythic trait. If the inevitable is reduced to zero hit points, it does not fall unconscious or die. Instead, it gains a certain number of hit points. And another thing, you watch as it enters its mythic form. Phase two. The head comes off. There's this brief moment of victory, and then you see the body shudders up. It picks up the head, puts it back on. Uh, light begins to glow from within its mechanical body. Ah, come uh, on. And as it does, it says to you, your struggle is an act of futility. One by one, I will eliminate each of you. I will never slow. I will never tire. I will never relent. You still have your bonus action. He is back at a certain number of hit points, and he is in his mythic form. So he has access to his mythic traits and mythic legendary actions. Is he still holding the cool. same sword? Uh, He's still holding the same sword, kid. <laughs> he didn't drop it. Glad I didn't do All that right. to the armor. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, final key point. I'm going to punch the scary robot. <laughs> Uh, okay. And I'm still recklessing, so, so let me know okay. if I if I'm not rolling this at advantage anymore because of some. You are rolling this at advantage. Great. All right. God damn it! What if now it's like? Ha! Are you within five feet of him? You're standing in front of us. You're... I assume so. Cool. Go ahead. And... All right. Well, uh, that's not gonna hit because that's only a 15 total because I rolled garbage on both of these dice. But I do have my second. Do you uh, have a second floor of blows? Hit. Oh well, that's super cocked. Uh. Mm. Oh, wait. Sorry, this die is just really hard to read. I rolled a 27. <laughs> Sorry, okay. a 25. Uh, 25 okay. will hit. This will only do 1d6 plus 5 force damage. All right, deal it. Which is 11 force damage. Okay, he takes 11 points of force damage. You he, you reach up with one, he bats one, uh, one mm -hmm. psionic arm aside, takes the other on the jaw, turns back to you. He's going to use his last legendary action. Uh, he used two attacks on you. He's going to use the third. Bastion of Order means that when he uh, when he is in his mythic form, his attacks automatically hit, and he automatically deals average damage every time. So you take uh, 21 points of slashing damage down to 10, and 7 yep. points of force damage. I'm out, oh, obviously. Shit. You hit him, you take him out, points. he comes back. You hit him once, he brings up the sword, and boom, cleaves. You watch his all the spirits <laughs> go away. Uh, Kiana thuds down to the ground, the amber yep. glow fading from her. Uh, and that is the end of his uh, turn. Virla, it's yours. Okay. But I'm not um, in the way of lightning bolt anymore. <laughs> but you're also dead. No, but now I don't know if he has some bullshit that's like, he's immune to fucking spell damage. <laughs> Ooh, so now we gotta suck. experiment again. Um, I think it is more valuable, though, if you are up. So he will use his bonus action to cast Healing Word at the second level. Ooh. Uh, for Kiana. Uh, it's not much. Six points. Boy. That's, that's still good because that, I'm not making death saves. That's another turn for you, at least. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, no and, I mean, sure, we'll experiment. He's just going to try Shocking Grasp again. Um, okay. You move yeah, five, into ten, range fishing, with him. Uh, yeah, I, I spell levels range. of that, uh, spell attacks of that level automatically miss. He's going to redirect it. Please roll damage at Kiana. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot they did that. <laughs> All right. On, I'm so sorry. Wait. Uh, so even if I miss? Yeah, like, when I, you miss I, I with an attack, roll. he redirects it to someone else that he can see within 120 feet. Oh my and god. And it automatically hits them? And it automatically hits them. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> Am I dead again? Well. <laughs> I don't know. I can't believe I did this. Oh no. I, I hate this. Done this. Just roll the dice. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, one of them's already a six. <laughs> okay, yeah, down she goes. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm back, I'm hurt. <laughs> In your desperation to get Kiana away, you heal her and then try to remove its attacks. Oh my god. As the shocking grasp goes in, it uh, swirls around its body, magic missile style, and <laughs> hits Kiana. She jolts on the floor and falls back to unconsciousness. Uh, is that your turn? Yeah. <laughs> He'll use his movement to go back and shamefully hide in the corner. <laughs> Nap time for Kiana. Boss is going to turn to him and say, Mike, don't do that again. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. 
All right, everyone's resistance to damage is gone. That brings yeah, us to that. his turn. He's going to make three attacks against Danny to try and drop this goddamn heat metal. You can uh, certainly try. Cool. Well, the first one hits because he automatically hits. Uh, there's no like AC or anything to it. It's just an automatic hit. Nope. It's just his nope. thing. He automatically hits. He is a being. He has uh, entered a being of uh, as a being of utmost law. He no longer needs to roll in order to hit. The trade-off is that he can't roll really high damage because he rolls average every gotcha. time. Gotcha. Uh, that being yeah. said, you take trade-off. 28 points of damage. Okay. You don't resist it anymore because of my thing. Yeah. Second attack, you take 28 points of damage. Uh, if he hits me a third time, Danny's down. Uh, third attack, you take eight points of slashing damage from his Never wings. Mind. He does not have. Danny is still. He does not up. have. Three. He does not have a, two another thing. And a ten. That is going to be three uh, uh, concentration checks from you, though. All right, I'm just gonna roll three d20s at the same time. Well, no, because oh. two of them are very high and one is very low. So okay. please roll them one at a time. Uh, DC 14 on the first two, DC 10 on the second. Yeah. Oh, the third. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the first one's a natural 16. Mm-hmm. Plus 5. Okay. Uh, yep, you're good. Second one is a natural 10 plus 5. 15. Okay, that cool. makes it by 2. The last one's a natural 18. Over. Okay, Woo! so you succeed on all of them. There good job, go. Danny. Uh, he is going to attempt to grapple you. Uh, he still has disadvantage on his attack rolls automatically hit, but his ability checks do not automatically work. So go ahead and make your uh, contested against his grapple. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's a natural 20. Uh, he also rolled a natural 20, but he has disadvantage, and he also rolled a 3. Oh, okay. Scared so you are not grappled. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, the uh, uh, No, wait. He used... No, it's his turn. So his reaction is back, so he's going to use Cosmic Balance. Uh, can I get you to please make... Um, oh, wait. Uh, uh, to instead take 8. Uh... He doesn't know what your bonus is, so he's going to do this. Instead of re-rolling, or instead of whatever you rolled on the dice, you instead res- uh, uh, get a 10. So he is going to use his reaction cosmic balance 10 plus whatever you add to that. Plus 2, so 12. His is 3 plus 11 for a total of 14. You are grappled. God Have I cool. used a reaction, and his reaction since is gone. my last? Because I, I don't could think so. flash of genius that to bring it up. Um... That's a good question. I don't, I don't think, think I don't have shield up right did. now. You used shield twice. You don't have shield. You haven't had to. I haven't flash of genius like, anyone, so I think reaction. I have my reaction still because my turn's ever. I think yeah. you have your reaction, yeah. so I think you could flash yeah. a genius out of this. I'm flash of geniusing Let's out of this it. bad boy. Okay, that's good because you take auto damage at the start of your turn uh, if you're grappled. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. All right, Danny, <laughs> you. F- what does a flash of genius look like to avoid being grappled by him? Shit, duck. Okay. <laughs> Discombobulated. Danny's a genius, everyone. All right, Danny, uh, your turn. You got a turn. Uh, yeah. Um, I think we need more than one big gun to take this guy's mythic form down, considering two of us are going to be bouncing between death and life for the rest of this fight in all likelihood if he automatically hits every time. Yeah. Uh, mm, um, definitely save that third... Uh, I am at a complete and total loss. Uh, if I can't think of anything in the next two seconds, I guess I'm just going to fire on him with the, or, I don't know, pop a potion or something. But, like, yeah, Danny is pretty much, other than the heat metal, Danny is functionally useless. And that's dropping next turn because if she gets hit once more, she's going down no matter how many hit points I can regain. Um, mm. So that's just more of an FYI for the crew than anything else. Uh, it's an action to feed someone else a potion, right? It's an action to feed someone else a potion. I will get Kiana up by giving her a potion of healing. Oh, okay. thank you. Go ahead, roll your 2d4 plus 2. That's 5 plus 2, 6, 7 points, 7 hit points. Um, oh. So you are not right, just unconscious. Just don't immediately electrocute me. Yay. Um, and I will use my bonus action to do the heat metal damage again, because I, I it's not really helping with All any right, of the tackles anymore, but at least it's damage that's happening. 13 points of fire damage. Okay, that's not too shabby. All right, the end of your turn, he's going to use two legendary actions to cast a spell. He's going to cast haste. Of course he is. This is good. Do I st- this, so I went unconscious. Is, actually... is haste still on me? Yes, I'm concentrating yes. on it. You're good. Okay. As long as yeah. All right. 
Foss, what you're up. What is Haste and Tail again? He, uh, his plus speed doubles. AC. He has plus two to AC. He, gets he an has another action. action. And he has advantage on deck saves, I believe. I, I, I think... I think that's worth yeah. using my last fourth level to counterspell that. Ooh. Okay. All right, the spell never goes off. Yeah, that extra action could have been bad. <sighs> you watch as he begins to vibrate, and then Virla, <laughs> you sever the spells it's being cast. Uh, he looks to you, uh, and he says, Arrogant Arcanist, you will learn the errors of your ways. A lot of personality on this guy. He's had a lot of time out to for think my friends. The last <laughs> nineteen hundred years or so. Oh, uh, yeah. Just okay. sitting around. Voss, it's your turn. Um, uh, Voss sort of uh, tucks his uh, long sword under his armpit, rubs his hands together. It's like, all right, let's see if we can keep these two in just a little bit longer. Um, bonus action, I will uh, burn a second level spell slot to regain two sorcery points. Um, okay. And then, as my action, I will twin a fifth level cure wounds oh. on Yana and this. Oh, thank Crazy. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, yeah. What is that? All right. So, this is going to be uh, 30. Okay. Ooh. I could survive one more hit. Uh, yeah, so that's 30 to the two of you. Uh, that's my action, that's my bonus action, and as my hasted action, uh, I'm, I'm gonna hit him. Hell yeah. yeah. Do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him. Gotta keep damage coming, come on. Dirty 20. Yeah, that'll, uh, yes, the, the, uh, his AC did not go up, because haste did not work, so. Oh, that will hit. Okay, um, takes the longsword back out from under his armpit, and he says, sorry, mate. Bonks him on the head. <laughs> Total of not great. Uh, seven points of slashing. Okay, take seven points of slashing damage. He's got some number of hit points left. Uh, haste is no good. He's gonna auto, hit, and he knows he can't take any of these guys out one hit. He's gonna auto hit Va- Voss mm-hmm. to deal average damage. Uh, twenty eight points of damage. His average to you. damage is so much. Twenty. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's three D ten plus five, which is twenty one, and two D six force, which is seven. Uh, that's so twenty eight damage total. DC fourteen concentration check. DC fourteen concentration check. That's natural sixteen. Yes. Okay. That's it. Yeah. You just you had one legendary action left. You used two to stab. So that oh, brings us to Kiana. It's fantastic. Oh, oh, okay. on, Kiana. Good. I wanted that hasted action. Okay. We're going to bonus action rage. Do it. Because I, I want that reckless back. Uh, this There's is my basically last... no point to not reckless because he auto hits at this point. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So there, that's the, yeah. All right. Um, and also that gives me my damage reduction again, uh, which is nice. Um, okay. First attack. Uh, let's use these T20s, which have betrayed me less this round so far. Um, all right. First attack. Oh, I had to jinx it, didn't I? Uh, that's only a 16 to hit. Um, That'll miss. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, second attack. Ah, much better. 26. Um, 26 right. is going to hit. I would hope so. Where's my other d6 hiding? Ah, oh, found it. Okay. <clears throat> that's 2d6 plus 7. Uh, 14 slashing damage. Okay. Okay. Hasted action. More attacks. There we go. Uh, 18 to hit. I know. Just misses. But I'm all Just out miss. of key points. <laughs> would you like an inspiration? Um, I would sure like to hit him again, if that's okay. Can an inspiration increase a two hit? I think so. Yeah. yeah. That's how inspirations work. Take mine. Great. Uh, then, hit. then that automatically will hit, because minimum on that will... It's a, it's a one. Yeah. Great. So you okay. spend your inspiration. You hit. Mm-hmm. Thank you. All right, 2d6 plus 7 again. Hit! Uh, 12 slashing damage. Okay. Um, I have one more this round. Uh, uh, yeah, 24 to hit. Um, okay. 7. Yes. Uh, that's only 10 slashing damage. Um, and I used my bonus action to rage... But that does mean that everyone else is now back at resisting whatever damage he deals. Back at resisting. Corellia. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. We're for, good. For now. <laughs> I don't for know now, if yeah. good is the word I would use, but we're something. 
Uh, can I get... We're gonna get to Virla's turn, then we're gonna do a hit point check. So, Virla, you're up. Okay. Uh... Can I enter the space that Kiana and Voss are also oh, occupying? Yeah, oh, yeah, Kiana, you gotta get out of there, by the way. Silly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna have to uh, back I'll just up. Be a fun I'll, one I'll step back again. <laughs> There's <laughs> a lot of people standing in the same place for a while, but also that place is the same square as each other. Mm-hmm. Do a lot yeah, of crossfading. So 5, 10, 15, 20. Can I just do five feet diagonally and just... Uh, uh, yeah, it's difficult to rain to get through them. But yes, yeah, so, well, do I have to go through Kiana to Voss, or can I kind of go diagonally? Mm, you gotta go through Kiana. You gotta go through the door. I could also I move... I... I'll, I'll, you know what? It would be just as easy for me to move one space over to the right. <laughs> Fair enough. I think that you have a, enough of an understanding of what's going on here. So, mm-hmm. all right. Yeah. So, five, ten, fifteen. 20. Yeah. Okay. I can basically just enter and, and exit again. Okay. Um, I'll do second wave, uh, second level thunder wave. Um, it's a uh half of two d eight thunder or half of three d eight thunder damage. Yes. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'll channel divinity. Uh. Just max that. All so right. So that's automatically. Twenty-four. Have to twelve. Have to twelve. Oh, three d eight. Yeah. Yeah. As you pull on the silver flame, you watch as there's like a there. It's like a heat bubble that kind of goes out from you uh, as you max the damage. The thunder wave also roars with like flame as it does it. Uh, it takes stumbles backwards. Um, and he clearly wasn't expecting this. There's kind of this moment like it stumbles backwards and then it looks quizzically at you, Virla, uh, and it says, Champion. Strange. Could you perhaps reconsider then, <laughs> considering that the person who set you on this track is sponsoring me, technically? He raises his sword. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> back up. Old boss gave him orders. We gotta have All right, here talk we go. about it's your turn. tenure committee there, Virla. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> this, is, this is gonna hurt. This round, this round is gonna hurt, guys. Yeah. I, can, I can feel it. I can sense it. He's gonna look around. <sighs> God. Voss is the pro. Everyone keeps rotating. Who's the problem? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Where? But it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, what else is friendship though, boss. for? All right, you're. He's deciding that he's starting to get really weak. He's going to try to just eliminate Voss to get to Virla so he can finish his job before. The, the fight ends. No! Uh, so, uh, Voss, you're going to take half of all this damage. Okay. The first hit is going to deal 28 down to 14 damage. Okay. Can I get you to please make a uh, a concentration check? Okay, here we go. Uh, what is it? DC 10. Uh, okay, I rolled a 2 <laughs> plus 6. It's 8. Uh, would this be considered a... Uh... Saving, saving throw? throw? Didn't you just... You definitely used... Yeah, at the... On... My turn is use? right after his, so I guess if his doesn't come back... She up, gave yeah, me I my, know. She gave me her inspiration. I that gave wasn't her... A flash yeah, that wasn't a reaction. But I'm trying to use your reaction. flash of genius. But I, think I, it's might okay. have I guess that was on his turn, what? right? Guys, well, guys, it's it's okay. It's okay. Um, can I give I boss can my bardic inspiration? Use, no. Uh, Fuck. Favored by the gods. And oh, I oh okay. Two d four to this. Hey. Uh, okay. So cool. At minimum, I uh, get this up to ten, which is what I'm I need. One of us is favored nice. by uh, the god. I'm and, not really feeling the favor right now. Oh, uh, it's this favored is by the old boss. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Under new management. All right. So you make that saving throw. Yes. Uh, you pull deep within that 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 fountain of heroism within you. Uh, and you push through, maintain concentration. Second hit is also 14 damage. Can I get you to make a saving throw? Okay. Concentration yeah. track. 14. DC 10. Two, man. Come on. Uh, that I did. 13 plus 6 is 19. Oof. Okay. How many hit points do you have left? I'm at 11. Oh! He's going to deal... He's going to use blade wings on you. Mm-hmm. This deals 8 damage, which is half to 4. Ghosts, ghosts, ghosts. Can, can I get you to please make a concentration check, Voss? This is the last one. One more, baby. DC 10. It's a four plus six. Ten. ten. Oh, okay. It's, it's, I'm too low. It's too low. 
boom, the blade, two swords, and then the blades strike from the wings. He, like, brings them in around him, flings them out. Uh, you watch as scrapes that should be far deeper, cuts that should have outright killed Voss, ending the haste and possibly dramatically changing the shape of this fight. Kiana, you watch as each time golden shape, golden figures appear and take some of the blow, get in the way, absorb it. It's almost like he's hitting with like a padded blade against Voss as opposed to this adamantine like juggernaut sword that he's wielding. You watch as Suvi, who has all of this time since she made that pact with your family, who knows how long ago, her charge has been to protect your family, generation to generation to generation. Well, after all this time, she has expanded that definition, and now she's protecting everyone. Aww. Where Voss should be lying uh, a dead pile of broken bones, he yeah. stands... This guy is going to make a grapple check against you because he did attack you twice, so he's going to try to grab you, boss. He's still at disadvantage on this check. Cool. I have a plus 10 to this, by the way. Uh, he's got a plus 11, so we'll see. Oh. Cool, I rolled an 18. Okay. <laughs> total of 28. He rolls a 13 plus 11. That's a total of 24. Because his turn came back up, he's going to use... Oh, right. He's going to use Cosmic Balance. Right. And right. instead have you take a 10 plus 10. Yeah. He grapples you. Oh. Boom, grabs on. By the way, I believe it's attack damage that is halved. The damage from the... If you do not break this grapple, the damage mm -hmm. that is incoming will not be halved because it's automatic damage. I think that's correct. Let me check. That is correct. It's hidden somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, my, my stuff was halved just because I had the warding bond ring. Right. So. All right. Can I get a hit point check from everyone, please? 37. Also 37. Okay. <laughs> Girls Virla's night. at 92. This is like the umpteenth time that Virla is like relatively fine, but he's also very powerless to do anything. This seems to be a running theme for him. Every time someone is gunning for Virla, the rest of the party takes so much damage. <laughs> this Sorry, isn't, this isn't weighing very nicely on his like <laughs> conscience and guilt. Like <laughs> We gave the robot a guilt oh. complex, guys. Danny's the one who gave this to you. <laughs> 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 Danny, oh speaking God. of, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't there. Finale of you the did. Danny season. Let's fucking do it. You Are we the perfect like, robot? Is what you the did. Thing and no one showed up, and then we gave it to Virla, and a guy showed up. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's because you don't have a spell book. You don't play by the rules. I'm making... yeah, it was all a good secret until Virla cracked the code. That's what you get from rolling a 31 investigation or uh, <laughs> tool check or whatever it is you do. Um, All right, what's your turn, Danny? Yeah, great, we're back again. Uh, how's he looking? Like, How's he looking? It's difficult to tell because he has gone into his weird like glowing. fashion of law. He is glowing from within, uh, but even being indestructible adamantine, he is, I mean, he's, he's but later, his, his new form is not halfway done, but I will say that while his pout while his power, when he, enters, when he enters his mythic form, while his power goes up here, his health does not return to what, like, his power goes up greatly, and he gains health, but he is not as, he, he does not have any hit points to start with as he does at the start of the encounter. So, like, mm. when he healed, he didn't heal up to max. He healed some. I somewhere. fucking hope not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, his max is 272, so. Jesus. Oh, God. And then he just healed some other amount. Oh, so. so, Danny, he's, I mean, you're not gonna, he's not, he's not, you're not gonna get him down with a feather, but you're in you're in spitting distance if you guys can survive. And he's holding Voss. He's holding Voss at the start of Voss's turn. Voss is gonna take some damage. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to damage my ship again, goddammit, it! But I think I might have to. <laughs> oh boy. You're the captain. Time to make a hard choice. I'm Oof. aware. A hard choice, a ship or the crew. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one who brought it up. She yeah, said, I don't fair. want to damage the ship. I'm, For Danny, this is a hard choice. It's debating, except, do yeah, I you know. save the third level spell slot to use Revivify in a pinch, or do I think that I could try and fireball and do a massive chunk to maybe end this sooner? 
but fireball would inevitably damage the ship. I don't think there's a scenario where I could put it down, like, and it wouldn't do damage to the ship. Um, yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it would also be my last third level spell slot, so if anyone went down, I couldn't revivify. This is the math that Sophia right. is doing internally. <laughs> right. But I don't really have anything else that would, like... What's, what spells did you put into your storing item, by the way? Shatter, which is also not great for the ship and would not do as much damage. It would give him disadvantage uh, if he didn't auto-succeed on every spell save anyway, right. so it sort of yeah. neutralizes the benefit. Use an automaton, does it? Does it not do damage to him just it by would default? Do damage? It, he would have disadvantage on the save against taking the damage, except he automatically yeah. succeeds he all automatically those, succeeds. so it sort of just yeah. does a moot point. It doesn't do more mm-hmm. damage to him because he's inorganic. It just gives him a le- worse chance of like avoiding taking the damage in the first place. Um, and it would not but have that like same a... effect on the ship. The ship would take that damage badly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Voss, you rocking any uh, river? Of, you got rocking any third level spells left? Oh yeah, I'm 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 still kicking. I got some tricks up my sleeve. Okay. If I can live. <laughs> I just know I'm gonna use this spell slot, and then someone's gonna fucking go down. Uh, yeah, I I'm gonna fireball. I haven't got to really do anything this fight. Let's if I put mm. it at the edge of the stairs, which I think I can see from where I am. It's got a 20 foot radius. If I can maybe put it like deeper into the stairs, it would just get him from behind. It would hurt the ship, but. You you could definitely position it so that it's only gonna get him. Uh, yeah, it's gonna hurt the ship, but uh, let's roll some 8d6, my friend. Yep. Plus 1d8. Oh, so really, 96. Okay. What makes it 96? I have the Artificer Oh, is it plus D8? a D6 or a D8 for your... Artificer D8. Oh, sorry. Fireball is D6s. You're right. So it's 1D8 eight, plus... 8D6. So 8D6 plus 1D8. Uh, the ship is not going to take that D8 because you choose one target. Yeah. So. <laughs> it better oh! make the ship. I mean, it's So still... good news for the ship. Yeah. <laughs> the ship is going to take roughly four fewer points of damage. Oh. Let's hold on. Hold for Come math. Come on, show me that dandy damage. Hold for math. <laughs> 40. 40 points even. All right, he takes 20 yeah, damage. That's a, that's a mishap. Yeah. That's a mishap. Uh, uh, wait, does, is that including the D4 for him? What D4? Or the D8, sorry. Oh, that is including the D8, yes. The D- so the ship takes... Okay, cool. 37. Okay, that's still cool. crosses yeah. the threshold. Okay. Uh, does someone want to roll a D20? I will. I feel bad. I get this Danny, roll the D20. <laughs> yeah. Eight. Uh... Weapon malfunction. One of the vehicle's weapons can't be used until this mishap ends. Okay, if the so vehicle has no functioning that. weapons. Yeah, that's no okay. mishap occurs. I wanted to right, terminate our hand if Danny. we had led him up onto the deck. I was thinking how we could <laughs> turn the flip the door. Use the sure, yeah. sure. There's still time. Action, we could all just run up the stairs. Metal damage. That's gonna be the three d eight. That's good. Twenty points of fire damage. Cr- that's as much as he took from the fireball. Does he not have the you focus your- heat metal damage? He no, succeeds he, on the save, but you said make... he doesn't take half damage on a success. Oh, that's he just right. Takes full damage, yeah. you said. No, that is true. So yeah, he, he doesn't have to drop it, and he's not you know the disadvantage doesn't matter anymore. But he's just taken full fucking damage. Why do you think he kept trying to kill you? Oh. <laughs> You're the only thing that's like really fucking. With... Well, that's not true. You're all really fucking with him. I'm trying all so right. hard. <laughs> Voss, at the start of your turn, you can take three d eight piercing damage. Ooh. I have seven hit points. Don't no. actually. Oh, wait, no. He deals average damage. Which is 12. Which is 12. 13. And it has. Uh, oh, this well, is not no, an attack it, roll, though. Because this is not oh, an yes. attack roll, so he does nope. not have it. Sorry. Damn it. Take 13 points of slash damage. I was really excited for you to take six points and be up by one hit point. No. But. No. I should have Down he goes. Goddamn spell slot. Uh, you go unconscious. Kiana, haste, drops. Ah. Uh. Cool. Not to be this person, but when haste drops, isn't there like, uh, don't you like? I'm sorry. It's usually it's okay, you. It's okay. No, she cannot. Correct. She cannot take her. She uh, cannot take an action on her next turn. Can I take a bonus action? That's okay. just nope. just an action. You can't do. You have your next turn is going to pass you by. Uh, but you don't. Yep. I don't have advantage to hit you. Well, no, no, it's not hand, a condition. Like, it's just uh, the the spell. It's just a wave of lethargy. Is the uh, description. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Voss, that's the start of your turn. You don't make any death saves. That brings us to... uh, That brings us to Kiana. Kiana, you are stunned. 
Oh, so that's that's the effect of this? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. Uh I would like he's going to use three legendary actions to use Blazing Edict. What is that? Arcane energy emanates from the inevitable's chest in a sixty foot cube, so that's gonna hit everyone. Cool. Each creature in that area, I'd like you to please make a wisdom saving throw. Ooh, I get advantage on these. No, I don't. Okay. Boss, uh, I think you can still make the save. Yes. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna take damage and you're going it doesn't actually you're gonna take damage and take one death save. Yeah, yeah. Oh I, I rolled a pretty well actually. Not enough to save though. I rolled I got a twenty two. Fifteen. Twenty 15 will fail. Beerla. 17. 17 will fail. You got an inspiration? I do have inspiration. Wait, yeah. Uh, what is it this time? D8 from D8. boss, I think, right? Or D6 yes. from boss. I gave him a D8 bardic inspiration. D8, D8 bardic inspiration. Plus you need seven. a two. Plus seven. Well, so okay. Yeah. Beerla saves. Danny, you, uh, the DC is 19. You rolled a 15. Meets it, beats it. Beats it, beats it. Save, I have so, one last so. flash of genius that I can use here to add four to the roll to bring it to 19. Let's do it. On a 19, none of you are stunned. <laughs> oh my god. The 45 radiant damage is halved to 22 radiant damage for all of you. Great. Okay. It's an attack? Nope, this is a saving throw. Okay. <sighs> one that is it. Where's everyone at? It, Boss <laughs> is at one failed death save. What is everyone no! at hit point wise? 15. 15. Oh, by the way, Please. the ship <laughs> inside everything goes flying as radiant energy, radiant light expands out from his body. Oh, that blue light you on. saw. Just uh, just like oh. fucking, if you've ever seen- um, Actually, by the way- Have you ever seen a uh, Young a... Justice episode, mm-hmm. Bloodlines, where like the uh, the new Dawn dude starts going like, boop, yeah, boop, yeah. Boop, 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 <laughs> outside. Yes, boss. <laughs> uh, because Warning Bond is non-concentration, the spell is still up, so you would have had a plus one no. to the save. Can I choose to fail that? Um, and you would have resistance to that damage. Yeah, but you're taking the damage too, so wouldn't that be two death saving I think throws? It, I yep. feel like because it's... No! Can I yeah, choose to fail that? Yeah, two death saving throws. <laughs> yeah, no, actually... Mm, I if he takes the ring off? Yeah, can I choose to fail that? that? Can you I don't take 22 damage, that? you take 11 damage. Can I choose to not have that happen to me? Well, then you get stunned, in which case you no. don't have your turn. That would be bad, so, yeah. Well, yeah. no, 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 because I, I saved. So I only took the half of the 45. Um, I would like to right? use my Gift of the Gem Dragon reaction because I am within 10 feet of this guy. Um, okay, is so, that just when you take damage from him or is it an attack roll? When you take damage from a creature okay. within 10 oh. feet of you. Uh, so that's my reaction. Um, he rolled dog shit. Wait. I, oh, I hate to say it. I, can I do that when I'm stunned? Oh, when does stun end? Uh, end is it the end of her By turn? The haste thing. I hope um, it's, it's end of my turn. Hold up, let me double check. Mm-hmm. Come on. Uh, okay, I got it here from him too. Mm. Haste. Uh. Uh. After until it's after next turn. it's next turn. You have yep. No, you have your reaction. So I've got so it back. So you have your right. reaction okay. back. Yeah, the lethargy right. ends. You have reaction. He rolls bad. Go ahead and roll your damage. Great. Cross, you're at two death saves. Yep. Beerla, you take 11 damage, not 22. Uh, ooh, max damage, 16 force damage, and he's pushed up to 10 feet away from me. Fantastic. Uh, Danny, by the way, can I get a concentration check? <laughs> yes, yeah. I can't, there's, no, there's nothing in the spell that says that I can like choose to uh, save, like no. to, to fail, to not have the warding bond apply. That's 12 plus five, so 17. 17. God damn it. Uh, okay, you succeed. By the way, Voss, uh, being forced back, he drops Voss. Good news, because otherwise Voss was just going to take a death seat. He didn't have to attack yeah. Voss. Voss was just going to die by passive blades and on his I turn. I don't have oh Revify left because of Fireball. Virla, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, bonus action. Healing word. Fucking first level. Good. Just get <laughs> Voss up. Yes! Um... <laughs> Our healer. What was get that? Him up. F- five? Five points. Five? Okay, I'll take him. Yeah. Um. And you know this guy's stayed pretty stationary this whole time. Um, Vero's gonna do probably what he should have done a long time ago. He's gonna whip out the, the staff of the Clockwork Swarm. Oh. Um, okay. Yes, my poor ship. 
It's necessary. Uh, oh man. <laughs> I don't think it can attack the. I don't think it attacks objects like that. They're yeah. insects. They don't just like like they'll attack creatures. Um, but yeah, he'll cast insect swarm, or yeah, uh, insect plague. Like, excuse me. Mm. Um, and he will have it be. Well, where can he put it? He'll, okay, he'll. Does this work? I don't know if you can see my. I think you need to cast it at a spot you can see. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. A point you choose within range. Doesn't say. Point it doesn't range. say you can see within range. Uh, okay, fair enough. Also, he knows the shit uh, inside now. Come on. <laughs> Just <laughs> so talking stove, to, baby. Well, if we're if we're talking about like going around walls and stuff. To, is this still valid to hit the um mm, the I think usually it says if it goes through walls and stuff like that. You might need to mm -hmm. put it like over here or something. Yeah, the the other corner. The sphere remains for the duration sphere The sphere spreads around corners. Oh, there you go. Oh, so it can go around yeah. it can go around that corner. It can go around. <laughs> it can go. Even so I'll still I put just it wash my hands. It. That's why they're <laughs> wet. Uh, I'll still put it there. Okay, fantastic. Uh, what am I making, or is that not just true? Uh, okay, hold. I need to draw a circle. Wait, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, 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 uh. This big. Oh. Um. All creatures. I think you want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like there-ish. Um. When the area appears, each creature in it must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, 4d10, half as much on a successful one. Ooh. The okay, creature so must also make the saving throw when it enters the spell's area for the first time or ends its turn there. So Okay, so he's going to take it at the start here, and then he's going to leave. But that's going to be 40, 10, half. Yes, so I'll roll for that. 15, half to 7 points. That's piercing damage. Seven piercing damage, okay. All right, well, that's just up, as long as I'm concentrating on it, at least. Um, he could choose to move away from it, in which case it's mm -hmm. there if you guys can knock him back into it. Yep. All right, does that end your turn, Birla? Yes. He, yeah. Okay, boss is uh, conscious and thus in the way. Don't you he will make... Know. Uh, a blade, wing blade attack against Voss. Ugh. Voss, you take eight slashing damage. Down I go. Uh, wait, wait, it's does uh, that res he resists because oh, my rage is still up. Half to four, and I'm up. Woo. Yeah, because you healed five. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> and again. I declared it. I should have just hit you with an adamantine sword. I was like, what overkill? I gotta hit him with an adamantine sword? No. Uh -huh. Well, you know what. If that's what it takes, he's gonna hit you with an adamantine sword. You take twenty-four no. points down to fourteen damage. Oh, stop! Right. How many hit points does everyone else have? He moves into his space. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh. Crazy okay. that he can't yeah. knock any of you, uh, the other guys, unconscious because y'all. He, he Eighty-one. Just <laughs> Fuck you, Virla. <laughs> I, fuck me too. Yeah, dude. I don't want to be like this. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna that. try to knock Danny's just been such a pain with this heat metal he's gonna hit Danny for uh, 14 points of force damage ow concentration check yep. please 8 plus 5 so 13 that'll make it you see it steps between all of you looks around one to the other the, dead, uh, the dying gith on the floor the Oleron Way, the Genasi, the Mechanite. Query, do you believe in earnestness that you may achieve victory? It's inevitable. <sighs> All right. Oh, truthfully, I like that. No. Tr oh. Truthfully, no. Query, what are the who are the parties and who are the parties involved in the contract that you are enforcing? I am created by the One, Primus. My duty was assigned to me by the Mistress of Magic, Mistra. Point of order, Mistress, Mistra, the Mistress of Magic, as was... 
as they were when they had established this contract is no longer in existence, therefore they cannot be there to either enforce or refute the terms of this contract. I like what you're doing here. If you want to make... Oh, it's, I mean, it's tough. If you want to make a persuasion check to try to tempt Fuck. something, I would allow that on your turn. Uh, but that would be an action right. to do a persuasion check. Otherwise, it's just flavor. What are you feeling, Noir? I mean, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. So, we're gonna, that's going to well, hang in the air for a second. Yet, yeah. Uh, Danny, it's your turn. Yep. Uh, okay. Um, bonus action. I'm just going to do the heat metal damage. I got I to gotta get that just out of the way. That heat metal has been so incredibly clutch, and your inability to lose concentration has dealt. I would love for someone to tell me how much of the day. I'll give you the total hit points this thing had at the end, but I'd love for someone to tell me how much of that was heat metal. <laughs> uh, I swear to God, it's got to be like most of it. 13 points yeah, at least of half. fire damage. Oh, God. Yep. Okay. Action. Action. Do you have another potion for boss? I'm trying to just double check my inventory real quick. I think I do have. I have one more regular potion of healing. I will feed that to Voss. Great. 2d4 plus uh, 4. Plus 2. 5 points of HP to you, buddy. And he's up again, ladies and gentlemen. Let's <laughs> go. And I oh, have my God. no more healing potion. <laughs> You, you are frustrating. Uh, so then it's your turn, Danny? You could be saying Me that to and anybody. my one hit point are at the end of our turn. Goodbye, heat metal Fantastic. damage. Fantastic. He's going to hit you. Uh, you take Don't 14 points of damage. Literally heat does metal not goes go. away. You drop unconscious. Yep. Voss, you are conscious with five hit points. Unconscious with five hit points. Okay. How do we want to do this? Um... No, that's what I ask you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we'll just we'll do it this way. Uh, okay, we will. Oh, he's automatically gonna succeed on this. Um, one damaging spell I have. Uh, yeah. So he'll prone on the ground. He puts both hands on the sword, stares that down at the ground. He's like, all right, we're still in this. Um, he taps, uh, he, he draws from the, the, the life within himself and he's going to cast uh, Wither and Bloom at the fifth level, the last fifth level spell slot. Um, so this is going to be 5d6 necrotic damage. Okay. Uh, so he's gonna take a quarter of this. Gonna take a quarter of this. As you reach out with that, like, that thing inside of you that is that is corrupting you a little bit, that this, uh, this parasitic <laughs> thing, you extend that reach through your spell to the inevitable. It's 11. Half to 5. Half to 2. 2. Wait, 5d6 turned into 11? Yeah. Roll pretty low wow. on that. That's a rough roll, okay. my friend. <laughs> It is not the damage that matters here. Um, it is what oh, this yeah. spell does. Um, allows me to spend hit dice to heal myself. Um, so I will use the last of my hit dice from my uh, long rest, which will be D8. So this is four. He only has four D8. He has five D8. Um, oh, that's big. 11. 9 is 20, 21, plus 4 is 25 healing to himself. Nice. Gets him up to 30, and because he healed with hit dice, he gets 5 sorcery points back. What? Oh, fuck, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, nice. Good combo. That is my action, um, and for my bonus action, I will quicken uh, green flame blade. Um, oh shit! And I'm gonna hit him. Please okay. Do yes. So please, bus, please damage. Use hat. Use uses half his movement to stand up. Picks his sword up in his hand. It lights a flame, um, and he's gonna hit. 
come on. Okay, that's gonna be a hit. Not what I wanted, but it's, it's gonna be a hit. Uh, what did these 19, right? Mm -hmm. 19 will yeah, just 19. hit. That's what I thought. Okay, fantastic. This is going to be uh, 28 uh, from Green Flame Blade, a D8 from the sword. Um, and I'm going to put my last Bardic Inspiration on this. Um, it doesn't matter what, what flourish, really, at this point. Um, yeah, no, none of them particularly matter. Uh, and uh, this is going to be 4d8 plus 4. It's a lot of dice. It's two eights. Dice. 16, 21, 25 points of uh, slashing and fire damage. 25 points. If he took that again, he would be down. He's going to make... Oh, he's uh, so much further up than I thought he was. I thought... Okay, all right, all right. He's going to use uh, a literary action to make another adamantine blade, this time against Kiana. Kiana, you take... Uh, 21 slashing halved to 10 and 7 points of force damage. That's 17 points of damage to you. I'm down. I had 15 hit points. Kiana goes down. Danny and Kiana, both on the ground. Yep. Kiana's turn. Kiana, please make a death save. Come on, Kiana. Great. Love to. 13. Do I add anything to that? You do not, but you succeed. Cool. Beer law. Uh, this creature right now, I'm going to tell you, has 17 hit points left. Oh my god, why wouldn't you let me hit him? <laughs> Come on! Why, why wouldn't he let you hit him? I would have been at advantage because we're frail. That's fine. It's I, fine. I'm not going to have you roll a charisma check. I'm actually going to do a wisdom save for him to see if he can withstand the logic. I would like you, okay. what argument do you make if you would like to do so? I will reduce him to zero. If this is a success, I will reduce him to zero hit points. Oh my god. <laughs> this sentence is false. Um, no. If it's a success, uh, he's going to reduce to zero hit points. If not, he gets his next turn. I like what you said before, by the way. So, go oh, for it. Oh, contract. Damn it. In I'm sorry. Every single hit I've done has had plus two melee damage from my rage. Uh, it doesn't matter, but... We live and learn. Uh, I've hit him so many uh, fucking times. I thought 25 would have been enough. Oh my god. Okay. A contract by definition are terms of agreement established by at least two parties. If... As it currently stands, this is a contract between one person only. The legitimacy of this contract is called into question because the second party is not there, is not available, is not present, is not existent to either affirm that this contract is upheld or to repeal it. Query. Does law established not outlive its creator? And we entered Hamilton for a while. <laughs> Should the contract not be enforced even in the absence of the original signee? Laws, ideally, are meant to benefit the people. The laws were put in place so that the contract can be enforced. Would those, what do those very laws then say about a contract that does not have a party to defend it? I, it has been a while since I have really deigned to uh, put myself in this mindset, but for me, logic dictates that if a, if a person has abandoned their title, the person who currently assumes that title also then assumes the responsibilities that the previous one held. That being the case, then, 
there is a mistress of magic. And then, if what I am saying is sound, she has a voice and has a say in the legitimacy of this contract. Interesting. You posit the change in identity of the signee to a new form invalidates the terms put forth by original signee. At the very least, it transfers the right instilled in this contract to the new owner of the title Mistress of Magic. Alright. I'm going to roll a wisdom saving throw. 17 hit points left. (laughs) He'll be reduced to zero if he fails this. He rolls with a plus nine. Virla, (laughs) what is your spell save DC? Uh, Wizard or cleric? Wizard. Intelligence. 17. Okay. He's a seven or lower on this dice. Yeah. Here we go. That is an eight. Oh. Plus nine. For a total of seven. Does Voss have a silvery barbs in there or no? Voss indeed has a silvery barbs. He turns to Virla and he says, Wizard, your gold is Mistra? Yes. You are her chosen, are you not? Yes. You speak for mistress, so it's another contract or whatever. Take a silvery barbs. Uh, and uh, <laughs> he throws a silver, and he's like, yeah, no, rewrite that st- stupid contract or whatever. And uh, silvery barbs. Here we go. That's a natural one. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna, fucking thing. Hands God. up here. I'm going to send the picture right now. Clutch, clutch, uh. clutch. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, hold on. I gotta. If that failed, <laughs> if that failed, Beerly was gonna be like, all right, you got me. Just fucking kill me. Just fucking kill me. No, like, no. He, was gonna do, he was gonna do 28 points of force damage uh, a, bu- a bunch of times to you. Oh my god. I yeah, like that this sure. guy doesn't hit us while we're down. That at least. That's nice. Uh, you're not a. Uh, there are definitely. So. A creature that would hit you down would be like a malicious one, right? Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he's not malicious. He's the very opposite. So he is just well, trying yeah, to eliminate like, the economy as lawfully as he can. You, Voss, you reinvigorate the creature, begins, pauses for a moment, and then without any fanfare, the lights dim, it straightens up, feet come together, arms at its sides, and the whole thing. <sighs> just turns into Fuck. dust. Just little does, particles blow away. Does it leave the sword? Does it no. leave the sword? No! I'm immediately going to Kiana, casting Sparing the Dying. I'm oh, Sparing the Dying. You cast Sparing the Dying. You might want to do that on Danny. I've already Voss, cast I'm it. sure you have some healing. Hi, it's me. Uh, no need. It's a cantrip, so I, it's a cantrip no so I can do it again. Oh, no need. Uh, I'm, okay, I'm going to burn my last second level spell slot uh, to cast a Cure Wounds on uh, Kiana. Uh, what, what is that's, it? It is... Uh, second level cure wounds, that is 8 plus 4, uh, 12. Ooh. And then my last uh, fourth level spell slot, and on Danny, uh, this is going to be 48. Thank you. <laughs> and Voss is out of spell slots. Um, That's okay, because you're out of bad guys. 15. Are we? Yana was out of rages, out of key points. I had 17. two telekinetic okay. reprisals left, but he knocked me out so I couldn't use him. <laughs> yeah, he did. Voss, right. uh, you pick everyone up, Birla. You watch as the ship around you dims, time slows outside a porthole. We watch as like an exploding fireball slows <laughs> oh, in the time stop. Cool. Uh, you see a woman familiar to you appear down the hallway. This woman, however, is not familiar to the rest of you. Oh, wait, we all see her? As you oh, all, fuck. for the first form. time, witness the presence of the Mistress of Magic, Mister herself. Oh, God. Long, dark hair over a dark blue dress, her holy symbol around her waist, hands clasped in front of her. She looks to each of you, and she says, Well done. 
The time of your call to action is upon us. That which is forgotten is now remembered. And now is the time once again for heroes. The Mind Flayers plot to destroy all that which they find a threat, and all that does not fit into what they deem their better worlds. Then they seek to spread their crusade against all sapient beings beyond our sphere. Only you have the knowledge and commitment to stop them. But beware. The knowledge you have just gained at great cost, the knowledge that is needed to defeat them, will make you a target. Try as you may to keep it hidden, others will already know, and I fear their interest will only serve to hamper your progress. So you must move swiftly. As she says this, we like cut away. We see yes. in Sigil, uh, a robe figure stops, bladed helm turns to look up into the sky as if she's staring at something. But the Lady of Pain, of course, there seems to be nothing there to the passersby, uh, though she is aware. We cut to the Astral Sea, the inside of a desiccated dead god, a <laughs> palace of a massive floating skull. Uh, a gith Yankee warrior standing a head taller than any you've ever seen. Her skin like gray and like pulled tight around her bones. Pulls a silver sword out from beside her throne, sheathes it, and we wa- we see as her head turns that her eyes are empty, and instead there is just two red glowing lights. Ah! Cut back to the ship. That's the Lich Queen. We have the Lich Queen's Queen. attention. Ah! God damn it! Mister turns to Danny. Oi. Only you have the skills and decisiveness to see them through this. Listen to their wisdom, but do not falter in your command. Where they deliberate, you must decide. She turns to Kiana. (laughs) Still on the floor. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) Laying there thinking about my life choices. (laughs) (laughs) They will need protection. You are Ola Ronway. You are the champion eternal. Whether you know it or not, you've been in this fight as long as it has been fought. What? Trust in your instinct and your cause. Be their weapon. Be their shield. Yes, ma'am. Tavas. You too have been born for this fight, but more as well, if you choose it. Do not let them succumb to grim fatalism. You are their inspiration. Embolden their spirits and their strikes alike. Tavirla. And you, who called to me, followed my wisdom and trusted in my guidance. Now I must trust in yours, my magister. I did not choose you because I knew you could win this fight. I chose you because I believe, should you win, whatever you choose to do, will be the right thing. She pauses. I thought you were lying. (laughs) (laughs) Kiana is trying to context clues together who this is. (laughs) Mr. and all of them, I thought you were lying. I know a girl when I see one. You're the red deal. You're all right, Mila. You're all right. I accept my duty with honor and all the weight that it carries. She places a hand on your shoulder. Then good luck. I will interfere in all the ways that I am allowed. But the burden is on you. I take it gladly. Such is the blessing and curse of being a mortal. She looks at the rest of you, if there's anything you'd like to say, before she leaves. If you got something, Red, you gotta do it. You got something? (laughs) She's she's a god! She knows what I am, but of course she does. She's a god! Do it. Ask her, why not? You can ask! She's here! She's the mistress of spells, not the mistress of vagueness. (laughs) Is there anyone else like me? There are not many left, but there are. 
All right, I'm good. <laughs> you guys do whatever you want. <laughs> Floor time for Kiana. <laughs> she, if no one else has anything to say, backs up and vanishes in a wall. Time outside resumes as we near the end of the uh, finale for this season. Is there anything else I would like to do in these last moments? I've decided that gods are just a bunch of assholes. She yeah. could have done that whole speech yeah. like before we got our asses handed to us by another robot. In f- it, I, fundamentally, I agree with you, but in fairness, I did ask her and she said that she didn't have it wasn't it wasn't this it wasn't that mistra that established the contract it was the person before her who was also what? called mister who's also and called the, the lady Mistress of pain of pushed your ass out of the ship i don't know they just got a lot of strikes against them you know i sure yeah what? i'm gonna keep laying here on the floor Hans's i'm, I'm her champion nice. but i'm not gonna fucking defend wasn't her Hans's every, guy bullying center. him in his mind for his whole life no, that guy was like an angel or something. Hans' actual god seemed great. But he had a minion who bullied him in his mind for his whole life. Okay, that's a little less great. I mean, in retrospect to Hans, this I, I, I've been granted relative, I, like absolute freedom in relation to what Hans is up to right now. I didn't really want to debate um, the logistics of gods. If you guys are into them, go nuts. But <laughs> I think that they're a bunch of assholes. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> I think more than anything right now, Viral is like trying to scan Danny's face for like any, just like, he's been so on edge and so sensitive to like everything that's been going on. And here is just kind of like the final, here is like, like the reason why he was so secretive before. And in his opinion, why like his relationship with the rest of the crew has fractured just a little bit. And so he like, he's, he's just trying to get a read. I'm sorry if I missed it. What's the forbidden knowledge we just got? It's how to make spell jammers. Oh! What? Okay. Uh, all that makes sense now. Hi. Um. What do you got some planning to do? Just remind me, how urgent is the Mind Flayer thing? Because I thought that was like a we need to go tomorrow kind of deal, and it's sounding like it's not. I think we go as soon as we figure out where they are, but I don't know if we know where they are, or... You can't find that out easily. Well, we just had our teeth have. kicked in. Uh, I, I think we should yeah. take a take a breather for a little bit. Uh, as much as I like killing squids, as much as the rest of you, I think we are under just a little bit of rest. And I'm gonna we'll use go. my limbo powers to materialize a bunch of cushions <laughs> that are just gonna fall. <laughs> I'll I just gotta like fix the ship first. One. I did a bunch of damage to it. No, 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 it, it didn't even it's, matter. It's okay. It's okay, the ship's still gonna be broken when we wake up. That doesn't up. make me feel <laughs> better. Can Verla try, like, comfort Can Verla try in limbo to make it look like the ship is repaired, even though it might be just like superficial, like, yeah. cosmetic Yeah, you repairs. could attempt that. Actually, I don't think you're high enough wisdom to really affect that much space, but you know, little bits. Uh, just start hanging picture frames over the cracks in the wood. Immediately in Danny's field of view, just wherever she's looking, <laughs> it's a clean Vila, ship. I know that you're doing that. <laughs> Fuck, sorry. <laughs> v- Vela, Vela, mate, can I get the ring back? Yeah. Oh, divorced it's already. Out <laughs> Throw it back at him. <laughs> it was a bit of a He catches it. He has them uh, in between his fingers, throws them in the air. He catches them. They slide in be- on uh, the two middle fingers. And he's like, <laughs> all right, another trick up my sleeve. Mind flares to slay. I'm really glad to be here, guys. Uh, We're gonna have fun. I would like to take a moment to commend everyone for the fight. I think we did as good as could be expected of us. Aw, thanks. We were surprisingly synergetic. <laughs> you guys defeated a mythical creature. Did well, you? We got him down to Defeat is a then we strong word. <laughs> I feel so mad. Every single one of my rage attacks should have had plus two damage, but it doesn't automatically proc on the sheet, and I keep forgetting because so much other shit was Make a little post so note, you put it on your computer. Like, that, that thing would have been down already yeah. by now, right? If that, I mean, if you, if I you don't remember. Been, to, like, <laughs> if she'd hit it, I hit, it, it, I hit it on average like four times. Nine times two would have done it, so you definitely hit nine times. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah, sorry, Red. 
<sighs> we've we've all, right. all been there. All right. Welcome to yeah. I only do crazy one thing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, if I can if I can oh, if I can heal you and then immediately down you in the same turn, <laughs> you can also forget yeah, to that damage. That was pretty funny. Fa uh, I just thought I didn't really have time to burn another rage between damage. Us. First off, <laughs> everyone everyone levels up. Oh, great. Oh, fuck. Right, yeah. I feel like we just did that. You guys that just, just did, and then you defeated a Kraken and an Elder Brain and a Mythic Creature and uh, some Mind Flayers. So we did, we did all that in the same day, you guys. Yeah. You guys did a lot of it's things in It's been like day. two um, days. You guys so all level up. Tired. The second thing is, as you all take, I assume you're all taking a long rest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, we have to. As you all rest, your enemies do not avail themselves of such luxury. No! We cut to yeah. the interior of the Mind Flayer Dreadnought, once called the Tenebris Cenobium. <gasps> A Mind Flayer, Vivisector Quidciros, the Scalpel in the Corruption, floats approaching the Pool Helm. Telepathically. We receive word from the Consortium. They were attacked. They were initially repelled. All save one of the Nautiloids was able to escape, but one has been captured. We fear they may learn of our plots, should they survive. The green glow from the water of the pool helm darkens as a shadow rises from its depths. A massive form emerges, bulbous and malformed, carried only by the telekinetic power of its own psionics. This being resembles one seen long ago by Kiana, a mind flare taller than the rest. Six tentacles hanging well past its now useless feet, staff clutched in hand. It emerges hunched over for the back of its head, molding, like uh, connected into its back, now has a massive swollen brain. An elder brain beyond any in this planescape before. Progenitor Sordurium. The omniscience in the cerebrum speaks telepathically. They may learn all they wish. Our weapons will be ready. And the knowledge of our salvation is all but within our grasp. As he says that, cut to Bytopia, we see three figures returning from a wedding. Casimir, Sierra, Caleb arrive back home. The door does not open for them as they expect. Sierra grabs pushes it open. None of the arcane lights or arcane intelligence greets them. As they step into these shadows and begin to split up to look and see what could be causing this. Idiots. We see, unseen to them, a shadowy figure, dagger in hand, step into light, revealing the metal body sculpted to look like flesh. The no! crystal prison holding docent and all of its stolen knowledge in his hand raises a dagger. And that's where we're going to end season four. And we'll see everyone Bastard. next season in season five. Great. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So, so beach episode? Beach yeah, episode. Beach episode, please. Yeah. 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 If there's no deadline set, we can set our own deadlines. So yeah. I think we have time for a little bit. I think case. maybe the kidnapping <laughs> combo with the mind flayers being aware of us might impose some deadlines one way or another. <laughs> Technically, yeah. the mind flayers you have been aware have, of us in there, season one. There's a, there's a couple ticking clocks at this point. But just a couple. When we pick up next season, uh, we will pick up right here after your long rest, after you've leveled up, uh, because you have some Gitzerai to speak to. Yeah. Yeah. So you oh guys boy. are gonna get to meet someone very special. Finally, I can start taking month levels again now that I have. Like thank you, everyone, for there. listening uh, this season. Thank We've you. We will catch time. everyone in season five. Yeah. And fun, fun, fun. Uh, catch us on socials, like we said before. Catch us uh, on our one shots in between season. Oh, and yeah. uh, yes, we'll see you then. Adios. Bye. See ya. Thanks so much for listening to this season of Rolling with Difficulty, The Adventures of the Per Aspera. On behalf of the cast, thank you to everyone who has listened along and enjoyed. The crew will return for Season 5 in January of 2024, but if you miss us before then, there's a couple ways to keep the plane hopping fun going. 
We'll be doing our postseason Q&A on Monday, September 25th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't make it live, feel free to email questions to rollwithdifficulty at gmail.com and listen in to the VOD or audio uploads afterwards. You can also look forward to a number of one-shots during the break, and if you want to engage with our other fans, check out the Rolling With Difficulty Discord for fun conversations, art, headcanons, and more. And finally, if you've enjoyed the show, please rate us and leave a review on your preferred podcast platform, and if you really enjoyed the show, consider becoming a patron for monthly bonus articles, art, hangs, and more. All of the above is linked in the show notes below, and thank you so much for listening. We'll catch you out on the Astral Sea.